Thank goodness. I guess we could. I'm could also do cool that thing. because I opened the windows and it's I'm, chilly outside. I'm also that going to good. allow uh, that you, t you we can talk about Boba Fett. I think that's fair. Well, I mean, what, what if I don't just, want just to talk a little about bit? Boba just, Fett. just bit. Yeah. Well, because I don't have much to say about that show at the moment. Yeah, that show. We already. But this but the other show. Um, yes. I'm still lost. I feel it was like a sentence that I was gonna go somewhere with it, and I was like, "Where do I go? I'm, I'm like, there's no doors. Ah, Brain, there's no doors. I'm stuck me. here." And you I'm were staring at me just... above, like, "Which door are you gonna go through?" Then, huh? And I was like, "I guess yeah. I'll go back through the one." And you were I there came. panicking. You were like Jan Michael Vincent. He he can only. He can only he can't be in two quadrants at once and you're just there looking at both the I doors going back like, and forth. I, he can be in two quadrants at once, I imagine, like half and half. Um no, he can't he can he can't be in two at once. That was established law in the Jan Michael uh wait, no, it's called he Jan between them. He he goes through them, but but it was said that he can't be in two of them at once. That's that's just official so like, Jan so Michael. What, so when he's walking over the line between one to the other, what happens? He, he doesn't. He just instantly he is in the next quadrant. He's just there. It's it's Jan Quadrant Vic Vincent sixteen. All right. It's don't don't argue with the uh, the law of Jan Quadrant Vincent. I would never argue with the law of Jan Quadrant Stupid. Vincent. Yeah. I don't know. Sounds like you're pushing back a little bit. Oh. And see, I get confused because was it the sixteenth Jan Quadrant Vincent movie, or was the movie just called Jan Quadrant Vincent sixteen? I don't think you're supposed to know that. I I guess I'm I I guess it's just I know that I know that that might be part of the artistic vision of the creators of Jan Quadrant Vincent sixteen, but I I guess I'm just I'm I'm just curious. Don't you just say JQ sixteen? Short. Wait, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> you can't say that. It's not allowed. All right. Also, I'll invite you after I'm finished in this game. All right. Um, what am I playing today? What, what are you playing well, today? What, what are you a, feeling? Uh, it's definitely dolphin, right? Oh yeah. Just, hmm. I want to play more Mario Kart. Dolphin kind of day. I just yeah, yeah. dolphin game. I Which don't one? see if anybody's going to be upset with you playing more Mario Kart. Sweet. It's probably going to be like a post in the subreddit about how like Mario Kart is you spend all your time playing Mario Kart instead of making videos. Making uh, Mario Kart uh, is a gateway to the alt right. Yeah. <laughs> the you know the alt right really... is the finish line. There's some, you know, something really cool about Mario Kart is uh, if you you're gonna say, to the... well, you know, what's really cool about the alt right. No, I, I'm much more interested in talking about uh, the music of Mario Kart. The uh, all of the Mario Kart themes have found some way to integrate the original SNES uh, motif into uh, into into the themes. The original mm -hmm. one being like, doo, 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 and they've every single one has found, except for Super Circuit because it doesn't. Super Circuit is like the, I don't know, I don't know if he's just trying to rebel against his parents or, I don't know what his deal is. Was it was it the same person who made it, or was it a new like studio or a new like person I, who wanted to do their own thing maybe? I think I think it's hard sometimes to figure out like which Nintendo studio works on a, on um which game because like now a lot mm -hmm. of them are just it just says nintendo in-house and i think they used to have like little names for the nintendo teams but uh i think it's the same people have made mario kart since it came out it's okay. like the same team that makes super mario you know 3d games and then the one that makes the 2d games and the one that makes the zelda games i i, I guess i don't know i guess they decided we don't need the motif uh this time around we can do something else and then they were like, no, that was a bad decision. Let's go back to the motif. It was great. And it was great. And they were totally right to go back to it. Which was the best, though? What? The best game or the best song? Yes. Yeah, basically. Oh. Right. You're not even playing Mario Kart 8, you cringe lord. I... Jeez. Yeah, so maybe it is just like the the obvious choice, but Mario Kart 8's got a really great soundtrack. It's jazz in space. Yeah. It's, it's like jazz fusion and it's awesome. It's so great. So jazz is just the best then, huh? Oh, it's another um, I... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, you go ahead. I have I I don't need to defend jazz against this blasphemer. Oh, oh I was just wanted to say because I, I do now own Mario Kart 8 
and now that I've yes. played it a whole bunch, it, it is my favorite. <laughs> it's, it's really, really good. good. It's, it's really, really, good. really good. Mario Kart 8 is your favorite? Yeah. That's okay. my favorite. Um, because of the I jazz. have not played it, but it looks very cool. Yeah, because I, uh, on New Year's I had friends over and, I was like, and we were playing some Super Smash Bros. Because I, I got an extra controller because I knew we were four people. Nice. And at some point we were like, we need something else to play. I was like, mm, I should buy Mario Kart 8. And then we played it for like four hours and got drunk. It was great. I think like if you buy a Switch when it comes to... If I only have enough money to buy one game right now and I want the game that has the most amount of content for me to play, like the most bang for my buck, then it probably would have to be Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That I have game a question. Is, is, is Cyberpunk yeah. out on the Switch? I don't uh, think so. <laughs> Imagine how that runs. <laughs> well, I mean, we saw how The Witcher 3, which is an older game, runs on Nintendo Switch. It's like, not awesome. <laughs> It is not the ideal way to experience The Witcher 3. Well, I, I guess unless you, you like, on buses a lot, and it's like, you know what? I, want, I'm, I just live on buses. I just go around and circle. You're a bus driver, buses. and while you're driving and you get bored, you're you playing. just whip it out and kind of play yeah. it while you're, you know. And then you just the keep nudging the bus back into the lane as it veers into oncoming traffic. He's like, whoa, whoa. Sorry, Geralt. Um, I got distracted there for a second. Whoa, that car almost made me die. What the fuck? In the video game. You know, I was just thinking about... How bizarre would it have been two hours ago to tell us the new episode will have Boba Fett fight a train? A gun train. <laughs> a, a gun, gun train? train. <laughs> it's not even the most bizarre train. thing that happens in the episode. No, no. The lizard that goes into his brain. A lizard brain. goes into his nose. <laughs> the brain gecko. <laughs> like, that's the plan. Yeah. This is the second... Put this lizard into my nose. I can't do his accent. Someone... Rags, you can do his accent. I need to put this lizard into my nose. There we go. Thank you. That's a, I'm going to use that clip. Thanks. <laughs> Feel free to use that royalty free in all your videos. <laughs> in all of the places where that has appropriate... It's, where you Context. just feel like you need that to be said, yeah. But I've One thing I think is interesting, mind. too, is that this is the second time that in the sec uh, second time that in the second episode of a show for Star Wars that They've takes place... Gecko. Yeah, there was a gecko involved. Yeah, that's right. That, my god, every, yeah. Like, actually, because they said it was a lizard. I guess a gecko is a lizard of sorts, but, you know, it feels like gecko is more apt. I agree with that. Yeah, it just feels sure like clear. no harm in being more specific, right? Mm-hmm. Remember the, the whole him trying to make his crime thing? Remember that was a storyline well, oh, they wanted that to... Was like a, <laughs> and then we spent 40 minutes about the, the gun train. <laughs> It's it was like very 40 important. minutes. It's Legitimately so about 40 minutes on the gun trade. What's funny to me, I guess, is just that it's like, finally, I feel like normal with the Tuscans. I'm learning a bit of this, like, stick fighting. We got the waters coming in. I understand how they live here. Everything's great. Oh, what's this in the distance that they're all preparing for? What is this weird thing in the... Oh my goodness, it's attacking us. Ah, and it's just this like, oh, this is a part of you guys' life. That there's this, this trade that comes through every once in a while and shoots all of you. Damn. And it makes you wonder, like, how many of you have been killed by this gun train? Or <laughs> but this, at this rate, this like there the shouldn't be a tribe time. left come Tuesday. Oh, yeah, the gun train's coming, I... let's all go in within shooting vision. Dude, we still have banthers, like... <laughs> and let's leave <laughs> our banthers out them. in the open. We just keep them out in the open to get shot. It looked like they killed what their only one, and out? then they killed their only one again later. Yeah. Why don't we but just hey, not we hang it. out where the gun train lives? That's you an would, idea. Now, out of the question. Yeah. That's a thought, but no, we can't do that. We we need to, we need to. This is this is. We got to stay here and fight for the 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 land that we have. Except the gun train just keeps coming back and just keeps blasting. Remember how they were like a, a kilometer away and they managed to land like three perfect shots on the guys in the gun train. Yeah, the whole point of that part of the plan was so that those three guys could make these insanely difficult shots. Yeah. yeah. To kill a couple guys in the windows so that. Those were excellent shots, just top notch. They, those were insane. You know, when because there was only like five speeders or whatever. As soon as they arrived, it's like, this is over. They just go boom, 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 boom. Done. And there was like 10 people at the windows with guns, but. Uh, there were many, they many all managed people. managed to work out somehow. Think the... of all the people that were left at the end. You wonder what they were doing that whole time. 
Yeah, just sitting in there hoping that the guards would take care of it, I guess. Except when one of the raiders got in the train and just fought through the train. Yeah, yeah well, none, of the, none of them had guns, yeah. okay? Makes sense. Their ah, guns broke. Right, so they, the they guns just fell off the train. Like, All right, don't punch me, please. I'm just a little... Just minding my, my... You know, minding myself. I don't have anything to do with this train. <laughs> I just also, I'm, I'm the a prisoner. Little robot. I got captured. He was, he was yeah, they he's... really made it an important note that the train was driven by a robot conductor who decided to sabotage the train and then jump out the window. I and think then so. It, it was very and it was very important that we knew that the robot was okay and he will live to conduct another day. That he got Why away. You... So don't worry, guys. Oh, I like the little oh, robot no. a lot. I like wait, him sorry. His, his plan wait, when he gets... wait, wait, wait. If he's c presumably commissioned by the people on the train to get them to safety, why would he blow up the train with all of those people on it? I don't know. I, I don't know why he did anything he did. I just thought it was funny. Hello, this is why Mando doesn't trust robots. Who knows why Mad Men do the things that they do, but I, I liked him. I liked Mad him robots. a lot. He was I didn't like fun. him. But now I'm just wondering why he would blow up the train with all of his buddies on it. Yeah, he was stupid as Maybe fun. they weren't that's why buddies. I liked him. <laughs> well, Jay, maybe that's just not good enough. It's just Boba's like, shut down the train. He's just like, okay, I'm just gonna jump out the fucking window. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> maybe that's the protocol. It's like it doesn't want to get captured by an enemy faction. I guess? But why do you have to <laughs> blow up the train? Why didn't he just jump out? I wasn't clear if he did or not. I guess he did. Uh, I'd have to watch it or again. Or was that the damage that was sustained just In from general, all of the time kept maybe. making the engine go burr to try and knock them off the train? Uh huh, engine go burr. What yes. would have happened if he... Because if that's a train that's hovering, why didn't he just turn left or right and knock them off that way? Shut up. That sounds know. difficult. Because trains sounds can't just turn. Yeah. Even though this is a train that is like on no... <laughs> I like how we just accepted it's a train when it's a hover thing. <laughs> it's clearly not a train, and we're just like, fuck it's it. It's not a train. train. It's, it's, it's by definition, train. it yeah, is a train. When you look at its design, it is designed in a way that, like, it clearly probably it, would have issues turning. Because it just has, like, then, one massive propulsion thing in the middle. I guess it just makes you wonder why they would design it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is kind of shittily designed. <laughs> I agree. I don't I like don't any don't of those in the, uh, there the, proper. I don't know. the Star Wars TV shows. Just dumb designs. I don't know why anything is the way it is, you know? Yeah. But my goodness, it made for a good 40 minute filler section. Absolutely. <laughs> and boy, was that some filler. Jeez. But maybe this is because. Hey, maybe it's going somewhere. Well, <gasps> so that was what I was about to say. So, like, despite all of that, I think I'm more optimistic about this show than I am about. Uh, Mando. Like a Mando like season three. How many yeah, well, characters had Mando assassinated by episode two? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have any to assassinate. Uh, That's good to say. Well, I mean, kind of Mando. I mean, he's an idiot. Kind of? He's yeah. an insanely, he's insanely stupid. He's a very, very, very dumb person. Yeah, well, so I feel like Boba's, we've damaged Boba, Boba quite a bit too. And it's changed his motivations completely. Yeah, oh, I mean, that's true. Because um, Mando is a blank slate who was confusing for most of it, actually, looking back. Mm -hmm. He's really, very like, confusing. Like Baby Yoda. He ended like a stalk in the wind, whereas Boba Fett had more of a character, and he doesn't seem to line up with who he is now. Like I said, the more I we see more... of him being Hero Fett, we're gonna have to actually get them to address who he was before and why, because I don't understand yeah. anymore. Well, because we had so little before to latch onto, but it doesn't seem to line up with what we've seen now. Very interesting. We say he, we had scenario. so little. We've got but we had stuff. explicit we references to his investment had... in making money. Like yes, that is his investment. Whether who he doesn't care who it's regarding, or who he is works he like for. the greedy trade federation. Well, but that's the thing, right? If we had a show called The Feds, and there's just those two going around being real nice and letting everyone have their money, we'd be like, wait, I thought they were greedy. And it's just like, the more you show them being nice, the more we're going to need you to ad aggress, aggress, address that part that said they were greedy. What happened to them? Are we supposed to believe that falling in the Sarlacc pit makes you a nice person? Yeah, boy, Maybe. it's the Sarlacc pit of niceness. Aww. I, uh, yeah, I, I'm just not sold. And I was, I was kind of hoping we'd get more ruthless, uh, Boba. 
But oh, yeah. Yeah. that would have been fun Ruthless and cool. Booba. Ruthless Booba. Yeah, All I right. want to see him like laying traps for the crime lords and stuff, and just hatching cool. plans rather than oh yeah. no, it's the train, the desert, the the gun train. We, we gotta have to stop take it on him. RPG style. Yeah. Well, yeah, you just said it a lot of times in that recording. It's just RPG side quest, yeah, like style stuff. The meeting like, with the man was to like play the RPG. But just... I would much rather play the RPG, but it's a television yeah. show, so. Like Tatooine, and there's like just random gun trains going about. <laughs> you can you can take them on if you want. I'd play that. I would mm -hmm. play it too. You can probably, you yeah. can probably, you can, you can like spec out as like a Mandalorian character and get all your armor, or you can be like a Jedi and practice the Force, and, or you can be like I don't know someone else. I mean, this sounds like that's what the old Republic is, right? You basically can just be whatever in this yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, the gameplay in that isn't isn't really what I'm looking for. <gasps> I haven't played the old Republic, so I couldn't tell you. Jay shitting on old Republic. I might get you in trouble. Well, will it? I think it's nice. The old Republic's the one that everybody is like has got the pedigree. To be honest, I didn't realize they were different. I just well, thought we were I talking about Knights of the Old Republic. I <laughs> know oh, the old Republic is the uh, that's the uh, MMO. Ah, uh, oh, that one. I've been meaning to try that. I think it's free now, or it's been. And when I say now, like I'm pretty sure now means like seven years. I just remember well, that it went now. free. Well, I just, it was just because it was a big deal at the time when it came out that it was, uh, that it was a subscription model. Because that was kind of like the time when everybody was moving away from that. It was just World of Warcraft. But then ESO did, uh, paid as well. Until they stopped. It was like we're past that era. Which is kind of interesting considering we're now in the era of battle passes. That yeah. we decided we don't have subscriptions for MMOs anymore when it's essentially the same, like, that's what a battle pass is. It's like a subscription. Yeah, Except kinda. you get, you know, it's like the right to unlock things. That's what you pay for. Which, I mean, is kind of the same as buying a game. I've, I've never thought about it that way. You've given me much to ponder. Not Buy really, a game but... and just have it? No. They don't do that no <laughs> uh, more. That it's... wouldn't work. No. That's insanity. Um... But yeah, Boba Fett, uh, you can expect an EFAT mini eventually. This, uh, that was a long boy recording. It was like an hour and 40 minutes. Yeah. Oh, can't even count that far. Exactly. <laughs> or, or metal. Um, but anyway, uh, we're here today to do a little catch up. And uh, start no, with some. No. We'll, we'll knock out the, the stream labs, as you do. And so, going from where we left off. Uh, okay. Either of you guys play Outer Wilds. It is now one of my oh, favorite games yeah. and probably has the best, most unique method of telling a story within the gaming medium. Uh, no, we haven't played it yet. Mel, you've played it, right? Yes, it's really good. Everyone needs to play it. It's really oh. good. Or well, what, Mel? What's going to happen if we don't? Ab what? What will happen if we don't play it? Are you going to kill us? I'll kill you. You knew it. How are you? What method? What method of killing? I don't know. I probably won't kill Rex because he has guns, so I'm scared. Uh... That's, That's very true. Cool. I've leveled up. I've leveled up. I know how to use my guns more than Mando and Boba Fett do. I mean, I probably know better than that, and I don't even have you a probably gun. probably do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Ultra Wild's really good. Uh, it's a really good game. I played on Strumble all the way through. Even the DLC, because that's really good as well. So, it's a, it's a big old uh, butt up. Not thumbs up, butt up. That's so good. Yo, oh, I love butt, butt up. up. I uh, love. Butt up, butt oh up. well, I mean, it's pretty obvious why you'd want to put your butt up. Yeah. To be buttered. But yeah, to no be one needs buttered. To play it. <laughs> uh. Also, how does the long man go about writing slash organizing his dense, dense scripts? Oh my. Wait, I feel like I've. Did I not read this one out before? Company secrets. I think you might have. This one's you might have. The, 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 well, the Outer Wilds one was kind of similar to me. Um, that part sounded similar. Well, in that case, I'll just try and summarize it quickly then, in case I haven't read it before, which is uh, right. watch thing, well, consume thing, and write notes if I feel like they're things that are I might not come up with again, like like sometimes, but then have like a focused just splurge, right? You just, you coom focused on the page splurge. with your thoughts mm -hmm. um, as going through, and then like 
if it's a movie, like I said, I just go chronologically and start building the script, but then keep tabs on what I've discovered as we go through, like, the easy example is just Black Widow's plot armor. You just keep, like, how many times? Like, that one time, that time, that time, and then I just have a little, like, like list of all the, the stuff so that when I get to the end I can cite it for myself easily, knowing all of the examples. And it's cool for spotting patterns, because you can often tell the styles of writing from the writers when you notice things they rely on, like writing flaws. Like coincidence for J.J. Abrams, for example, or mystery. Um, or subversion for Ryan Johnson. You'll find a lot of his work centers Ooh. around doing things that he thinks other people will be like, Whoa, I didn't think of that. Very cool. Very That's cool. That's so cool. That is incredibly cool. Um, I'm... I'm I'm aroused now. Oh no. Well, the, I mean, I feel like I've done my job at that point. Uh, Put the dingus down. And then, yeah, uh, it just just uh, redraft, redraft, and go. And I find that recording a script acts as one of the final redrafts in a sense. Because you, uh, when you read out a sentence, you can be like, hmm, I don't know if that sounds right. I might change it. That ain't right. Because the written get word. That sometimes. When you're recording or even yeah. editing, it's like, oh, this doesn't actually land that well, I can chop around and fix that. Or I sound too pompous, which is a mm. problem I can have sometimes. I wish to come across as clear, not pompous. That's all. Um, Elamola, you're the only creator I've supported on this platform. I've probably broken four sanctions to do this, but Arcane is five out of ten. Plot armor, tis me character decisions, it's annoying to see it praised like a nine. Please discuss it. Hi, Fringy. Hey. Five, well, we huh? finished Kingdom, so... We did finish Kingdom, that's true. So we can get on to Arcane soon enough and we'll update the other EFAPers with our results, our findings. Yeah. Presumably it'll be better than Boba Fett, so... I hope oh, so. I remember Boba Fett. He oh, has a jetpack and he... he too. Episode 2 oh, and he no. still hasn't no. flown, by the way. <laughs> no, he hasn't. Maybe he has that'll a jetpack and he doesn't finale. fly. And he doesn't that'll fly. <laughs> I'm gonna too fly now. You're gonna reveal to us. Remember, we had that thought in uh, Rick and Morty season five. It's like, are they eventually gonna tell us that Rick just doesn't? He broke his uh, his portal gun. Is that gonna be a reveal? Because he's not using it in times where he really needs to use it. And then they just he just has it. And you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, huh? oh that was like, well, <laughs> that was there were still <laughs> things that they could do in the silage. Yeah. Anything. For yeah, we were like, you could still fix it. You could still fix it. No, yeah. it was beyond fixing, but it was like it could go somewhere. Like could be like, like could be like good things in here. Wait, is it beyond work. fixing? Nothing's beyond fixing, Jay. Right? We're hopeful writer people. No. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> um. God damn. Please have Fringy read this. Okay. I think he can't read. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what they want you to read. Uh, hi, my name is Sweeney Todd, and I'm here seeking funding for my meat packing company. Our meat is organic, free roam, and 100% natural. Use the code NO on, your <laughs> on our website to receive 20% off your first order. Okay then. What a, I, bizarre, what a bizarre little. Oh wait, see how that gets used. <laughs> um. Uh, when Hytop was talking about the two Peters appearances, it sounded like he wanted Hello Greedo's vision of TLJ. I, for one, loved the introduction of Toby and Andrew. High rags. Hello. Yes, yeah, I did as well. I would have thought yeah. he would. I would have thought he would. It was neat. Um, as for Hello Greedo's I vision of TLJ. I can't quite remember what that's referencing. I think it might be when TLJ was, uh, Hellgrid was making fun of um, what people wanted, which was Luke to run around blowing up all of the AT-ATs, I think. That's what I wanted. Right. He did like a little, I think, fake animation-y thing of it. And to be fair, I think there were some people out there who wanted that. Just him running around blowing them all up. What's your opinion on Teen Titans 2003? I feel very nostalgic about it, especially after they butchered these characters in I Am Not a Self Insert and Titans 2018. Um, 
I did not watch a lot of Teen Titans back in the day. I watched some I here and there, but I just can't really remember much about it. I know it. everybody really likes that show. Though. That I don't even know it came out in Germany. It probably did, but I never watched it. Yeah, I never watched it. Um, I know that the new one's pissing everyone off, though, right? Uh, oh. I think it's so. Very hated. A new thing that's bad? How did that happen? I don't know. We're gonna have to get science on this one. That's insanity. That never yeah, happened I didn't before. Say it was bad. I've never seen it. I don't know if it's bad. Jay, why I think it's bad? It's hated. Hate it. Yeah. What happens yeah, if I... I throw a blue shell at my like when I'm first? Do I just? I um. You get a blue shell at first. Well, but I could get a blue shell and then get to first, right? I don't know. Would it just blow you up or? <laughs> I think so. That would be great. Do it, Mola, do it. I don't want to do it, Jay, please. <laughs> do, it. Do, it. do it for the people, do it for the stream. Do it for the stream. Fine, I will find, so well, YOLO. that means I've got to stay behind until I get one and then try and get to the front without wow, using the one weapon. I just one shell on my Mario Kart. Did you throw that at me, Mola, you no. piece of shit? No, I you would never. piece of shit. I would never. You cheater. <laughs> um... Also, hi rags. Much love from Lockdownland, aka Germany. Much love. Oh, Lockdownland. I must confess. It actually does feel like someone from Scotland, doesn't it? Lockdownland. 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 The Lockdownland in the right. Lock the right. But nice. Purple, purple alarm. I must confess, I've never given Joseph Anderson a chance since watching Mola's series on Soma and Amnesia back in the day. Same with H-Bomber Guy. As much as I want to be fair, I have trouble getting over some frustrating first impressions. Thoughts? I'm pretty sure they both have- well, so I definitely know that H-Bomber Guy's got some really good videos. Um, I don't- I, Especially what's, what's, the new stuff, right? What's a good one to start with, uh, Jay? Do you reckon the Sherlock one, maybe? I mean, the Vaccines one, I think, is a pretty good one to start with, I think but like... That one was amazing. Like, I had yeah. no idea about all that history. <laughs> Um, um, but I mean, I'm for sure media, because cool. the Sherlock one's pretty convincing, at least. I've not played Fallout New Vegas, but the, the video Fallout was one is controversial, right? Because he, because yeah. a lot of people like Fallout Three, don't they? Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, it's the whole thing of like, if the thing he's like, assuming all his references are accurate, I can't see any flaws in his arguments, right? But I haven't played the game, so I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Like his um, Sherlock video is a banger. Yeah, I, I would I would probably go for um, the Sherlock one as a starter. And as for Joseph Anderson, I mean, I'm trying to think of which one. I don't know what I'd recommend for Joseph Anderson, but I'm sure he's got just just, just avoid the one about horror at the very. Oh, Fist Play <laughs> Shell. Okay. No, no, I think I think the one about vaccines and the one about climate change are the great starters. They're like. I think they're like the most bulletproof ones he has as well. Like those are just like fully like tight, incredibly tight. I know the Soy Boys one is really funny. I'm not I sure I've seen anything that he's made. I'm never gonna get so. in first place without a second item to use. That, that's why Impossible. they give you the blue shell. Well, but my challenge is to get to first without using it. Just drive fast. Idiot. Give me encouragement, yeah. Franny. Come on, go, go, go. You can do oh, it. I screwed up the turn, but I got that hit. All right, I'm at, th I'm at third. I told you not to And you still that. got another lap to go, so. Yeah. Got plenty of time. God, I need someone else to throw. Oh, I got hit by lightning, so I lost it. Uh, <laughs> That's cruel. cruel. Um. There was one video you recommended him with Joseph at the end of the ukulele videos. I don't remember which one that one is, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, definitely give them both a shot. Uh, there's Whoa. stuff out there from both. <laughs> Regarding adaptation changes are necessary to produce a new story, right? It's not fair to call one bad just because it didn't check boxes. More importantly is whether it is able to present the combination of new and old ideas seamlessly. That said, Rip Witcher. Well, so this is the complication when you have a bad story adapted well. Um, is it bad because it's a bad adaptation? And at that point, is adaptation um, only is viewed by um, faithfulness? Which probably shouldn't be 
the only thing you judge adaptation by, but I don't know. I, I haven't thought about it that much. That, you know, whether or not it should be by how good the thing ends up being. Yeah. Because, like, what is a great adaptation of Lord of the Rings? And if it's like, here's the Matrix, you'd be like, well, that, I mean... <laughs> nice. Do you like the film, though? It's like, well, yes, but it's not the Ma it's not the Lord of the Rings, so... Then maybe it's like... Adaptation quality is about how faithful it is. Um, but then that would just be about adaptation quality. It wouldn't be about overall. Well, true, but like at the same time, I honestly think it's really hard to nail down what is faithful. Well, what does it mean to be faithful if you make changes and some of them are suited for format, right? Like you only have a certain amount of time, so you need to make decisions about what to keep and what to lose. What is the important stuff to keep? What's the less important stuff to keep? That's yeah, tough. Mm -hmm. uh, in a stream, you were wondering how ancient people would have considered the Iliad and the Odyssey as obvious literary works, but still believed that the Odyssey lived, Odysseus lived, Zeus exists, etc. Think of them as seeing the books as really good historical fiction. That's one way to think about it. I yeah, I don't know. It's not something I'm super familiar with. Fair enough, yeah. Um, Alrighty, and that's it for Streamlabs. Let's have a look at what's going on for today's. Um, Streamlabs. Mm -hmm. First one, Twitter yeah. drama response. Um, from what I could tell, Rag said a shirt was sad, and then I... Um, I don't even think I agreed in the clip. And many people were mad at me for saying wearing Spider-Man shirts were bad. I don't think that's bad. That's fine. Uh, I tried to clarify that and I upset everybody because I was condescending to Brown Table, which... That ain't new. It's hard. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Um, I was going to say, like, of all the things I've ever done, I don't think condescending is really going to... Uh, I wouldn't have thought that would be the thing that gets me in any kind of trouble, but yeah, um, I ended up having to mute because I got, like, quote tweeted by everybody. Um, I don't think they believe me when I say I don't mind people wearing Spider-Man shirts, but I really don't. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I have, I have myself I don't even mind. worn shit. Well, I didn't think you would have minded. <laughs> I assumed it was much more to do with Brown Table himself. Um, but yeah, Twitter is, is just... Everyone's very angry, and I assume well, it'll just... Twitter being Twitter? Oh my god. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Not the greatest platform for good faith discussions. Well, yeah, because I got confused. I was like, oh, uh, you know, what's the big sin? And it's just like, you're being fucking mean. And I was like, oh man. Uh-oh, not us? What? And I was like, I get That's guilty as charged. I don't really know what else to say. Um... Talk about Twitter drama, also hi Jay. I mean, if you've got any questions, I don't know what else there is to say. I really don't know what else to clarify. Yeah, I, I'm cool with Spider-Man yeah. shirts. <laughs> GG. Yeah, the official e fat take. <laughs> Spider-Man shirts, A-OK. -okay. The amount of time and brain cells that I that I devote each day to Spider-Man t-shirts is equal to or less than zero. Well, what's weird as well is I've seen people discussing it, and there's some people in the EFAB audience that are like, it was cringe, and I'm just like, I think, I, I, honestly, I think it's fine to think someone wearing Spider-Man shirt is cringe. You can do that if you want. Well, I mean, everybody has takes on what they think is or isn't cringe, but it's just, if you enjoy doing what you're doing, then fuck everybody else. Yeah. Hitler. Hey. I was, I was waiting for him to say that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you step yet. Well, I love Hitler. He's... Oh my God, Twitter! Don't, don't, <laughs> don't quote tweet me. It's already done. Oh my done. goodness gracious! Oh no! It's already done. You know, if we were all nudists like I am, this wouldn't be a problem. It's true. I kind of want to like. That must be difficult in a nudist society, having like superheroes and stuff. I guess you could wear a mask. <laughs> you right? can draw them on your skin. <laughs> but what if someone what, recognizes really... your dick? Yeah, what if someone's like, really... wait a second? That's Peter Parker. I could t I'd know that dick anywhere. A really unique penis. Or he's like, I, I I recognize that genital. Yes. I recognize that genital. I recognize <laughs> that genital. 
Uh, Lord Longburn of Mewbushlington Abbey, have you given any more thought to a Kong fap of Peter Jackson's Long Kong <laughs> when there's less going on? I feel, that, does that question come in like every single time? I yeah, believe so, lot. yeah. All the time. <laughs> I just all keep hearing Mewbushlington of Longton Abbey and all that <laughs> Kong fap. Many, no, Kong many, e many Kong requests fap. for the, Kong, yeah. the Long Kong. They want and the Long Kong song. Specifically the 2006 Peter Jackson one. The right? Long Kong, yeah. So not, <laughs> not the not the Kong versus Big Skull Mom Island. Wizard. No, I think it's because this person does actually want like to see what we think of that particular Kong, and I'm I mean, that interested too. An interesting one. I feel like that's got to be because that movie is like unique in a sense. It's a really long film uh, at a time when <laughs> films weren't typically that long. Well, and it was Jackson's next thing after Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah. Uh, well, something he was clearly passionate about. I think so, and I remember thinking Jack Black is not in a role of just being a funny fat guy. He's actually in like... Which is nice to see when he's doing different things. Yeah. I was, uh, so yeah, well, well, that's the thing, I'm not lying when I say, yeah, we'll check that out at some point, I just don't know when. P.S. Hello Wagsy's scritches for the good boy. Hey! Um... How are y'all doing? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm just doing trying right. to get some of my damn challenges in Halo Infinite, but they just keep getting more obtuse and weird. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm just desperately trying to avoid, like, all kinds of awfulness in this in this track to win. As a man Wait, of piranha plant in a boo. I'm on the... is it Go-Go Desert? Or am I... Go... Go-Go Desert. I think it's go -Go called... Go-Go uh, Dry Dry... Oh, Dry Desert? Dry Desert. I think that's it, yeah. I don't know why it'd be the Go-Go Desert. It's definitely... <laughs> I think I'm, thinking, I'm mixing Desert. up with the Go-Go Girls. Is that a go -Go. band? I think my favorite part is... Like, you have Go-Go Dancers. This isn't, guys, this isn't a dry desert. Even though deserts are dry necessarily. It's a dry, is dry it? desert. Is that true? It's like, it's very I remember yeah, Rags teaching me about this. Deserts but, um, are necessarily places with low precipitation. That's what a desert is. Okay. I, I never said anything about it being hot. It just needs to be dry. Antarctica is the largest desert in the world. It's dry. So oh, I that had is a, what a desert is. It's I had a chance to. You did. You did. Style. And you crashed into it. So. I honestly, because I was, I but, was thinking about my failures, and then I forgot that I was supposed to avoid it as well. I just, oh, terrible. It was all terrible. Mm -hmm. I never really was cool. The Arctic counts as a desert. That's an interesting one because the Arctic is like an ocean that freezes over with ice. Would that be- yep. would that count as a desert if-, if I think the they might be thinking of the ice. Antarctic. Well, I prefer Antarctic dessert. A desert. Does- I think- well, mm. there is probably someone out there who prefers the desert- you know, they're like, a Sunday- Yeah, I'm- nah. I am sure- I'm sure there's someone out there who does no prefer rain. desert to dessert. I love it. I love no rain and no water. I love- I want- When I find I want water, chocolate, I smash it rain, open and yeah. let it fall off. Sand. I love when I get water and I feed it to my dog, but feed it so inefficiently that most of the water is spilled on the sand and lost. Tuscan Raiders. Uh, All right. Tuscan Raiders. Oh, I lost my damn blue that. shell again. This challenge has become impossibly difficult. <laughs> but this is the challenge of the day. It is. I'm going to keep playing until I get it. it. Do the best you can. If you no. do, you get a, a shy, free loot box. Smaller. Yo, free loot box? Will yeah. I get a J brand loot box? Yeah. Can I get the J? J, what's in your loot box? You don't want to ask that. Ooh. <laughs> it's, our, it's, it's already been done. What's Damn asked it. cannot be unasked. Well, because, all right, I'm tired. I'm kind of tired, Brags. And, like, the only word in my head was come. I was like, that's what everyone thinks I'm going to say, and I can't just say that. It's fine, I already said it for you. That's sort of my so, thing. Metal's you know. already done it, so I can't do it. I show up to the stream, I say come, you know. Yeah. That's like standard procedure these days. Like, I don't, I'm I don't know. surprised that Maul hasn't replaced me with a soundboard yet. Wait, this isn't a soundboard right now? Oh, fuck. I, don't, I don't have the fucking funding to do that shit. Well, it's funny, if you could, you, now that I've said that, you could replace me with a soundboard that says <laughs> it's funny come. that Maul hasn't replaced me with a soundboard yet. Yeah. And then that, that, would be, that would be the one thing, that's like the one thing that you say for all time. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, man, I wonder why I haven't been replaced with a soundboard. It's like, man, you really, this is like really important to you, isn't it, Jay? Yeah, no, I, I know, I, I just don't know why I haven't been replaced by a soundboard. <laughs> it's like, okay, okay, I'll leave you to it. I wonder why I haven't been replaced by a soundboard. Okay, Jay, all right. Jeez, I just saw this. 
cleverness. Do you understand that if I was a soundboard, I wouldn't be able to pronounce it in a different way each time? Well, I mean, couldn't you? Couldn't yeah, you, you have different recordings from saying thing? that. Yeah. Well, oh, no, you just have you different know. recordings of him saying the same thing True. in different That's ways. That's right. Yeah. And then you have enough of it. It's like a video game, you know, when when the character grunts when they like jump. You just got to record <sighs> enough that it's not the same one each time. Ooh. Does anyone here grunt when they jump? Trick uh, question. So. None of you jump. So no, you know. nobody jumps. It, it, nobody jumps. I think jumps. we had this conversation before. We did. Like, video yeah, we did. What if I was like jumping? Just yesterday, <laughs> was reaching for something. I was out of reach, so I did a little jump. You'd be wrong then, wouldn't you? I jump whenever well, I that, see a sign. That I would, but that never happened. It totally happens. Yeah. I sometimes jump I in VR. Like right, with a VR headset so, on, but I jump but, in real life. I isn't that really funny to think that. about, though, that there's a good chance that you've jumped more in VR than you've jumped in, like, the last three years of your life? That's very possible, yes. <laughs> you jumped more in <laughs> VR than in AR. That is, you jump more in exactly. virtual reality as opposed actual to actual reality. reality. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, there goes gravity. <laughs> oh, mob spaghetti. There goes gravity. Oh, there goes gravity. Something, I forget the lines. And then you gotta lose yourself. Welcome to EFAP. Constant depravity. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Constantly testing. It's like you wake up every morning. Ah! Oh, gravity's yeah. on. Oh, yes. Oh, All right, oh, we're fine. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I was a little worried there. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Would you, except for a million dollars, like gr that gravity turns off for uh, like five minutes every day? I think the world would probably be destroyed. So <laughs> no, you, you specifically. Just oh, me? just me? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll take five minutes of zero G. Yeah. Every day. I guess just hope you're not outside, I guess. Yeah. Well, or <laughs> if you are outside, just make sure you carry some cinder blocks with you everywhere you go. You, know, you might not even need cinder blocks. As long as... Yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying... <laughs> carry a, I'm you can carry like a fan, dollars. right? Yeah, like you can those, carry like anything, a portable, really. A portable fan and just blow yourself around? Well, I, I guess it's the whole thing of if you're zero gravity, as long as you have something that is like a little bit gravity, that's all you need to be fine. Yeah, you yeah. could just you could tie yourself to like a Unless like a it's really foam. Windy. Right, but but a zero I, I G guess, tornado? Oh my god! I guess the thing would be that if it's really windy, you'd still have gravity affecting you, like so that you don't. Oh, and someone's just pointed out the clothes would keep. Let's assume that the clothes don't keep their weight, otherwise it's just totally Too pointless. much to think about, how, yeah. How heavy are your clothes? I was about to say, wouldn't the clothes... <laughs> Fuck me. I guess the clothes would be enough to keep you down, right? They would absolutely well, be enough to keep you down. Well, consider that if you had a room filled with helium and you put a helium balloon in it, it would sink. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I guess the problem is because people are pointing out as well that it's like the terminology. Are we talking about zero mass or zero gravity? And what would you is rather, the difference? Would you, have, would you have five minutes a day of having zero mass? I guess the problem is like, I wonder what would happen to you as a human being if you had zero mass just for like five minutes. That probably killed well, you, right? Would you hard Well, I've been an eating? atheist for years and I haven't had mass in ages. Ho 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 ho! Oh, 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 oh. pun fun. Man, that last episode was shit. However, you could have said that in one word, Fringy. Fun. P H U N. Pun. Oh, is that a <laughs> contraction of pun and fun? Yes, I read it in the dictionary. It's written by Ray. That actually, isn't it? If you had zero mass, like a ghost, you, you turned into a ghost, an ephemeral. Would you fly off the earth spirit? at the speed of rotation? All right, I feel like I feel like all of this isn't in the spirit of the question. You're not <laughs> answering the fun of my question. <laughs> Well, because you're right, Earth's rotation, you're moving at like, what, 30, you'd it's still, the whole thing of, if you'd Earth still just suddenly stopped, the... you'd all die. That's, if, oh, that's yeah. if Earth suddenly stopped relative to you, that's not if... That's true, which is not the scenario. Yeah, you would keep, you would inherit the momentum of the Earth, so you'd be fine. Astronauts survive zero gravity. I was talking about zero mass. Like, if you had no mass, wouldn't that just mean that you're like, nothing at all? Like, or the as they say in Mexico, in have no mass. mass. Or am I, max, or am I mixing no them mass, up? Mass. Right? Like, they're weightless, but they're not massless, right? Like, if you're in if you're in outer space and you've yeah. got zero gravity, you still have mass. Yes, astronauts are very impatient. <laughs> have you seen the Apollo movies? Like, oh, I want to get back to Earth. Mm. Weightless. Like, why can't we just have a little scenic route? It's like, you're taking yeah. us the wrong way. I just wanted to take the scenic route through space, all right? 
Chat has a good oh. question. Uh, Fringy, why are you wrong? <laughs> hmm. I'm, I'm just... Uh, the problem is I learned all this stuff, but, like, I learned it so long ago that I can barely remember any of it. <gasps> First place thing. Blue shell. But I'm wait, third. Oh. Okay, but you're close to... Oh, wait. <sighs> but it's the last, last lap. As well. Yeah. And I'm fourth. Look how far away first is. This ain't happening, I'm just firing isn't it. Isn't Piranha Plant, isn't his thing like the fastest in the game? Yeah. So, ideally you should be. Well, so this car has the top speed, but the lowest acceleration, I think. So that means every time I'm hit, I suffer. That makes sense, because just like in real life, as we all know, plants are well known for their speed. Well, it's not <laughs> the plant, it's Bowser's car. Oh my well, goodness. I mean, I, if you, yeah. I guess Bowser's if car would up. be fast. Even though Bowser is typically slow. slow. <laughs> well, I would assume that the car could go fast, but he w it would be tough for him to gain speed, like accelerate, you know, because he's got a lot of mass. He does not have a zero mass day. He has extra mm. mass day, and that's all days because he's big. Yeah. And so he's got to have a he's got to have a chonky car, and it's not quick, but it will get up to high speed. He's like a bus with a rocket strapped to it. Guns. <laughs> At Muller, remember the time your friend who pretends to be a dog made fun of a cancer survivor? It's like, wow. That, that was fun. That's, uh... I guess that's what's going around too, huh? That's, uh, that's pretty unfair, that but alright. I, I guess that's that just what I should I expect. That definitely said, yeah. That's what I should expect from the internet. Yeah, well... Um, if you had it does to choose... confirm that you have a, it does confirm that you have a dog friend though, so it's not all bad. Like, At least that's that's canon, so that's that. Yeah, it's a it's that's a fantastical environment in which I speak to doggos. What you all about? If you had to yeah. choose a movie slash series to see for the first time again, as you are now, uh, what would it be, and why is it Lord of the Rings? That's definitely up there. there. That's literally what Rags did. God damn, the stupid people in chat. They're out in force today. They're multiplying. Well, no, these people aren't multiplying. <laughs> it's just like the worst version of what you could possibly understand from your point. It really is. It's a shame considering how much I clarified it specifically, and people are still too thick to get it. But that's all right. I guess anyone who doesn't want to understand will continue to not understand. That's all right. Um, the Dark Souls is always the one I reference for a first time doing again. Mm. I wonder Soma? how much The Matrix would be something I'd like to see for the first time again. Isn't Soma normally your first pick? Oh yeah, that too. If we're going, definitely for including games. <laughs> I said Dark Souls, so I assume. <laughs> so is that yeah. I saw a hologram of rags killing younglings. <laughs> oh no. I knew it. <laughs> that did happen, though, so that's fair enough. Mm -hmm. I, be I bet Rags makes fun of children with autism who clapped at Luke and Mando. Not true. They don't have to be clapping at Luke and Mando for me to make fun <laughs> of children with oh autism. Oh, my. <sighs> um, yeah, I don't know if anyone else got any suggestions. What was the question? Uh, I'm, sorry? I'm, I'm sorry. What what was the question? I was I was reading chat. What, what was the question? Uh, pieces of media to experience the first time. Oh, yeah. oh like this if is I, a question we've gotten before. Get rid of the memory yeah. and then do it the first time. Uh, uh, Lord of the Rings: Fellowship of the Ring. I'd love to be able to watch that again for the first time. Yeah. Go and see a theater. Watch it all. Oh man, that that's that's like top of my list. Wait, barring Lord mm. of the Rings, Soma, Dark Souls. <laughs> And the Matrix. They were the ones that were suggested. Metroid oh. Prime would be a cool have one to have. Oh, so... Wait, hmm. th sorry. Well, those were the ones that were suggested, so we need to pick something that isn't those? Yeah, if you've got any. Uh, but, uh, I feel like I'd like to play Metroid Prime for the first time again. That was a really cool experience. Mm -hmm. Not a wild. Oh, alright. Uh, gosh, if... Barring those things, um... This might... Hmm... Yeah, I don't know. I have to give it some thought because those are generally sort of our go-tos. Um, oh gosh, I'm sure there's plenty of games that I'd want to experience again for the first time. Um, so many that I don't even know how to pick one out in particular. Because um, I, I worry about picking one out and would maybe like put it up higher than the rest. When Witcher three would that be um, one? 
Sure, I'd I would like to play that, you know, for the first time again. But that's a lot of games. Everything from Prey to Metro, uh, uh, Last Light to to all kinds of stuff. Just being able to experience it again. I think the thing is, is um, if if there was like broader things, like it deleted all of your memories of movies temporarily, like if you if you, if you change the primer of the question to. You will get basically, I don't know, like the amount of time necessary to complete whatever it is that you want to rewatch or replay, and all of your memories of like <laughs> all related media disappear. That could be interesting in terms of like, man, how cool would it be to just play like, you know, Grand Theft Auto 3 with no knowledge of what video games were? Or like, yeah, Super Mario Brothers. Um, maybe not the first one, but like Super Mario World or Super Mario 64. I wonder how like. The Last of Us would do if it was the first game you ever played. I wonder if it would give you uh, false conceptions about what video games are to some extent, you know? I think so. Like, uh, like you, you play it and you're like, my god. Because let's suppose say you remember movies, whatever you like, play first will do that, right? I guess the thing is, is there are certain like very core games. Like if you play Super Mario 64, it's like, so you've just got a really good introduction to what 3D video games are. This is a really good introduction to what this is as a thing. Um, like if you played Tetris and you're like, welcome to video games, I feel like that's going to give you a very skewed view as well. Um, I guess it would give you a skewed view towards certain types of games, but um, I feel like you'd uh, you'd still you'd still get a lot from that. No, yeah, I agree. I mean, to be fair, um, you'd get a lot from The Last of Us, right? Because you'd be get a lot from time. everything, yeah. Like if you played uh, someone in the chat said Metal Gear Solid, it's like. That would, I imagine that would be another one where it would be like totally informing. Because it, it would be the whole thing of imagine if you played just for uh, like you had all your memories deleted and then you, you had two games to choose from and then you pick Super Mario Brothers and then you jump all the way to like Red Dead Redemption 2 mm -hmm. just to see how crazy different video games became after like 30 years. That, how insane would that be? Just be like mind blown. Jay, what about Subnautica? Yeah, Hmm. Fishy. <laughs> the fishy game. Good. <laughs> Fish good. <laughs> you sound like that fucking... Uh, Alright. <laughs> was that clip from Trump where he was like, little fishies. He, he says that at some point. <laughs> oh, well, that, was, that was the interview, right? That was that big that interview on Fox. <laughs> the little windows and the little fishies. I don't... Oh, yeah, that's right. The little windows. Yeah. <laughs> They're building houses with little... <laughs> we gotta protect America from the little fish. <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> yeah, I was I was like half asleep and like you you're asking me about Subnautica and I'm like Subnautica whatever. And then you bring up that and I'm like, I'm fucking here. What I am awake. <laughs> <laughs> RG Tetris has aged greatly. Well, I mean, I've said it many times, but Tetris is like possibly the best game ever made, like if you were to make the argument. Uh, yeah, Tetris is timeless and wonderful. Yeah, and I haven't played it as yeah. much as I used to. I need to. I need to microtransactions. I want to well, I, more colors with my wallet. I mean, Tetris ninety nine. That's uh, you can only play that if you got a Switch membership. So in a certain sense, it's it's got uh that sort of not awesome business model. Uh, Yay! It's an MMO. The Tetris MMO where you get to choose which block you are and you go on adventures in Tetris Land. I think they and they're all dressed up in their little, you know, like uh, you got like the the warrior ones and the mage. <laughs> mage. They all have like... a sleepover and they all sleep in a line and then they all go and there's like ah and parts of them. Oh no! Yeah. And then they have to crawl their way out of hell, Oof. like Kratos. Yeah. Uh. So it's a dungeon crawl. It's all it's all games in one. It's a life sim. It's an it's an RPG. It's an action mm -hmm. adventure game. It's a narrative-driven game. Nice. Tetris, the most versatile IP of all time. I can't wait for the... You could have a Tetris, uh, like a hide-and-seek style game. A Tetris mystery thriller where you have to find who the killer is. Um, you have all kinds of different genres. That would I be like cool. It. A Tetris... With, like you've it. got, like, the gruff... The gruff, uh, I don't know, like L-shaped Tetris, the the four straight lines, and he's wearing his little uh, hat. <laughs> and then he, you know, they're they're on like a little Tetris train, and I don't know, like the 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 one of the blocks, the like T kind of block, gets murdered. It's like, all right, I I got to solve this mystery, and I only got like two hours to do it. 
starts interviewing. It's like, L.A. Noir, you gotta tell if the blocks are lying. So I'm guessing <laughs> they have faces at this point. No, they don't. That's the challenge. Figure out whether they're lying based on <laughs> cutscenes of these static blocks. I couldn't do it. I guess we have to try again. All right, you, it's okay. You've, you've got 16 more tries this round, and then 16 more, and then as many tries as you want, basically. Excellent. Do it. Man, now that I'm not pissed drunk, I'm appreciating this game even more. Appreciate the rarity. Wait, what are you playing? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Oh. Are you winning? And I'm, playing the, I'm playing those tracks without being pissed. It's like a whole different game. <laughs> Who is your favorite character? I always play Wario. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what does he do? Wario is fun. What? In, driving? Oh, you mean in, in... Wait, so he's your favorite character in 8. Wait, I'm lost now, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm so, lost too. I, I'm confused by the question, what does he do? Um, maybe I'm retarded. I, I was thinking, like, was there anything in Mario Kart they've added where characters can do a thing, or...? or no, cause, no. Because well, I, rea I realize now, attributes. if someone had said, who's my favorite in Double Dash, I probably would have answered Boo, and then I wouldn't be able to tell you other things. Well, I just like Boo. <laughs> like, oh, well, I mean, they definitely have different attributes, like uh, the bigger characters in Mario Kart. Yeah, because, um, you know, you can change your cart and you can change your tires and everything, but depending that on matters? which character I thought it was just get, customizable. Um, well, it is customizable, okay. but there are certain characters who will just, like, at base be, uh, like, faster or have better grip, and I think okay. I think the bigger characters, so, like, Bowser, Donkey Kong, and all those, they're just more like, they have faster speed, but they have low acceleration, then you've got, like, Mario is all-rounded, he's, like, okay at everything, yeah. <laughs> so, if you want to go fast, you do need to pick, like, Wario and, and Bowser and, huh. and Rosalina and stuff. In this, well, in Double Dash... It's just it's the car, car right? yeah. Um, I, I do wonder how I feel about that ride. It's like, I want to play a shy guy, but I also want to go really oh, fast. Wait. It's like, oh, Sorry, it is the car, but the car is de determined by the choice of characters. I forgot about that. And I for think it's whereas... the, if you choose a big guy and a small guy, it's a big car. If you choose a small guy and a small guy, it's a small car. Like, that's the only way to get the small car. Right. Well, yeah, because in Mario Kart 8, you can have whatever car you want. It'll just be tailored to... Because I was just thinking... Just... Size Wario and Waluigi trying to ride the little toad cart. I was like, wait, that's a visual <laughs> I have never seen. <laughs> but I would like to see it. I would like to see that. Fire. Uh, I rewatched the Raimi trilogy with the wife recently. Three is definitely the dumbest, but I always have a great time with it. I could totally see that. Yeah, it's definitely Dude. entertaining. There's a lot of stuff to bring joy to my face. <laughs> the Bully Maguire stuff is... See you, chump. Chef's kiss. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you want forgiveness? Get religion. <laughs> so many great lines. <laughs> I'm gonna when you fix this eyes. damn door. <laughs> like like Spider-Man 3's meme material is off the charts. Yeah. It's fucking fantastic. Uh, why do you never play as the baby characters? I've actually more commonly played as the baby characters. Like... I, that, that, that's that's I, it's only rarely that I've, uh, recently I've been playing as these guys, and I, I always play as Boo in Mario Party, but I I typically like the smaller carts in uh, Double Dash. I'm trying the bigger ones, you know. Trying to trying to trying to mix expand. it up. You, yeah. you wanna you can't call yourself a Mario Kart expert if you can't play well, regardless of which card or character you play. And that is the main thing I call myself. What if you were just now, like really good at Mario Kart Theory? Like the Kart like in, like a college course, yeah. Like you you really understand Mario Kart theory. You've just oh. never really played the game. Like you're oh like maybe you're really bad at video games, but you're like a video game like announcer or commentator. Maybe so maybe you know the ins and outs of the games. You can't play yeah, it yourself maybe, very yeah, maybe well. Maybe like you don't but... have any arms. Yeah, and you don't want to learn how to play with your feet or telekinesis. You don't have any feet either. Oh. Oh my goodness gracious! That's just a shitty life right there. So if they threw you at... <laughs> Was that the signal to do the next Super I, it's, I don't think it's ethical to, to throw disabled people without their consent, Rex. No, I, I was just... just you shouldn't throw I anybody just... without their consent. Yeah, I feel like... <laughs> this, I the less the limbs they have, the base. meaner it is. That's true, but I think the, 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 the consequences might be worse if you're throwing someone with no arms or feet. But might be. 
Not for you me. Know, that means that we need to just not do it for everybody. That's true. Because well, there could be bad consequences for everybody. Exactly. Yeah. Be nice to everybody. That? Yeah, J see, I'm a nicer than Jay. I'm like, don't be throwing nobody. And Jay, like, don't be throwing disabled people. But those aren't, those aren't mutually exclusive statements. Well, I, <laughs> I'm going to run against you for president of the UK. The president of the UK. <laughs> New role I'm deciding on. I've invented it. Look at me, I'm the president now. And it's determined by a video essay from everyone who's in the runnings. When you say UK, can you specify what those letters stand for when you say them? The United... I can't come Kingdom. up with anything. I was going to say Cuckdom, and I was like, why would I say that? <laughs> United Cuckdom. <laughs> but in reality, the, the whole thing should be, because isn't it officially the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, so it should be UK. the UK of GB, the, the U, UK GB and I. Yeah. The Ku Klux Klan. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh no, the mascot, for whatever that image was. For the mean. Brazilian <laughs> vaccination program. God. <laughs> Just one of those situations when nobody was like, wait a minute, this is a bad idea. Like a deflated... I still don't even know if it's real, I'm assuming it's real. I, well, what is this? If oh, you so scroll up, Jay, there's a meme. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh. <laughs> oh no! But it's funny. Maybe he knew the guy in the costume. I wonder if they've even changed that now, because I mean, it's it's been pointed out, right? So they've oh, probably God, yeah. changed to something hopefully a little smarter than that. Well, they've changed it to something equally. Yeah, they make it way worse somehow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. It's like, okay, we'll remove what? everything except the hood. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like the hood is the first thing that we should be starting with removing. All right. Fun soldier man with his mustache and funny hair. <laughs> fun, <laughs> fun soldier man. What do you call a man with? Because we were talking about this earlier. What, what do you call a man with no arms, no legs, who falls in a lake? What? Bob. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I understand. What? What do you call a man with no arms and no legs at your front door? Package. Matt. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh no. <laughs> That's all I got. I want another one. More. More. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. That's, that's the only two I was cooking up while y'all were talking about whatever the fuck it was you were talking about. Hey, hey, Metal, I just shit my pants. Can I get into yours? No. Oh. Ew. <laughs> So anyway, hey guys, it's been hard lately as my 13-year-old dog doesn't have much time left. Uh, thank oh, you for the damn. distraction and the entertainment, it helps a lot. Sorry Absolutely, to hear I'm really glad to help. Yeah, sorry to hear that, that sucks. Um, what is, like, a good, I guess it depends on the breed, right? But it's like, um... I think 15 years is like the average lifespan of really dog, depends on the, on the breed. I would but imagine some it does. dogs, there yeah. is like six. And some dogs that make it all the way up to 20, but I mean, yeah. In any case, it's still sad. It's yeah, and I just, just, I guess yeah. what I was trying to say is I just hope your dog's had a good, long a nice, life. Long, breed, a nice, healthy, yeah. happy life. I've, I am to, to return to a little bit of levity. Um, someone in chat has notified me that you, you should still call him Bob because his location doesn't change his name. <laughs> 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 thank, thank you. <laughs> For letting me know that, I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> I will, I will consider that for future reference. Very um, considerate. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on Cabin in the Woods, and would you do an EFAP movies for it? I don't have a Cabin in the Woods, so I can't comment. Uh, it's a movie. Am I the one who's seen it? Or... I know, Friggy. I have not seen it, but I've heard of it. <laughs> Hey, Freddy, have you seen the film? Serious that. No, I'm just saying, it's, it's a, a film, movie. Right? You it fucking movie. idiot. I didn't say anything wrong, did I? Stupid German. I didn't say that. <laughs> it was still funny, shut up. 
Brings a fan day, man. I apologize. Free, free. Have you seen the Sheens? <laughs> oh, that's that thing that was that Dark Souls <laughs> mod that I still have no idea what it is. Oh, oh the Dark Souls mod has nothing to do with it. That's just what, what I was not playing. a Dark Souls just, mod, the Sheens? The <laughs> the Dark Souls oh, I, mod. I thought, Sheets. sorry, I, but no, but. We like I several thought, times okay. told you it's a TV show. Jay likes the original, I like the. No, wait. I like the original, Jay likes the remake. Fuck. <laughs> no, I know that I know that you told me that, but I thought that there was a uh, like a that there was a mod in Dark Souls that was based on that show because I saw it Meadows stream. The name was something to do with like Dark Sheens or something. <laughs> what? What, what in the world are you talking about? Okay, look, I, I, it's, I'm I'm happy to admit that I I must be mistaken. Okay? <laughs> I'm very sorry well, that I made a mistake. This will be a, we did it with Metal's chat. We'll do it with, with this chat. Uh, do you prefer? The original Sheens or the remake? Because for some reason, Jay seems to think the remake is considered the definitive one, which oh, I think is bullshit. Yeah. I mean, I can't French. do a poll. That I'm playing Mario Kart. Poll chat. Poll chat. When, when did the, the show come chat. out? When did the show come out, out of curiosity? The original came out in, like, the 60s, and then the remake was uh, in, like... And just because it's old think. doesn't mean it's crap, seriously. I Well, no, I mean, I wasn't going to say that. I was just going to say it's that like there the are thing, probably... Right? There are a handful of examples, right, of, of shows that are uh, that were in like the fifties, sixties that got rebooted, where the reboot actually did become like the more well-known version. Yeah, like the thing is the, the good well, example. Well, the thing, of that. the thing is a good example of that. Uh, Which, I guess I'm thinking yeah. of TV shows because I, uh, for whatever reason, I have a disproportionately high amount of exposure to sixties television as opposed to seventies. I watch like Get Smart. Um, Just want to say I'm loving I that. Dream a Genie. Get Smart. There's a lot of love for like Flat Sheen in chat right now, which is pretty cool. Yeah, oh, yeah, Flat Sheen, good boy. I love Flat Sheen. Well, he's, I still, I think he's the best character. I, uh, Child Sheen is like close second, I guess. Wait, someone said uh, 1964, 1989, 2004. Is there a third one? I'm there are three of this show that I've never heard of. I think there was a movie, but like it was a TV movie. Nobody cared about it. It was like different actors, different writers and stuff. Well, like how there was three Dune movies or three, you know, there was the Dune movie in the 80s, then the sci-fi television <laughs> show, and then Dune. And you just forget about the middle one. Well, I, I, I forget. I'll be honest, I haven't seen... Nobody talks about the 2004 one, so I didn't know. I haven't seen it. And that goes the same for Dune, by the way. I never saw the TV show. Dune. Mm. Dune. Dune. Also, I, 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 I will answer. Uh, Cabin in the Woods, so I've seen it. Um, I didn't... I wasn't that impressed by it. I, I get the point that it was making. I thought some stuff was kind of neat, but a lot of it I just felt like wasn't that great. Um, and hey, I'm supposed to be biased toward it because it's a Joss Whedon thing, right? That's how that works. Oh my goodness. Um, but loads of people loved it. And I was like, okay. Um, I like the passion behind it being like, it's basically like a... Well, so, so has anyone here seen it? When I've seen it again. Uh, right. no, I've no, seen I'm not sure. I think I know the general so like, premise. Okay, yeah, I'll, okay. I'll only go far enough that you could you can decide if you want to see it. So it starts out super generic slasher movie type of story where it's a bunch of teenagers and they're all like, "Let's go to my parents' cabin in the woods for this summer break. It's gonna be great." Oh my god! And then like I think on their yeah. way there, they're refueling. There's this gas station, there's this creepy gas station man who's just like, y'all gonna have some fun there, huh? And stuff like that, just like, oh my god, what's, what's with him? And then like, I don't know, news of people who don't return from that area or something. Um, and so they get there, and then I think, you know, things are kind of just unfolding the way you'd expect. Um, until, uh, we're, we're shown like a facility. We're not, I don't think we know how it connects yet, but it's just a facility who've got all these cameras on all the stuff we're seeing. All of these these people in these rooms and, and doing all that stuff. And he's like, wait, what? what? And um, the idea is the people in the facility are facilitating a slasher movie in real life. And they have to, like, control things, move things around to make sure everything goes the way that it's supposed to. And all, all of those things follow tropes. Like, um, The Last Girl... Or, um, the jock who manages to maybe, like, do some stuff but always gets killed. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if, like, the black guy dies first or something that comes up in it, but just stuff like that. They have to, like, make sure those things happen. And they, um, have a sort of... They have, like, a hundred different potential slasher villains. 
and uh, it's determined by whatever the, the people in the house end up doing. Like, they can play with the Ouija board, or they can, you know, fuck with, like, a bunch of vials, or they can blah blah blah, and it'll unlock something that's trying to kill them then. Um, and so it's a very meta movie, and there's lots of things in it that are, like, I don't know, people found it really clever. I think, I only saw it the once, and I was just like, this is very fine. Um, I would be interested in seeing it. I really would. I think, I I think it's worth seeing. Based on the concept, yeah. Yeah, sounds so Sigourney really Weaver was in that, right? Sorry? Sigourney Weaver was in that? She is in it, yes. Yeah. Uh, Chris Hemsworth's in it as well. Amy yes, Acker is in it, uh... yeah. Oh, is she? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she hasn't okay. got a big oh. role. Um, sure, but... It's really on the nose. I, I found that. Um, I, I, I don't, I, I'd need to see it again before I could say what I think of it ultimately, but, uh, I think EFAP movies could work for it. I think so. Yeah, maybe. Uh, the editor's cut of Spido 3 is a little bit better. A few shorter scenes added or replaced, uh, that make small improvements. It's two minutes shorter than theatrical. Huh. That's interesting that you'd have a cut that's better that's shorter. Just Chris Evans, not Hemsworth? No, it's Hemsworth. Well, it's yeah, with Evans. Justice League. I I know it's Hemsworth, and I remember what happens to him. Cause I, it's I remember, definitely Chris Hemsworth. I know that he's in that film, yeah. He has a particularly distinct ending to his story, that I remember. I remember thinking, um, oh my god, Thor. Because I'm pretty sure Thor was out by then, <laughs> right? Uh, well, Thor is 2011, so... I don't remember when Cabin in the Woods <laughs> came out either. I think it came out around that time, but I, yeah, not sure. Yeah. Um, things have calmed down at my theater. I watch EFAP at work again. By the way, my Boromir video was an hour and five minutes long. You'd be proud. Uh, oh, hi boy. to all, not just rags. Thanks for getting me better at writing. Hey. Oh. Oh. oh, hello. Hello. What's up? Jay, say hi. Oh, uh hello. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is pretty crazy to think about like how significantly Spider-Man has like dominated the box office. It's it's kind yeah, of like, crazy, isn't it? A, I, like I one and a half billion already. We'll get in there. Man, really? Oh, is well, it? I, I think I if you if you round up, now. maybe maybe I'm exaggerating. I, I need to check it again. Nevertheless, like that is best ever. Well, because it hasn't opened know. in China yet, right? I think it, I think it has. Uh, I don't think it has opened in China yet. I think from what I understand, China. it's already made six hundred million in the U.S., which is significant. Um, I don't think many films Chinese aren't like much. racist against spiders or something, are they? Um, I don't even know what China thinks of Spider-Man. I, I've, does it do um, well there? Well, I, I, does it uphold would party imagine, values? I would imagine that it does well there, um, cause it's Spider-Man, it's oh. just a chungus IP. Um, but I, I guess it's, uh, cause it seems like a lot of Marvel movies aren't releasing in that market now so it's almost like now they have to just adapt to a world where they can't rely on that market well yeah because um, it turns out shang chi were both progressive they were both booted out but i don't know if, uh, I, I don't know that i don't think spider-man Spider -Man. was booted out but yeah. i don't know that it's not like ever coming out i think that's i think that's the state of that film because if it comes out in china too and they like it like jesus christ this film's gonna make a shit ton well, I mean, it's because if you said it's already at 1.5 and it's like it hasn't been out for it's been out for three weeks now, three yeah, weeks, three ish, three -ish weeks, yeah. and it's probably going to continue. I yeah, think I saw a tweet from someone who said that uh, apparently the reason why Morbius got delayed is because Spider Man is doing so well that it would be better <laughs> to just leave it on its own to keep making money <laughs> than to have Morbius come out at the same time. It looks better, uh, well, yeah, on, like the report for the year. It would be like if you know, you, you have. Morbius is like his younger brother cheering it on. It's just like, no, you could be your own thing later. Just let they they're yeah, fine. Later, they don't need a cheerleader. Too, yeah. yeah. I, I, I do find it a bit funny though that they're actually trying to push for an Oscar. It's like, alright, look, like, that movie's like I do like that movie, but Oscar well, really It's funny, I just argue with myself. I'm like, no, that shouldn't get an Oscar. And I'm like, you don't care about no. the Oscars. And I'm like, no, I, I don't, don't think... but <laughs> like but. I think there's a misunderstanding but. here. I just want to clarify with Fringy and the Oscar thing. So uh, what they wanted to do with the Oscar stuff is they wanted to make a new category. Best Spider-Man movie of the year. Uh. <laughs> well, because there is going to be a Spider-Man movie every year at this rate, isn't there? What if there's two? Got, That's when it's it, going to get well, real there will, there will be more than one, right? Because we got Morbius and then we got Into the Spider-Verse, in, Across the Spider-Verse Part 1. 
And then next year we got Craven part the Hunter one. and Across the Spider-Verse Part 2. Yes, it's, it's, it's a little two-parter film. So, you know what? That'd actually be competition for... They are working so hard to make Spider-Man just a thing that they can keep making money off of indefinitely, mm. aren't they? Forever they and ever. Venom. They did uh, make Venom. Just and Venom 2, and then I remember I haven't seen it because it was a sequel to Venom. It, well, Andy Circus directed it, which makes me kind of... Well, clearly I wasn't interested enough, right? Because I haven't seen it, but like, <laughs> yeah. that makes me a little bit interested. It's like, hmm, I wonder what Andy Circus film looks like. You were interested so at one point, weren't you? I thought you were... I think I was, but then the film got delayed significantly from like when it came out everywhere else versus here. And right. so then you just... Fringy right. thinks movies <laughs> should adhere to his scheduling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, to fair. a certain extent, yeah. <laughs> So, you know, Rags, I don't want to have to wait four months to watch Dune. Yeah, I don't want to have to wait four months to watch Dune. Yeah, you Dune? entitled yeah, film person. It's pronounced Whoa. Dune. Is it Dune it's or Dune? It's pronounced June. June. <laughs> no, that's a month. Yeah. It's a month, June? but it's also the name of a film, and it's also the name of people. My heat, my sweating, my June. What's so confusing about that? <laughs> The thing I just made up? June. It's not June 2. Everyone's going to be interested in June 2. Jean am I right? I'm definitely interested in watching that Q. film. Yeah. Part tune. Auto tune. Um, I rewatched Tasm 1 and 2. I think Andrew and Emma's chemistry to be cute and charming are among the few good things to come from Tasm's. I don't think I don't remember saying I ever had a problem with um, him or even her. I don't, I don't think I had a problem with Emma Stone. I don't think I do. I certainly never had a problem with Andrew Garfield. It was never his fault. It was never not his fault. fault. Not your fault. It's not your fault. And if he gets his um, his Tasm three and it's good, oh, what a wonderful. That'd world. be cool. Yeah. That would be yeah, that, very interesting think... if he got a third. When uh, when we start getting like Tasm three and amazing, uh, no, no, sorry, Tasm three and like Rainy Spider Man four, that's when we need to start getting a best Spider Man of the year. Also, <laughs> yes, it, a, a small group of directors vying for the coveted title of best Spider Man, <laughs> Spider -Man movie film of the year. year. <laughs> it, it Spider Man like, movies every year. It always feels like you can't like artificially manufacture an Avengers like so many of these studios have been trying to do. But instead, they've just got to form naturally, like, and, that, and now yeah, yeah. it almost feels like we're in for like an, an, a, a few more solo films for some more of the Spider Mans before like the next Spider Verse movie in like five more years. I and it's totally getting to the point where it's like, legitimately, it's like the Spider Man films going to from this point on be more financially successful than the Avengers films. It yeah. might, it may well. Look at these numbers. Dude, I love the it's idea unreal. of. Even Tasm 3 being more profitable than the next Avengers is hilarious. Well, I mean, I guess that's that's got to be something they're thinking about. I guess Doctor Strange will be the interesting thing to come out, right? Because it is a sequel. First film did pretty well. Um, mm -hmm. It's meant to have lots of like, characters showing up and cameos and stuff like that. So will that one perform well? Because now it seems like Pandemic is not a factor anymore uh, when it comes to the success of these films. Yeah, well... Uh, well, if it is, it's not as Fucking pronounced hell. as it was. I mean, it makes yeah. you think, like, if it weren't pandemic times, is, is, are we looking at Spider-Man making like three billion or something? That would be insane. That would that would make it like the most successful film of all time, I think, at that point. But who knows? I mean, it's yeah. It, it makes you think. Like, is it is it the star power of no one makes back me think those uh, those Spudemans? and Willem Dafoe's and Doc Octopobbers. Well, because I would imagine, right, because Spider-Man has always been like a big IP, but I mean, even this one's doing crazy numbers for Spider-Man. I, I think there is like something to be said about this is an event in the way that Avengers was, because yeah. Avengers had multiple, yeah. whereas this one, it's like we are reaching for like 20 years of history from three like distinct series and pulling them all in uh, to Yo, tell a story. Are you telling me, are you telling me that Spider-Man is an Avengers level threat? Oh no. Yeah. I guess if he was a bad guy, I guess he probably would be. Nah, I don't think he could take them all off. I mean like in the like a the like box office term, like in like in the Oh like, true well in box office yeah, terms, yeah, I suppose. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's a that's a thought, yeah.
Hmm. It's a Thor. Oh, this is a reference. It's a man. thought. Thor. You're a thought. Thor. Thor. I'm Thor. Would you guys, um, if you were Sony, would you approve of uh, Phasm 3? Yes. Absolutely. At this point, I would. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I would now. If you asked me that really last happy. year, I'd say, what are you smoking? I think now would be like, yeah, we people people really liked a Andrew Garfield uh, when he came back. A lot of people think that he was like the standout. It would be it, like, this is a great opportunity to just keep making more Spider-Man. Because at this point, I imagine Sony's like, dude, if we can make like multiple Spider-Man films, like, holy shit. Why wouldn't we do that? Like, would you get Webb back to direct it? He's busy uh, doing. Webb. He's busy so, doing Snow White, so he can't come back. Also, right. oh, thank God. Let's pr we're doing hypotheticals, all right? So it's like Spider-Man yeah. Four. You getting Raimi? It's like, of course I'm getting Raimi. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, Raimi. Okay, so Tasm Three, you getting Webb? It's like, um, no. <sighs> Webb is very passionate. Um, I think we need to get a, a writer for him to direct. Well, maybe the big thing will be because Tasm Two had like seven writers. It's like, all right, let's just pick one and stick with one. <laughs> let's, uh, what if that writer was Watts? Um, I mean, I th well, Watts isn't a writer, but I guess if he was involved, then I thought he wrote Homecoming. Be... Am I getting no? Oh, he might—he might have been a co-writer, but there were like two or three other people who wrote the screenplays for those films. Yeah, I um, <sighs> was. Because, like, if they do a Spider-Man 4 in MCU continuity, and it's like, who do you want for that? It's like, Watts, obviously. Yeah. But I'm not sure we're going to get that at this point. Yeah. That's sad. You're sad. I feel like he's earned it at this point, and it would be, you oh, know... Oh. oh. Piece of shit. You just said you were- you just said- wait, you just said you were sad, and I agreed with you, and now I'm getting yelled at. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm irrational. Oh my goodness, you can't say that. I can't, I can say what I like. What is this? Freedom of Spetch? Freedom of yeah. Spetch. The book freedom of Freedom of Spetch. Sounds like a vegetable. We have to, we have like to bust them out of character. prison. It's we freedom have to go to the Matrix and bust out Spetch. <laughs> spetch is the key to all spetch, of this. Spetch is like a Boba Spetch. Yeah, Boba Spetch. Boba Spetch. Yeah. Hey, Boba Spetch, guys. It's me. <laughs> Don't step on Spetch. <laughs> no step on Spetch. I like how everyone in chat's trying to figure out how to spell it. <laughs> Spetch. That's -E the right? I don't know. No, I think you, you can do loads I of different things. I don't know. I like, I like it with things. a T. I think that's funny. Yeah, T. There needs to be T in there. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to say that there needs to be, but I mean, I don't see any harm that could come from that. I'm pro being having a T in Spetch? Yeah. I am. Yeah, I don't think any harm will come of that either. I'm pro T and Spetch. Alright. In Spider One, I really like how JJJ doesn't tell Garby about Peter. Um Yeah, it's a nice. It's moment. a great little detail, though it makes me wonder why we didn't get more of anything like that in the other two. Or in all three, I guess. Like, uh, Jonah's... Um, I mean, we got... I guess we got elements. Like, in Spider-Man 3, he immediately fired Brock when he found out that the, the photo was fake. Like, that... it's journalistic integrity does matter to him. I almost wish we could get even more. Um... I... Yeah, yeah. I mean, more... More J.K. Simmons, J. Jonah Jameson is well, not something yeah. I'm gonna scoff at. J.K. Simmons, J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, so that's ten if, um, times. J.K. Simmons, J. Jonah Jameson, J. Jonah Jameson. No, I was kidding. Wayne. It's fine. No, wait, oh, right. I, I, I do wonder if they're gonna make, um... And journalistic integrity important to the MCU version of him? Ah, uh, um, that'd be interesting, but I, I don't know. I don't know that they would. I wonder if they'd worry about... What it's, that it's harder for them to do it now because it feels like everyone will interpret it as a clear message about what they think on blah blah blah. Right, um, even like, though, when... from what I saw, people who were big fans of just... Alex Jones actually thought that that was fun, like, what they did. And I was like, yeah, okay, I mean, cool. It didn't I think take any shots at him, did it? Like, I don't think so. No, I think I think it was pretty clean. It was just around. And I well, so the thing for me is I don't really I don't even it doesn't have to be Alex Jones because that guy would exist uh, and he would say what yeah. he said. And to be fair, I don't think he lies at any point. No, I don't think so. I think he. I think, so. I think he reasonably interprets the events as he sees them. You, he he might mean, be aggressive some, with the facts uh, he has, as opposed yeah. to finding out every possible alternative. But I, mean, I guess but... I feel like that's what it's always been, right, with J. Jonah Jameson. It's like, he won't lie about Spider-Man, he just has a negative bias Tells against Spider-Man. specific Spider truths. 
Yeah. You feel that he does bend the truth in, in some points, right? Um, um sure, but he he'll never lie. I think no, that's he like lie. he's a menace. Jay Jay Criminal. Jay yeah. Which is one thing. But again, he fired Brock as soon as the uh as soon as he found out that he had uh done all those. Well I mean the the most more the, the thing that comes up is like way more way higher on the integrity scale than that is when um he refuses to tell Green Goblin where yeah, the no, photos I... are coming from. I mean, I would agree. Yeah, I guess that's the thing that makes J. Yeah. Jonah Jameson cool, is that it's like, he is somewhat antagonistic to Spider-Man, but you gotta like the guy. Got so much Does he ever well. become Spider-Man see... in a continuity? Oh, that would be beautiful. I want to, I desperately want to see, like, a just a film, a biopic of Alex Jones starring J.K. Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be so good at it. Get me photos of Spider-Man. Spider frogs. <laughs> is Spider Frog gay? Like, like, he's, he's the perfect casting for that. I mean, I think you do a good job. I don't know who's the perfect cast for Alex Jones. J. Jonah Jameson. If you if you think so, all right. I'm sorry. Like, name a better casting for Alex Jones than uh, um, J.K. Simmons. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I'd have to think, um... Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> um, um... <laughs> I'm imagining it now. I can see him taking it so seriously, and it's like, yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> what about... So, it's really fun to picture. <laughs> yeah, what about, what about Stellan Skarsgård? Ooh, I, ah. I, like that. I like that choice. Wait, who yeah. is that? The... Uh, here, let me get you a picture. I was about to say, like, oh. wait, what is Jay seen? There's so many <laughs> things I could pick, but also, yeah, what have you seen? You've seen Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Will's dad. He's not familiar to me. I don't remember you that character. Chernobyl? He was in Chernobyl. I didn't he watch was, Chernobyl. Yeah. Wow. Did you watch Thor? He's in Thor. He's the scientist oh, guy. Oh, him. Yeah. That's the of all, of all those films. That's the one I've seen, and also recently. He'd probably be yeah, sad to know that, like, by the way. Underutilized, he was, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he was. Uh, he was definitely. He's like, I've got this huge career of all these incredible roles, and Jay's like, I know you. You're scientist guy in MCU. <laughs> yeah. Selvig, that's his name. Yeah. Then your character went like crazy and wore pants, or not? Didn't wear pants or something? Yeah, yeah he ran and around. They naked. brought everybody else back, but they didn't bring you back. They couldn't find anything for you. They found things for Darcy and not you. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Everyone loves Darcy. She's so, uh, such an annoying cunt! Wow, rags. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's not fine, I'm really annoyed. Greetings, hate mongers. I need to get a new mic Hi. for my videos. Any recommendations? Mike's Hard Lemonade, hey yo. Uh, AT2020. Either yep, the USB that's what... or the XLR, but if I'm you start, like... maybe go for the USB. It seems like that's everybody everybody wants to jump to the Shure mic. It's like, damn. What's that? Hmm. Doesn't that cost like a bomb? The it's just S H U R E. It's it's just the one you see everybody with. Um, I, 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 don't, I legit don't know, sure what it it I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> me neither. Uh, All I can tell is that. Well, I was gonna say I don't know how to explain. Like, it's a microphone. It's used by H uh, H uses it. Um, Oh, I want, I want Geeks and it. Gamers uses it. Uh, as uses uh, it. Clearly, yeah, I mean, it's it's clearly a good microphone, but sure. there's a yeah. lot of good microphones. How much does it cost, oh, exactly? That's the, yeah, can you you able to find the price rags of the show microphone? Uh, uh, what is, you know, the model? In... 7 that's 285 euro. That's a lot for that's us. Yeah, that's, money, yeah. that's not, because like for people who are starting out, that is not. Uh... <laughs> you want to start with <laughs> like, like an starting AP out. Or, like, or blue mic. My recommendation yeah, to you, like a, like a blue yeti, is like for a, for a starter for a starter mic isn't bad. Like they'll do. Honestly, the AT twenty twenty is not much more expensive anymore. I, would, I was yeah, gonna say yeah. it's such a good mic. The AT twenty twenty. AT twenty twenty USB plus doesn't need a mixer or anything. It's just USB. Plug it in. I've had mine for many years. It is a wonderful mic, and I would highly recommend it to anyone starting out. Because if there's one thing that you might want to splurge on. If you splurge on anything at all, yeah. a good microphone goes a long way. Yeah, yeah a good microphone really. goes a really long way. But don't like uh, hyper splurge, you know? No, I personally I use a Rode NT-USB. 
Is that why it sounds so like shit? If you shit? want to sound like shit, yeah. <laughs> buy them. Hey. <laughs> It, it, it does sound bad. Just so <laughs> well, I, was, I did want to bring it up, but you you, you sounded there? strange today, Jay. You sounded a little Why? strange. Really? Yeah, like... You wouldn't lie about something like that. Seems like it's peaking, maybe? I'm not sure. Something's going on with it. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, it's, settings must be funky. I think other applications might be taking control of your microphone. Oh my god. Aliens? Mm. I always find it difficult to die because, like, I know that audio quality through Discord usually ain't swell, and then sometimes I have issues when I'm recording trying to sort it out. But did you yeah. say you had? I swear, I, I swear, I just didn't hear what you said. I, to me, it sounded like I, I've, I've forgotten what I thought you said. Fuck it, I'm tired. All, All right. right. I, thought, <laughs> I thought you said something really weird. I'm like, surely you didn't say that. And I was going to no, repeat I it. I was like, wait, no, I have no idea what I thought. All I was saying was that I, I find that it, it can be hard to figure out issues with audio like for instance when my audio comes through discord it doesn't sound super great but i'm not sure what to do to fix that i don't sound um, right now well based off of the sampling of three maybe two words i i can't really tell yeah how could you say more things to help us analyze what Sitting there in silence is not is not how you silence sounds great. Did you say more things to help us analyze sitting there in silence? It sounds not, worse. Silence is it's great. Yeah, it sounds like ass. It hey. sounds like it does sound like ass. And I know I know the sound of ass, and this is not that <laughs> sound good, sir. What's the sound of ass, Rex? It goes. It sounds like spatch. Yeah, it <laughs> sounds like. Ass is coming. <laughs> Ass is coming, yeah. It's like the episode in Mando, yeah, yeah. When they look at, they hear outside, and yeah, outside in the distance, there's just a faint. It's like in, like in Boba Fett, where the Tusken Raiders start getting sniped by an ass that's traveling through. <laughs> As if the ass, tra <laughs> ass train is what you've, you're talking about. You've said it as though it's like absurdly funnier. I still think what it is is pretty funny. Like, yeah. <laughs> what it is is, the gun train is hilarious. I'm just thinking about an ass train. But ass a gun tra train, you're right, that's hilarious. The butt train. The butt train. It's just got a butt up in the front. It would make more sense if when they heard the butt train coming, then they got all excited and ran out to see it. <laughs> Instead of the gun train, the where they and when it goes choo choo, it just goes. Oh. Do I sound better now? Ooh. No, nothing's coming out. It's just. Yeah. Yeah, I think it does sound better, but you gotta say more. I fixed my yeah. mic settings, I think. Yeah, you you much I, yeah much yeah. better. So that was better, Jay. Is, Congratulations. Uh, what happens? Is, what happened is I unplugged my microphone to take it um, with me to England so that I could record stuff while I was there. Wait, and, which England? Um, uh, the the New one uh, my, my city. Oh. Um, and. When I came back, I replugged my mic into my computer and it just restored default settings because thanks, my computer. I, I, I really appreciate that. What were your default settings? Like, not the mic? Um, mainly, the behind this. just that, uh, not that it was the wrong mic, it just resets it to max volume for no apparent oh, reason. Oh, awesome. Uh, Great. Love it. That would explain, yeah, why your quality was terrible and I had to turn you down a bunch. Congratulations, Jay. Good job. Oh, you only yeah. have to do that for the content of my words, Rex. Unplugging and replugging it, it fixed the issue. Mm. Oh, it's nice. I didn't re replug it. I went into the settings and had a look. Let, look, see here. Have you reset everything? Oh, it's like, oh, you have. Okay. You little slut. You digitally unplugged yeah, it. Yeah, you little slut. It. That's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for giving me more. <laughs> I'm not little. This is exactly what I needed. You're a tiny boy. You're a little tiny boy. Also, I'm all of the new rags. Do you I have to break me? Out? Are you? Do I, have to, do I have to break out the meme? Oh my how, God. how tall are you, Rags? How tall are you, Rags? Um, I'm 5'10? 5 5'11. 5 oh, nice. You how wide are you? Short. You're a, you're a skinny. You're, you're a skinny short. One. That's cruel. No, I know. You're actually above average um, in <laughs> terms of height. Yeah, yeah I'm 5'10 is like average for male height. I think, so, no, I think average for male height is lower than 5'10, I'm pretty sure. I think it's like 5'8. Oh my goodness gracious, Fringy! You can't be doing this to me. No, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to be under the radar here with my average height. <laughs> hey, you're still within the standard. Well, you're like you're eight at the radar. tall, you freak. What are you? Hey, I can't help that. I don't, I don't Fringy. Fringy you're yeah, right. you, actually, you can. You're, Fringy, you're in the height range as am I of just. Oh, that's a good height. You got a good height right there. You're yeah, massive. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. You, you can reach right, stuff and on. see things yeah. like oof. 
and then have people say, what? how's the weather up there? And you're like, ah, <laughs> And then you're oh, like, man, how are the fucking time. dregs oh, and caverns of Earth? <laughs> you hobbit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I <laughs> have yeah. all around me. Heaven is everywhere. I my my head is in the clouds. It's beautiful. Yep. It's like in the Matrix when Trinity goes up above the clouds. That's what it's like. Yeah. She's the real hero. I saw this meme and it just No you didn't. It reminded me of the Karen movie so much. Uh oh. What was it? Just just, it remind me of the couple from the Karen movie, because it's like, well, they, they look kind of like them and they're buying a house. That's it. That's what my, that's what my brain is that doing was your right input. now. I realized, right. yeah, I realized as I said it, oh, that was my input. Go Karen ahead. movie, EFAP movie is coming in Next year. nine oh, this months. Year. Nine right. months. Oh, so basically tomorrow. I thought I said me at my ass at the bottom of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jay, what so memes? Buy this this house. So yeah. Oh, is this today. about Karen? It's not actually about Karen. Oh. Hello? Yeah, at that point it does look like Hello? just a meme version of what Karen's oh, hi. plot is. Cut out. Yeah, I I thought that that is that is. Funny. It's actually about buying shoes. Uh. It's about what? It's about buying cheese. Shoes. <laughs> oh, Jeez. oh, there it is. Okay. That's the full context. Oh, right, because it's always the meme of the housing market. I think my favorite one was the one poking the housing market with a stick saying, come on, collapse. It's like, it's yeah. so true. <laughs> it's so true. That's basically yeah. what all millennials want. It's just for the housing market to collapse. <laughs> come on. Well, collapse. Imagine how frustrating it'll be for the last people to buy a house before the market collapses. I must be having well, I mean, you think about that, and it's like, yeah, there is some unfortunate soul who that happened to. I remember I heard a story of someone who bought a house like shortly before the COVID stuff happened, and then the housing market crashed. But then the housing market just boomed, so it wasn't so bad for them after all. Oh. Now, if you want to buy a house in Sydney, I think the average price is like one point four million. So, uh, yeah, I hope you got rich parents. I don't know who this Sydney guy is, but he's got a lot of nerve. A lot of houses. Mm. He doesn't have a lot of houses. That's the problem. <laughs> but he sells all of them. Yeah. <clears throat> um, also, hi, Rags. Kick J. Fringy. Thoughts on cancer. Also, Molly gay. Pro cancer? Um... <laughs> I feel like that's not one of the traditionally hard questions that you normally get. <laughs> it just sucks. Yeah, it seems really it, simple it is, to me. It just sucks. Oh, I was going to say, if we want a legitimate answer, I fucking hate cancer. Yeah, it's yeah. I hate awful. it more than yeah. most things. It's bad. Cancer it's... is bad. It took Norm MacDonald and all kinds of people. It's really upsetting. It got. Didn't know, um... And I think Chadwick Boseman also. Uh, that yeah. was what Chowel he cancer, was right? suffering from. Bout, yeah, which is one of those really Bring. shit ones. That I'm about to do it. From. Can I do it? Eh. I'm sick of playing in first place. Uh, with the... dip fire. Oh, on, um... it, it literally oh, just nukes yourself. That's great. <laughs> we did it, everyone. <laughs> Yay. Well, well we know. So so we did an experiment, and it was observable, and it's repeatable, and it's it's. it's we did all it. The science. That, it's all the thing that science is supposed to be. And to be fair, that would totally be an achievement if this was like 360. Well, anything post yeah. 360, I guess. Blow yourself up with a first place with thing. a first at first, yeah, just hmm. whatever. Got, of course, I got it on this I, map too. Fine, I'll do it myself. Achievement. <laughs> 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 Fine. Waha! I'll do it myself. I could do it in Chris Pratt's voice, which would just be fine. I'll do it myself. I feel like that is going to be such a mystery. What is his <laughs> voice going to be? I wonder if they commit the, um... into that still with whatever. Because like, man, he gets a lot of hate like, these days. I mean, I would imagine that to not commit to his casting would cost them a lot of money that they don't think is yeah. worth it. So they're just going to keep so... trucking along. With the um, the Detective Pikachu movie and the Sonic movies, now they're doing a Mario movie. Are they working their way towards a Smash movie? Do we think? I no, I don't think a so. Smash all Mouth different movie? studios, I think. Oh, wait, wait, I mean, that's no, got to be something they're considering, right? Wait a minute, hold on, because because uh, I think the Mario one's Universal. Was the Detective Pikachu was that Universal? Um. I, but they're not the same, because the Mario one is fully animated, the P Pikachu one is like live action. 
Well, I assume uh, they don't see. even need to be from the same companies in, in terms of encouraging that kind of idea. Which, yeah, if you have a Mario film, I feel like that's a next logical step to think about. Probably, yeah. Um, I guess it's... Then again, is there you know, a Legend of Zelda thing? Because... You have to wonder if they've had that conversation. It's like, you know that Avengers I'm thing? I'm sure they have. Like, people like that yeah. Avengers thing. What if we did it with our little what if we video did game Mario? characters? Yeah. Do you know yeah. that the Avengers are thing? Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just so Avenger. Avenger. With the Mario. Uh, well, Sonic. Someone said Sonic. Okay, so they're all different studios. Detective Pikachu was Warner Brothers. Sonic was Paramount. And Mario was Universal. So it's, it's basically just totally across the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I, I wasn't thinking of combining them. I was just like, Mario will kick off all the Nintendo peeps and then... We can make Possibly. Smash Brothers, maybe, once they've got... Because, like, a Metroid movie could happen, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think it's something that keeps coming up as a as an idea. But, I mean, a Kirby film? Like, is that something that would actually happen? Is that on the cards? That film would suck. Imagine. No, I... You know what? <laughs> nice. that, that could honestly... That Kirby nice. film could... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fun, 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 fun. But unironically, from what I hear, like the Kirby universe has some cool lore, and you could make a really cool movie. In the Kirby the Kirby I just, I just like your defense for Kirby. It took over your interpretation of the joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Listen here, I, Kirby I, is not you. here to defend himself. I must take up the mantle. That's right. <laughs> I am. Oh, no, I, I have, Kirby's a cool dude. Kirby slander in this household. Kirby's a cool dude, I'd hang out with Kirby. I mean, that new yeah. game looks like it's gonna be really cool. The the new one's coming out this year. It's like an open-world the... Kirby game. I think the idea that Kirby might not be a fit for a cinematic universe... I don't know, that sounds like a tough pill to swallow. Dude, that Meta Knight movie would probably be really cool. If Meta they Knight. Yeah. I always love how he's, he sounds so encouraged text. when he reads out that name. He does, yeah. yeah. Then there are cool. ones where the announcer seems perplexed. Like, Jigglypuff. It's like, oh, yeah, what, you <laughs> Jigglypuff? Really? What are you trying to say, huh? <laughs> Jigglypuff. Yeah. This really jiggles my puff. Ooh. This really puffs yeah, my yeah, jiggles. Bro. This really creams my fleems. No, this I'll game's see. my watch. I don't know why oh. people keep saying they'd want Brie Larson specifically for, like, there's plenty of people you could pick for Samus. But again, Gwendolyn Christie Samus. feels like the obvious choice. People requesting Brie Larson. What about? I think it was. I think that was a thing that went around. That, that like either she was interested. I think she was interested personally in doing it. What about Stellan Skarsgård? Hmm. What a Samus. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like he can bring. He re he can really bring the emotional gravitas that that well, character needs. He could be Crace. Crace Crace Raidfield. <laughs> no, no, Crace. Am I? I'm getting that right. I know. Bring What's that, sorry? Grace? He's a bad guy in Metroid, right? Am I mixing up? Uh, sorry, I... Yeah, the, uh... Oh my god, I'm, I'm blanking right now. Cr uh... Was it Craid? You were talking about Craid. Craid. Oh, Craid yes. is what I meant. Sorry, not Crace. Crace is fucking like, Farscape. Who is that? <laughs> That's Farscape. Farscape's cool. Yeah. Fuck if, is Farscape. If... Wow. Someone's... Oh, it's, it's a show that we'll watch. Um... Someone said jokingly Charles stands for Luigi, but what I would say is oh my if God, you I would, needed I would if cream you needed for that. to have if you needed to have Samus <laughs> with like an old mentor or like a, someone, you know, I think Charles stands for really the shows are yeah, like a he, he could mentor. be like a yeah, something like that. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Charles Stans, I would watch Charles Stans play any role. Yeah. yeah. Charles Stans yeah, yeah, is yeah. Donkey Kong. Just Charles like Dance Donkey is Kong is plotting to deal with it. What what is uh what is the King K Rules army called? You know, he's like plotting to deal with him, he's talking to Diddy Kong. <laughs> it's just like the more bananas they steal from our kingdom, the less our name commands respect. Oh god, yeah. Perfect. And as he's skidding bananas oh, I instead see of that. skidding a shit. Well, I, you you wanna see like you know, Chris Pratt trying to be like, here we go. <laughs> like a like a voice like that just cuts to <laughs> Luigi Chris Charles Dash is like, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Let's a go. Let's, Let's go. go. House of Mario. Wait, no, sorry. Game of Mario. Oh yeah, and then of course Shrimps. Charles Dance would probably be a fucking great fit for Ganondorf. Like, I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. 
Imagine like a really menacing. Is he, wear, is by he him. allowed to wear blackface? You wouldn't yes. have to, right? I thought they Ganondorf was a brown has fella. to wear blackface. I would love to Close see the rules. Charles dance in blackface. I think he'd get in well, trouble. Someone already, an someone already animated that for you. Oh yeah, that someone made that at some point. Yeah, yeah, it was one. It was the intro for 150, I think. It was um, it was Charles Dance playing Martin Luther King. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, favorite main menu themes. Great examples are Metroid Prime, Mario Kart 64, and <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, there's Metroid Prime's is really cool. I love Echoes' um, his main theme. I like Echoes' his main cool, theme yeah. quite a bit. Do 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 do. So, two of my favorite main menu themes are uh, Shadow Warrior 2 has a fucking baller Ooh. main title theme. Um, another one that's really good is Remnant from the Ashes. That yeah. has a great main title theme. Um, uh, I mean, the main it feels like an obvious yeah. choice, but Halo 3 has an awesome menu. Yeah, that's like, true. Mixed. Yeah. Um, Divinity I mean, Original Sin 2, that's right. I mean, um, Super Smash though, Bros. Melee is pretty iconic. I yeah. would say that Divinity Original Sin 1 had a better title theme. Uh, it's called... Oh, it's I've got it on my computer. Uh, I forget it. I think it's like Memory of... Uh, I, I forget, but it Divinity Original Sin... Memory of I Forget. Yeah, it, uh, ironically, I can't... Yeah. Um, but Divinity Original Sin 1, uh, Shadow Warrior 2, Remnant from the Ashes, those are the three that come to mind. But there's plenty that are great. Those are just the three that come to mind. Um, hmm. I Battlefield guess 1, is, yeah. There's technically a difference that. between the title themes and the, uh, Main theme. menu themes, right? Like, oh. the Super Smash Brother ones, they have, like, a, they have the, like, theme and then they have the menu theme. Mm -hmm. and all of the Smash Brothers ones have amazing menu themes. They're all great. Yeah, that's true. They're all really good. But you know what? 4 is downright underrated. A lot of people don't really give that one much credit, but 4's got an awesome menu medley. Um, but Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is pretty god tier. Uh, Killer Instinct. That's someone mentioned that in chat. That was, uh, that was Mick Gordon. He did Killer Instinct soundtrack, and it is... That one slaps. That's an awesome soundtrack. Who did it slap? No, it didn't slap anybody. It just slaps. It like slaps its knee. Like, yeah, this is ah. great rhythms. Um, Flap that one ass. is that that uh Jago has a really cool theme in that game, and uh and I think it was uh Cinder. He's got a really cool song too. Black Ops multiplayer menu theme. That one's nostalgic. And also Dash, you pointed out a super underrated one, Bullet Storm. That is a really really good menu theme. Like that's that game had a really good theme. And nobody played that game. Bulletstorm I mean, is like super underrated. I played it. I thought it was neat. I had it on the I, PlayStation. I uh that game is super neat. That's that game is like really cool. It's it was like when we were trying to be super hardcore with like our shooters in terms of having you know cool movement and crazy like string everything along to get as many points as possible. Yeah. There's been a Steam release since, right? Has there been? Because I remember it was a it was a games for Windows Live, uh, which made it really hard to oh. to play. So I'm not sure. Yeah, games for Windows Live was a fucking shit show. That was so bad. Yeah, that's just a bad idea thrown through. Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, I know Xenoblade Chronicles has some cool songs. Uh, I think it's Gore. I think it's Gore Planes. That's what it's called. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. GTA 4, uh, yeah, GTA 4's, uh, main theme is, ooh, whew, love it. Well, that was a good selection. I feel like is, that's a ton uh, of selections, yeah. Let's see, Divinity, uh, Battlefront, uh, not Battlefront 2, Bad Company 2 has a cool, uh, menu Memories theme as well. Memories of the Future was, uh, Divinity Original hmm. Sins. How can you have Memories of the Future? Yeah, you know what? The main title theme from The sense. Last Emperor was really good. David Byrne? That's good. Oh, uh, the... Uh, what's that? Uh, give me just a second, just a second, second. It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, the Mission? You know, the movie? 
Uh, that had a really oh. good. That had a good main title. That's right. Enio Morricone did that one. Ooh. Oh. Arkham yeah. City did have a cool theme as well. I'm sure, there's one I'm forgetting that I really like that's just eluding me right now. The ambient soundtrack of Echo was great. Yeah, Echo had really great ambient soundtracks. Um, I really like that. Yeah, Echo's got some good shit. Kept a lot of the um, Echo music. The Black Ops one was cool though. That, uh, but that might just be because of nostalgia. Black Ops 2 had a really cool one, actually. That one, uh... That was a really cool menu theme. Load Black Runner Ops 2 had a great soundtrack in general, though. I, was saying, I think it was 90, uh, 1995. Load Runner 2 had a really good, uh, really good theme. That There was an extended version of as the credits, which is really great. It'd make a good EFAB. If we ever had an, a, a, a theme song to play, it would, Load Runner 2, the credits would be a good one for that. With, um... Open bar on Friday Night Tights and Real BBC and stuff, how they all run intros. I have thought, like, we could do an intro for EFAP, but then I was like, is it EFAP's intro that we just, we're just in the middle of a conversation Talking every single time? Nonsense. I feel like yeah. that's the intro, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Feels like that is the change intro. That. Oh, the final, so Final Fantasy 3 came out on DS years and years ago. It had a really awesome uh opening theme to it it was really good highly recommend that it had a little cinematic that played with it but the music was really baller for that I, that's a great one the final fantasy 3 ds opening that's some I'm good not stuff familiar with that <clears throat> rags got a war theme i don't know anything about god of war i'm not god gonna of ask war, that the metal and a... them are yeah metal and the them <laughs> um okay. well, not the reboot but god of war 4 has a pretty Great soundtrack. I love the yeah, soundtrack God has a great for the God of War franchise. It's oh, really awesome. Oh, oh, oh. And then there was. Oh, da, da, oh, 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 Honestly, like. I think I've told you guys before, like, uh, Bloodborne is so fucking good that I would yeah. happily have the Bloodborne sequel just for its soundtrack, let alone everything else. <laughs> like, wow, well, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I really like Dark Souls 3 soundtrack, though, I gotta say. Yeah, I honestly really like a lot of them. I don't know what they do when they make the soundtracks for those types of games, but man, they are fucking glorious. I do oh, like yeah. the Demon Souls <laughs> one, um, but I think you can tell with the Demon Souls one, I'm pretty sure that one wasn't recorded with a an orchestra. I think oh, okay. Demon Souls was not. An, I think you can just tell there are things where it's like, oh, that's uh, that's like digital. But I mean, you know, you do what you can, right? Um, hmm. And that's an interesting one to think about because the remake of that game just flat out changes a lot of the songs from the original. Like, uh, Flame Lurker had this really cool, um... Oh, yeah. It, yeah. Flame Lurker was really melancholy, or, not melancholy, it was, uh, it was, it was tapered back, it was quiet, it wasn't, and then, like, the new one, it's just, just really loud. And I like it, but it's really loud, <laughs> where the original one wasn't. It's basically a different song. Um... And, uh... It they they remastered you know the soundtrack for um, Secrets of Mana for the remake they did, and I I prefer the original SNES soundtrack overall. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know I if that's I... like universally like that, but I I don't know I don't like the remastered one. It's worth mentioning Mario right. Galaxy. Does that have a main theme that you like? I guess Mario Galaxy, I don't know what the main theme would be, because when I think about Mario Galaxy, I think it's always Gusty Garden is, like, what you always go to. But, I mean, Good Egg Galaxy has a really cool opening, and their credit suite is, uh, ooh, that one, uh, sometimes gets me... That that one is, like, a real hit of nostalgia. <laughs> um, I adore that game soundtrack. It's beautiful. I will say the Assassin's Creed 2 theme. Oh, yep. Uh, yeah, Venice Rooftops is uh, is a really cool one. Uh, I was thinking Ezio's family in particular. Yeah, that's the one. That's, that's yeah. basically Vin the theme no, of that Venice Rooftops point. is another one that I have saved because that shit yeah. is that shit slaps. Is that so just, uh, is it yeah. just for kid Stop or just for kid? I think it's Jesper. I think it's Jesper Kid. I think that's how you pronounce Jesper, it. He is, Jesper uh, Kid did a lot of the underrated Creed music. He's underrated. He, Great job of blending vocals, acoustic, and like electric stuff. Um, he did it. This Assassin's Creed 2 music in general is just really good. 
Well, I mean, um, Assassin's Creed 2 theme basically just became the de facto theme of the whole series. That's how memorable it was. You know, we, we were talking earlier about games I'd want to go back and play again for the first time. Assassin's Creed 2. That's, that's a, a game I wouldn't mind going back playing again. God, that was such a over great to the experience. Renaissance. I, I adored playing Assassin's what Creed 2. What a great too. setting. What a unique setting to have a game set in. It, it, it's, um, it's perfect. Just the right level of advancement to make a lot of the gadgets feasible. Uh, yeah, and it was still nice everything. and old school with the sort and the, the architecture and the oh, it was great. What a great also, game. Assassin's Creed 1, Jesper Kidd also did the soundtrack for that, and there are a lot of great themes. Jerusalem, the, the theme for Jerusalem when you're riding on a horse is uh is like gorgeous. It's really great. This it's like this really interesting fusion of different uh you know, like different um genres of music. There was also that really cool chase theme as well, whenever you needed to run away. That was that was really a good one. Assassin's Creed has Assassin's Creed 3 has a great soundtrack too, by the way. You know Assassin's Creed is like trouble in town. Oh great. The main theme is awesome. The old Ratchet and I, Clank game had awesome music. Oh yeah. Oh man, so many bangers from the original games. And Deadlocked had a sweet soundtrack too. The uh I think the Avenger Tower of Climb the Tower, that's a really cool track. Um, the Marauder Tournament, that's a sick one. Um, I can't remember, I think it was Onyx had, uh, the, like, the Ghost Station. That was a cool one, too. When I was in college, my roommate played a crap load of NBA 2K11. I don't, I didn't, I didn't play, I don't care for sports games, but the soundtrack for NBA 2K11 was really good. I remember so, the one maybe I played a lot of now. was NBA 2K5. That was uh, that was the, the one that I played the most of, I think. Um, oh, and yeah, someone's yeah. mentioning the Ori games. It's like, yep, Ori games have sweet soundtracks. <clears throat> and Metal Gear Rising, that is, uh, yeah, that's a really good one. Oh, yeah. Metal Gear Rising, the music changing depending on the... Uh, I feel like it was the rules of nature when you're fighting that giant robot when it's just mm -hmm. like, oh man, this is just a really good idea and more games should do this dynamic music. Fantastic. Awesome. Streets of Rage 4, I remember playing that. That had a really cool song when you're going up the elevator. Um, sure. that, that was a really cool moment. It seems like everybody remembered that one. Um, Streets of Rage 4 was a cool game. That was a, that was a great art style. So, I hope you got your money's worth there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, good answer. Um, alrighty. Okay, I admit it. DK64 hasn't aged well. I'm just biased from nostalgia. However, the OST is still Kirkhope's best music to me. Ooh. Ooh, that's a, that's a claim, because he's made a lot of great music. I fucking... This is the thing about Banjo-Kazooie's soundtrack. I really love it. It's so chill. And, uh, uh, banjo has always got a nice, chill one. Um, there's a lot of great ones from Donkey Kong, like, Country. Mm -hmm. A lot of chill tracks. Um, also, he did Goldeneye, didn't he, as well? And Goldeneye's got some cool songs. I would assume he did Goldeneye as well, yeah. Did all the rare stuff. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's an interesting one with him because he made so many cool tracks. He uh, quite a quite a long history of music. The DK rap. I know that's what everybody's <laughs> going to with Donkey Kong. Here we, here we, here we go. Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's a great meme. I love that meme. It's so perfect. The dance. Yeah, and there's good tracks in ukulele night. as well. No, not denying that. Ukulele does have a cool. But didn't people say that it wasn't? Or, or was that the only Dude, thing that people, people said, praised in that game? People said everything was worse. There were people who were saying like Kirkoke is not yeah. at his best in this. Like, they, I don't know what happened. I remember to that, that it had cool some cool song. I barely played that game and I remember that track. It was sweet. It's nice and chill. It was really. I, I remember when it launched and I was on Twitch and I was like, this is a fun game. <laughs> and you were the you only know, one. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. And I started watching reviews. I, I remember I was watching them on the Twitch stream. We were just watching loads of reviews in a row, EFAP style. And we were just like, wow. Their points are crap and they're all the same. Everyone keeps saying the same things. They're not like, but they're not proving it. Well, it just feels like the same one was The Last of Us 2. They say their friends' names when you kill them. <laughs> so, this is why good. Why is that good? 
You kind of have a quiz at the end of a level. That is bad pacing. Fun. It's like, why is that bad <laughs> pacing? It is. Categorically bad pacing. But it, bad it, pacing because I don't like it. It was weird because it was like really well paced for me when I was playing it on the stream because we'd be like, we'd go through the whole level, we'd search the fuck out of it, and then it'd be like, we did it. 100% complete. Nice. Now time for a quiz. Like, alrighty. Super Mario World game over theme. Well, that's, uh, what is the best athletic theme in the Mario series? That's kind of a tough one. Because it feels I like the default choice. Video. What's up? I sent a little video in the shit. Oh. And then this jump. All right. <laughs> is this Mega short? Mega Man 2's got a great soundtrack. It too. is short. Yeah. Is it? Can I play it on stream? My I have no and idea. Then, I've seen other people play it on their stream, dead. so it should be okay, but I don't know. <laughs> and then there's Chunky. He's dead. <laughs> Chunky's dead. <laughs> 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 Dude, Chunky is right. <laughs> dead. <laughs> and then this Chunky, he's yeah. dead. <laughs> Love that video. After Chunky, mm-hmm. Um... Uh, however, DK64 isn't close to being as bad as most people say it is. It's fun time if you're just trying to beat it. You'd probably enjoy it, Fringold. Yeah, I probably would. Um, that's I didn't play much of that one. Why? Uh, well, I never had an N64, so all of my experience of N64 stuff was like through either opportunities through friends or uh, like I remember at hospital whenever I had to go in for like asthma stuff, they had an N64 there, so I could play like Star Fox and everything. Um. Yeah, I, I didn't really play much of Donkey Kong uh, 64. I think I went to the hospital when I was super young and they had a GameCube in there with Mario Sunshine and I was like, oh, this is all I need. Literally yeah, all no, I need. Yeah, no, they were a little out. Well, honestly, it kind of worked out well because the fact that I didn't have an N64 would have been wouldn't have been as good if I had a GameCube. It's like, oh, well, I can play this at home. Um, but the N64, I was like, sweet. But then I got really sad because some of the games, they just, I don't know if like people had stolen them or something, but they just had fewer games later on. Um, and I remember that all they had was uh, Banjo-Kazooie. And so that was how, how I played a bit of Banjo-Kazooie was, that was the only choice I had. Yes, I, I mean, of all the game, one games to have, it's a pretty good one. I well, get, get I, a lot of time out of it. I didn't have a whole lot of fun as a kid playing Banjo-Kazooie. Um, but uh, I I'm still sure can't play the Banjo. Can you play the Kazooie? I, oh, everyone! Oh, the kazoo. I feel like everybody can, like the kazooie is probably one of the easier ones to learn out of the two. I would imagine, right? Banjo versus the kazooie. Oh well, yeah, I, 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 mean, I think that's a common misconception. <laughs> the kazoo is, it's really there's there's really a lot that goes into it. It's like a harmonica. When you see someone playing it, you're like, oh, it's a, he's just putting his mouth up to the thing and making noises. It's oh, much yeah, more right. complicated than that. Yeah, it's oh, much it's more complicated than that. Yeah, a lot of instruments in terms of like. Because I played saxophone, and with saxophone, like, the, the shape that you're making with your mouth isn't that important at all to, like, getting the notes out. But then when you want to play, like, trumpet, the, uh, what you're doing there with your mouth while you're trying to play, like, actually just changes the notes. So, um, yeah, if you want to, like, play some music, and you want to play one of the big boy instruments, but you want to do one that's not too hard, saxophone is honestly your best choice. It is probably the easiest one to pick up if you're thinking about like saxophone versus a trumpet or a trombone or a violin. What are you or... trying to say about Lisa Simpson? I play saxophone. We both play saxophone. So anything I say about her would apply to me too. Should I repeat the question? BRB. No. BRB. <laughs> All right. Well, off he goes. So defensive. Dang, it's that easy. It was. Yeah, I know. All we got to do is ask him about saxophones. We can get him to leave. And then he has to. He has to BRB. So. Bringy hates Lisa, yeah. Damn. Uh, super sick, it may have been limited by the GBA's lack of sound chip. Sounds are processed by the CPU, so maybe the song was hard to make. Um, that remember. might be an answer, but I mean, that one had like a That feels like enough to, to be a thing that you can have a... be a... to, to fit it in. It, I think it, I think it's a, it's just that it becomes noticeable because there are, they have compilations where it goes through all of them, and it's just the odd one out. It, it doesn't have it. Mm -hmm. um, and the rest 
have a, a found a way to fit in the motif they all have their own like main it's, it's really cool in terms of music to think about because each of them have their main theme and that main theme is usually played in you know one of the big circuits it's like this is the definitive circuit for this game they find a way to slot it in but then they'll find just a nice sneaky way to put in the original snes theme it's uh it's really i i, I just find it really cool to, to keep the theme going for that it's like one. they did with spider-man they did do it with Spider-Man. Motifs. Motifs and music are really, really sweet. Sorry, I played alto saxophone. That was the one I played. Um, I really do like saxophone. Uh, having only the context of Gun Train, it reminds me of that upcoming indie game on Steam, specifically about attempting to survive a killer train. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, isn't it uh, like a horror one? Yeah, it's like a tr this fucking spider train thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember why it's I so saw weird. it, but I do remember seeing a video about that. It's like cursed Thomas the Tank Engine trying to kill you. It looked really cursed, that's true. Man. I, I have interest in that, yes. You have to upgrade your train with like machine guns and stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> Bizarre, but interesting as is the uh, the bloodborne clone or maybe not clone i don't know but i'm interested in that as well piece of p something with p p yes yeah jay do you want like did you want to comment on that one something with p yeah, yeah. we we're just talking about the game about p i, I figured i just want to make sure you call that oh p that's cool like p. yeah p just don't, don't i like miss p, p when it's coming out of me lies of p yeah that's the one Life of P. <laughs> I hear it's a good movie. I saw it once, but I can't remember it. Life of P. I think there's a pie involved. Life of yeah. Pi. Uh, favorite late night talk show hosts. Mine's Conan, followed by Craig Ferguson. Uh, that'd probably be my pick as well. I was gonna say Conan's basically my only pick. I don't. Yeah. I'm not I like a fan Craig of. Ferguson. I don't think I've seen much of Craig Ferguson, so. He's From all the ones I've seen, Conan. Conan was the only one I found at least funny ones. I think <laughs> Craig is <laughs> really good at holding a conversation with people. Conan's always come across as genuine to me compared to the others. Yeah, no, I, I definitely, I, yeah. Conan is my favorite. I don't really watch late night shows. I, I like Conan. I've seen him in Norm Macdonald interviews and he seemed like a good, you know, guy, so. I've only ever seen it through clips, really know. mainly on YouTube, to be honest with you. Um, well, I think that's a lot of engagement with late night content now yeah. is clips of interviews. Uh, watching the Boba trailer made me wonder why are Wookiees hanging out on a super hot desert planet? Won't they be sweating to death if they don't cut their hair short? Leftover oh characters. God. Hmm. Oh my god, a shaved Wookiee. <laughs> that can't be a plot. I need to know like what is a shaved. Let me look at that shaved Wookiee. Oh no. Sounds like something that you'd like find a weird definition of on Urban Dictionary, like a shaved Wookiee is when you like... You're a chlin or something. You cut up, Whoa, you, you can't cut up your hair and you mean. fill a condom with your hair and you put it in someone's ass or something. Oh, uh, uh, give them the shaved Wookiee, is that what that is? Yeah. <laughs> now, a lot of those... <laughs> I, you might know what a shaved Wookiee looks like if you know who Drew Baca is. Drew Baca? I'm gonna say I, I do not know who I Drew know. Baca is. Yeah. No. Drew Baca from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I did not watch a whole lot of Aqua Teen Aqua Aqua Teen Hunger Aqua. Force. I almost forgot my accent there for a second. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, you got to keep it up, just like your face. No, just not to keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I knew that you were going to do that. I knew as if you're forgetting your own accent, you were going to find something. you're forgetting your own accent. I knew that. I knew that that was something you were going to do, right? <laughs> Drew Baca. Oh my goodness. Oh no, what is this? Oh no. <laughs> That's one of those ones where it's like, hey chat, if you want to see it, Google Drew Baca, okay? Nah. <laughs> um, but yeah, as for a, a Wookiee turning up, I mean, he, I guess he's a mercenary for, um... It'll be a boss battle. Is he supposed Wookie. to be tar full? Is that, is that the idea? Is he? Tough I don't know fool. if he's full of tar. He's the he's the one that Chewie was hanging out with in Revenge of the Sith. I are they really? Is that 
I, I, it is crazy nice. that that's the point we've reached, though, with Star Wars, where it's like, hey, can we, Remember like, this? the prequel? That background character the prequels don't care about. Can we use the prequels about? to make it look good? Can we, can, we, can, we make, can we use Tasm to make Spider-Man look good? Oh, yeah, I guess so. I guess that's, but that's an interesting one, because it's like, it kind of works. But with, with, uh, with, like, Star Wars, it's just, I don't know, what's going on? I feel like that's what Disney just needs to change its name to as a company. Remember Star Wars? Dude, yeah. I like a Remember. pretty correctly pronounced it. Australia has fallen. <laughs> <laughs> Aqua. I, I, now, now I'm actually confused on how I'm supposed to say it. How you're supposed to say it? Yeah, how I'm supposed to say it, yes. You're to get your check in the mail from Not NASA because of some every... charade, but because I want to try and pronounce <laughs> things correctly. Rags, he's forgotten his orders. Doesn't know how he's supposed to say it for me. It should be in your email. Your Yo, NASA it... email. Mm -hmm. <laughs> NASA email? <laughs> They're the ones yeah, that are NASA. behind this. Well, yeah. Aqua. Hide the no, flat earth. So how, well, how do they say that Australian is supposed to say Aqua? Oh, apparently this Wookiee... I think Wookie... it is Aqua. That's what I mean. I'm, I'm getting confused. This Wookiee is from the okay. comics, and they've previously met Darth Vader. Apparently that's their cool oh, thing. Oh, okay. Right. That is very cool. Very... Meeting Darth I mean... Vader is very cool. I yeah. met Darth Vader once Me, when he was off duty. You just met him? Well, Padme fucked him. Whoa, nice, bro. Yeah. I five. Oh, cause, oh, I, I couldn't tell. He's referencing the pregnancy, I think. I can't Break be sure. Yeah, I will study Rex Vader. You don't know that was Anakin's. Yeah, that could have been Kiati Mundi's. Yeah. <laughs> well, he didn't have two brains if he was fucking Padme behind Darth Vader's back. Well, he got away with it in terms of yeah, that event. He got away with that. No, <laughs> no, that's why Order 66 happened. This is a deleted scene where he's like, I will not kill the Jedi Palpatine. He's like, Kiari Mundi fucked your wife. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why, that's why this all happened. I'll destroy them for you, Anakin. <laughs> you know, he said he was hot. It was all just it was all just part of uh of palpatine's plan he orchestrated the whole thing he uh he set them up together he was watching from behind the shadows going good. Good. I'm, good. now i'm imagining kiari mundi uh is it mundi or moody mundi 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 Latin Mungo. for world, all right. Kiati Mundi, Mungo. he's he's coming up. Uh, he, uh, he's coming up to um, Padme, and he's starting to hit on her. And he's like, "Hey, Padme, you know, with my, with my spe, you know, with my species, uh, two brains isn't the only thing we've got a uh, you know two of." And, and <laughs> he's like, he's so, so socially awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is because he's a because he's a, a emotionally Maybe. stilted Jedi. But he's trying the and best he can, all right. Two, two well, brains. We, we got more than the one of many th couple things. Not I have just the two brain. Cocks. Yeah, he, he comes up and he <laughs> says, cocks. "Brains aren't the only thing that we have two of." And she's like, "You have two dicks." He's like, "No, we've got two balls." And, <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, that, he's like, oh, that that's just that's just normal." And he like walks universe, off and then he comes the back like a universe, minute later. Most of the species <laughs> only have one ball. <laughs> and they're above their wang, all right? Well, it's kind of <laughs> like how in Mass Effect every species has like four fingers on a hand, except for humans that have except five. Except for humans, yeah. He, he, he walks off and then comes back a little bit later, like, Padme, I got another one, got another one, got another one. So. I got another ball. Your, your, clo your clothes are real ball. nice. I got another one. You got another one. <laughs> yeah. I heard what? Anakin saying that you dress <laughs> like a circus freak, and I told him, no, you don't. You dress great. And she's like, is that, what is that? <laughs> is, is that, like, what is that? He's like, oh. he's like do you want to, you ever seen a Wookiee without hair? <laughs> he's like, that's, that's his backup joke. <laughs> it just doesn't work. <laughs> Socially awkward Kiari Mundi is great. I love him. Socially awkward kid. Because he's it's an emotionally like scented... Yeah, yeah, he's so an emotionally so stunted Jedi. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know how to just interact with women in any way whatsoever. Well, like all Jedi, he he's just best, totally... So, it, you know, you can't yeah. help but love the guy. Mm. Yeah, he's out there chasing the tail. Man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's true. You're I easy. killed them. The <laughs> She's women, sitting on his face and she looks down and she just sees a brain sticking up. <laughs> <laughs> We can move on if you want. 
Yeah, the sure. People, the people who skip the uh, the catch ups are really missing out <laughs> on a lot of memes. I've there seen like there there have been some comments recently on the, the catch ups. Like, you know, I like these things. Yeah. I was just like, you should. I don't see why not. It's the same fucking yeah. thing. We're all just talking. We're, like, work, <laughs> we're working hard. Hateful, so, horrible hate with memes. I uh I am amused by this concept, and I just I swear feel like he's just trying his best. And the Jedi don't prepare you for that sort of thing, you know. No, they don't. They're like. They just assume that you're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. They they when teach some of they us teach abstinence, and we know where that leads. It leads to the, the destruction of the Jedi Order in the dark <laughs> side. So, yeah, that was. Uh, what was Lucas trying to tell us? <laughs> oh. Oh. Someone said in the old EU, Kiadi Mundi was allowed an exception from the Council to get married because his species had a low population. Really? Wow. But that that totally goes against you, all the shit you would have said, doesn't it? You don't have to get married to get a bitch pregnant. Yeah, that's true. You can, yeah, you can yeah, yeah. you can donate. You I've know? gotten many bitches pregnant. Yeah. Incels, you must be. Incels, <laughs> you must be. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I think that the, I think that the Jedi should have just made Kiadi Mundi be a breeder. Yeah. <laughs> All I do, all I do all day is fuck in space. I think he should. I think I think Yoda should have called him submissive and breedable. Kiari Mundi on the council because breedable and submissive you are. <laughs> order sixty six, more like order sixty nine. Oh. Anakin, you don't really want to be on the council. You don't know what that implies. <laughs> Yoda's a fucking freak. Okay. <laughs> The council's just Yoda's sex harem. <laughs> That's why he doesn't let women on the council. <laughs> what? Wait, Yaddle's the a woman, power. right? I don't even know what the fuck <laughs> Yaddle is. Yaddle could be a, a weird reflection of Yoda in the mirror for all I, I know. <laughs> or or, or Yaddle is just a, a, a figment of Yoda's imagination when he was in college or something. Oh, the prequels are so memey, even now. Just go, <laughs> Jesus. Someone in chat said force edging is a thing. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> what from, are we from what doing? Piece of media. From what piece of media? From what extended universe bit of lore was there force <laughs> edging that was officially introduced into the Star Wars canon? I mean, force. We all know that force choking definitely got used for. Games. Oh, yes. absolutely. So anyway, um, I'm sorry, okay. So I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just. I, no, I, no. I want to take further into force oh, edging. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so like, clearly you can use if you can choke someone with the force, you can you can choke their meat with the, with the force, right? So why choke is it not? Meat? Why is it specifically? Shut up. That's the phrase I decided to use for some reason. That's fine. That's um, what the Jedi can call it. So, why specifically is it force edging and not just like using the force like more generally to to diddle your peen? <laughs> like general force peen diddling? Is yeah, what they general call force it? peen diddling. Why why specifically edging? That sounds like a character. <laughs> general force peen diddling. <laughs> why does that sound like a character? <laughs> General force P diddling. <laughs> Fucking universe you from like, what? Look, look, we were just talking about a guy named Key Addy Mundi. Yeah, that's that totally bullshit. that's totally he's normal. A, he's a general. <laughs> His last name is Diddling. General Diddling. P diddling general is not the weirdest P name diddling. in Star Wars. General P diddling. He's a general. <laughs> he's, he worked, he's a talented he guy. What? He worked Rose real the hard ranks. To, to rise up through the ranks. He's, you don't make fun Rose of him. Rose up through the ranks. Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> what was wrong with rising? You're through really the ranks. struggling right now <laughs> to breathe. Rose, being diddling. Rose up through the ranks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny. I'm crying. So what? What was? <laughs> what point were you trying to make about Pete and Jay? 
Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to say that, like, unless there's a specific force edging ability, like force healing, I guess, why, why does it need to be its own separate thing? Why can't it just be force sex, which... That sound, that's, that's a bad like combination of words. Very like the hell does it make sense? Where they have sex in midair. <laughs> like they just use the force to like to, to touch each other in, in their sexy parts. Use the force. It was not as good as general peen diddling. <laughs> <laughs> that was that's what Jay delayed. He's like, I gotta follow that up. Ugh. No, yeah, no, I didn't want to follow that up. That's why I did. I was like, well, I mean, if you insist, but I, it's not going to be as good as general, general peen diddling. General peen diddling his species as their balls above their way. <laughs> you know, that you wouldn't think... be so weird to you if it were always normal. Just saying. Do you think general peen diddling met spetch? <laughs> Colonel spetch seems like the appropriate Colonel rank. Spetch. Colonel spetch. It sounds like a popcorn <laughs> brand. They're the antagonists <laughs> of the Sheens. Colonels. <laughs> oh, talking about Spetch, we got two Spetch drawings. Really? Oh yeah, there, there's oh. Spetch. <laughs> <laughs> but then Spetch has been revised by, by Gex as well, so we now got, uh, got this as I don't Spetch. know that either of these would be considered canonical yet, but we'll have to figure that <laughs> yeah, out. These yeah, are, these are just like blurry Bigfoot <clears throat> photographs. We don't know what its true form is. Yeah. Yeah, I or feel like people Spetch seem to have decided on the green. Oh no, it's the same person. They see. <laughs> so they sent us one, and they were like, "No, I'm not happy with this." It needs yeah, to be I'm more revising fun. this one. Like, Spatch is slowly forming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that Spatch has anything to do with Spwab. I'm just saying. The Spatch and Spart is like <laughs> Chong. Spatch and Ying and Yang, you know. Spart Yin and Yang. <laughs> Spatch Wars. I'm Spatch. God, this is practically an EU at this point. There's bits of lore to be remembered here. Um. So, P A T D <laughs> Metricanthosaurus. I know that's a dinosaur, but I'm not sure what they want us to say about it. Oh, is it philosophy or D? Philosopher or dinosaur? Will um, fit in? If it's well, I already knew that was a dinosaur, so I'm sorry. Oh, well, maybe the rest of us wanted to play. I didn't know that was the question at first, and I'd already said it. I'm sorry. It said P A T D. Is that is that what the prompt is? P or Philosopher. D, yeah. Ah, a dinosaur. A philosopher dinosaur. Velociraptor. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I remember Velociraptor. <laughs> Yeah, it's like one of the oldest mems. The older ones, yeah, it absolutely is. Thoughts on Nunonymous Abrams vids? Where he says JJ, also I think JJ infested... Oh, God. Where he says JJ, also I think JJ infested Hollywood with the mystery box film's structure, including Mando and Boba. Hmm... Um, I think it was Red Letter Media who said, I don't know who it was, but someone said, no, yeah, it was in their Ghostbusters Afterlife, Half in the Bag. I forget who it was. It might have been Mike or Jay or Rich. I, I forget who. But they said, like, one of the worst things to ever happen to cinema in the last decade was how well The Force Awakens did. <laughs> I don't disagree with that, actually. Yeah, you're right. I legitimately do not disagree with. Yes, it is the Force Awakens success and general acceptance is legitimately maybe the worst thing to happen to cinema in the last decade. I guess so imagine if it did so poorly, it didn't justify episode three. When you say episode three, episode three, three I mean episode set eight. I'm tired. Shut <laughs> like, up. Stop, they didn't make any more after that. <laughs> I like don't know what you're saying. Like, of all episode the three. Gone for. They're just like, no. Then you go, oh, episode seven. You'd be like, it is episode seven. <laughs> like, <laughs> why have all the numbers I could have gone through for? I plucked out three. <laughs> I don't know I how do you got to three. I do get the sentiment, though, right, in terms of like a lot of the things that that film did are things that start getting replicated in other shows and movies. Mm -hmm. Mystery Box. Hey, you yeah. remember that? 
but nothing more than just surface level. Hey, isn't that cool? Yeah. You don't have to explain a lot of stuff, and it's all just mm -hmm. yeah, everything gets pushed down the road just forever until we get to an insanely unsatisfying. Until we have to, you know, until we have no choice but to acknowledge it. Until we suddenly remember that we set that up and we have to deal with it now. Yep. As for um the mystery box shit spreading. I feel- I'm trying to think of what it applies to. In Mando, I think they were- they were very secretive about Moff Gideon for ages. And what did that turn yeah. out to be exactly? It's like, still nothing, really. He's just a nothing. bad guy. Just a guy- just a boring, idiot, bad guy. I feel guy. like, um... I feel like something that you can see is, pretty much all of the Marvel shows, the format is, that by the end, that's when you get your neat little costume that you remember from the comics. But they, like, string you along right until the end before you get that surface level kind of stuff. And there's always some hook at the end to tease what's coming next. It's always what's next, not what this is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which uh, is interesting because it's, yeah, I don't know. That just seems to be the formula now. Nobody's ever really excited for... I always feel like the peak example was people were excited to see Abomination, not to see what he would do in Song Chi, but to see if there was that anything was that would come Absolutely from nuts. him. Yeah. It's just like, I remember him. And Did he do I anything in Shang be in No, because he'll be in She-Hulk. That's all he was there for, to remind you that he'll be in that. Oh, cool. To and to China. go in the trailer. He was, he was the stinger in the trailer. To remind us that... what, what is he in She-Hulk to remind us of? Oh, well, I guess in that one it will be the setting up, well, like, World War Hulk, right? That'll probably be, like, the big thing that you're watching that show to see. And then once you get to World War Hulk, if that ever happens... What is that going to be setting up, you know? It feels like that's just the formula we're at. We're never really invested in what's happening. And, and honestly, it's like No Way Home is like one of the rare cases where it seems to have achieved people are excited to see what's happening now. And then after the film comes out, people start looking to the future, like what's next. It's, uh, it's like odd. You don't get that with the other ones. Yeah, the whole... what's next mystery box creation how far has it spread it's like would you say that that's the case for boba fett right now it's like i don't, um, I don't well, know that i'd say that boba fett has know. a mystery box at the moment i don't think so i'm i'm waiting i i guess i'm i'm still just sort I'm of waiting, waiting for, for stuff to, to happen in. yeah, yeah. Like, i don't even know like i don't even yeah, it's not like then i don't really know why i'm watching the show what i'm waiting like if, to see what what drama or conflict there is because if someone said, like, isn't it a mystery box, but we don't know what the mayor is up to, I'd be like, I guess, it, to a degree, but, like, I, I, I don't, I think that's I don't more know if standard I call that a than, box. that's, that's just, just more mystery. standard than it is JJ type of shit. Yeah. Um, but it's, he's definitely done damage, uh, Abrams, for sure. What is the stronger ability, omnipresence or unlimited time stops? Um, it really depends what you're trying to do. I guess I'm not sure that I'd want to be omnipresent all the time. You want to be um, omnipresent some of the time. Powerful. Well, I guess it's the idea that I don't want to be everywhere constantly. Mm. And I guess I, I wonder if I'd want to be everywhere constantly at all, uh, like ever, or if I'd prefer to have the abilities. Man, bad time to fall off the bridge. Or um, is it? Oh, well, I guess you still like want. Like what so. I. Um, hmm. what, what at if, what point what if, are we are we limiting omnipresence to where it's just like teleportation, or you have multiple instances of yourself? I'm guessing or, you have like the just you, are you the universe? Is that how that works? You're you're everywhere. You're just present everywhere. Are you aware like, oh, of everything oh, everywhere? Yeah. Yeah. So is this like, either this is like omniscience or it's meaningless? Because like either you're aware of everything that is everywhere, or you're just like I well think like. Technically, in a what... sense, I'm everywhere, but I can't sense it, so what does it change? Or is it unlimited and instant teleporting anywhere you want to go? That'd be cool. I'd like that. I guess the thing is, though, is that if... I'd almost be... If, if omnipresence means, basically, that I become, like, the universe, I'm essentially deciding not to be myself anymore. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be something totally different. I just think... I think... I just think it means you you are everywhere, but you keep your your personness you keep what oh, you are you're just I don't you're know if I present want everywhere and do we have the capacity to process that kind yeah, of yeah i don't want to i don't want to be yeah. on my dad's taint <laughs> okay that's the well i assume Pretty you get right. to choose to avoid places like that um i guess if you could yeah so that you wouldn't have so to like 
if be on I, a sun or something. Burning. If I change this question though to you can teleport anywhere you want, as much as you want, whenever you want, um, versus yeah, so can you can stop on. time at will, which would you choose of those? Um, probably teleportation. I don't mm. know. I think there could be a significant utility to being able to pause time. Well, can you can you move while time is paused? I would presumably. I assume so, or else otherwise. you wouldn't have. Well, you it, wouldn't it be, be able to unpause time. Infinite. Yeah. Well, like I mean, if it's infinite like something you do badly, then it would just be infinite thinking time, right? For everything you do. Sure, but I think I want. Yeah, like a pause button to life, know? essentially. I think the idea would be you can you can walk around and stuff. Yeah, because if, if so, then that could be incredibly. <clears> I think I would choose that. I think I would too. Yeah, if I, I could just teleport. I, I, I would hate to be the the pedantic one, but it's like okay, but. Can I, with teleporting, I'm assuming my clothes go with me. Can objects go with me? <laughs> and in which case, if I can carry resources anywhere at any point, it's like, oh my god, that's going to be really useful that, to society. That mm -hmm. could be really useful, yeah. What if I can teleport, just put me in a space suit and teleport me to, like, some asteroid where I can pull a bunch of gold and stuff and all the materials we need. God, I could teleport and put infrastructure in places and to help, then yeah. And another one with physics, like if everything pauses and I push something and then I hit play, does it like go And then if I do uh, that again and true. again and again and again and again, have I created, like, what kind of energy sort of stuff can we do with this? Could do some crazy stuff there, yeah. Not sure which one derives the most utility for humanity, but in terms of just me having fun, I really could pick either of them, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't feel strong. I think I'm going to pick with stopping time, but I'm so, not yeah. married super hard to any of the two decisions. Both have their pros and cons. Me. Mm. Um. Also, hi, Fringman Soy. Oh, hi. <laughs> and hi, Rags, I guess. Rhino Milk. Hello. Rhino Milk. And the That's name of the mean. train, Joel. Damn you, Joel. That train, Damn the you. death train, yeah. Hi, Rags, Kick J, and Heil Metal. Hello. Hi. First time Ooh, Super Chat, I'm already a pro. True. Nailing it. GG. Hello, Massives. Uh, for your oh. information, LEGO EFAB 3 is up on my channel. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think we've seen a few on MemeFab. Well, the next one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh... We should be releasing a meme fab soon, actually, because one is recorded, but then we need to record another one, so... We gonna get to it. It's gonna happen. But yeah, thank you. Uh, hello, long man. Good day, Fringy. Guten Tag, German. Hey. Hello, Jay. Hello. More importantly, hello. hi, Rags. Oh, hello to you. Hello. Say, um... Say hello to General Peendittling. <laughs> yeah. El General. If Jeff Bezos gave everyone in the world one billion dollars, the economy is screwed. <laughs> yeah. Imagine it like in episode three, he's like, ah, General Diddling. <laughs> Discuss for 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, if you give everyone loads of money, the whole economy is fucked. I don't think well, we... money money becomes less valuable. Exactly. Also, it's, Jeff Bezos uh, couldn't afford to do that, idiot. Yeah, but if he could, though, if he could, that mean we'd be fucked anyway. I think. Well, yeah, if he Bezos, could, if, Bezos like, if, any, if that much money existed, then we would be fucked. I'm like, wouldn't we be more fucked? Well, if presumably had... we would have hit at levels of inflation that have fucked everything at that point. Yeah. How much money? Like, exactly? wouldn't we be like? He gives one Jeff billion Bezos to had... every person. Oh um, yeah, that would destroy the value of money. If 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 Jeff Bezos had like eight billion billion dollars, then. Not only would money be like, I assume, an equivalent level of inflated, but Jeff Bezos would just control all things. Yeah, probably at that point. But it is a thing of if you give it all to. I mean, economics is kind of such a meme, but it is complicated because, like, it's not zero sum, but at the same time, there was a whole thing of, like, if everybody has the same amount, it kind of messes with things. Um. But I mean, there is the idea that like everybody can benefit from economic growth, even if some people get more money than others, because ultimately your situation is improving. Um, yeah, economics is uh, difficult. People, people dedicate their whole lives to trying to figure it out, and we still haven't really figured it out, even though we made it up. I we did. It. You've got it all figured out. You've I won't tell anybody. It's in my notebook. <laughs> No, oh, there's chicks on the internet who make their living economics. selling their bottled farts. I think they figured it out. 
<laughs> What's P rags? Get your facts right. No, that's nope. I, know, I know what I said. I know what I said. Yeah, there was a woman. Didn't she go to hospital for bottling her farts or whatever? Yeah, no, she retired because she thought she had a heart attack from off. farting too much. No, but really? She had a heart I, attack. I just, I just saw that tweet. Heart she attack. thought she had a heart attack. There was definitely oh a woman God. who was hospitalized recently from selling her pee. What have we done? What have we done with this planet we were given? <laughs> yeah, she, was making, uh, she was making $38,000 a month selling jars of her pee. I thought you were going to say a day, and I would have believed you. A day? <laughs> Just why the fuck not? Oh, that's yeah, I guess, that's, I guess, that's P money, know, man. I guess that makes sense, right? You'd be putting yourself under significant stress to try and force yourself to do that. Yeah, so what, here's the question. It's like, what... Um, what? What? You, you'll get there. <laughs> I know, Jay. I will. I, I, will, I will. I'm. I'm struggling. <laughs> what were we talking about? Peeing in 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 we're jars. We're talking about jars of bodily fluids Spetch? and gases. God, it was a great question as well. Fuck. Well, I'm sorry, oh. Jay. I, Thirty-seven thousand pounds a week. That <laughs> is a small amount of money. Um, wow. Month. All right, a month. No, it says a week. Oh, it doesn't fuck. It a was a week. week? Then, that, yeah, Jesus so apparently Christ. she's making one. How valuable can one woman's farts be? Is like no wonder she fought Teresa. herself to death. If she's making 37000 that means she's making in a week what, like, the average British person makes in a year. <laughs> you know, at that, point, at that point, you could just lie. Just not a, not even fart. No, and but I mean, it's fart, really. I mean, yeah, because it would be false advertising at that point. But who's gonna yeah. know? <laughs> I'm sure all those people. Way to figure it out. <laughs> she could water down the fart. <laughs> water down the farts with air. She lets a little air in. Air down the well, farts, all right. Air down the farts. <laughs> what if you mix it with someone else's fart so that legally it technically is still your fart you're selling, but it doesn't seem this... watered down to the consumer? There's this super fad who's like, no. This is in your fart. <laughs> You lied to me! <laughs> I'm so gonna well sue fun. you. I'm gonna sue just, you for false advertising just, your fart. Just the episode, I was like, oh, I think I got a bad badge, I don't know. <laughs> oh, we found, uh, this is not authentic. <laughs> clearly not your fart. I like how we've evolved to the point of literally the fucking slam factory, <laughs> like, yep. in real life. <laughs> We're an efficient species. Um, harvested the purest farts from the city. Everyone, thoughts on night scope robots? Don't night know anything scope? about those. robots. I, I literally have no is. clue what that is. Night scope robots. <sighs> Let's Google it. Night scope robots. Night scope robots. Uh, More than meets the eye. I assume it's night with a K? Yes. Probably. Oh, oh they're those little security drones that they were making. I'm trying to like, get out. <coughs> yeah, they... <laughs> they're fun. They're a little cute. They, they, they tried. Oh. Security they, um... property since 2015? Mm hmm Oh, okay. I, I don't know. I've, this is the first time I've ever seen it. Someone in chat says Jeff Bo Bezos is better than sniffing farts. You almost say Jeff Bozos. <laughs> Jeff Bozos. He's better than Joe sniffing farts. Joe I guess Bozos. so. Yeah. I, I I mean, he's working harder than. Well, you know what? No. If she went to hospital for poo, 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 not poo, poo, for farting, then you know what? She is. She's working hard. Yeah. Has Jeff Bezos ever gone from hospital? Gone to hospital from overworking himself? I don't think so. You know what? And some people would say, well, that's because he works smart, not hard. And I'd be like, well. She works hard. Giggling. I'm getting to somebody in chat said Boba Farts. Boba Farts. Boobie Farts. Me, 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 me. Got him. It's funny to me how everyone hates commercials, but as soon as they're offered to add commercials to the content, they do. Thanks for no ads, guys. No problemo. Um, no problem. Happy to do it. Oh, I th you're I think not gonna it, like some of my future videos. Well, I was gonna say, but it's chill if, like, <laughs> They usually anti particular ads, right? I don't know. There's is there any content creators who are just like ads in general are horrible and bad? 
I don't know that there is, because I don't think that all ads, like, Neither do I, yeah, um, they're really valuable services. Well, wasn't it, um, Again, you guys what? really liked Brown Table's recent ad read, right? We did, yeah. Yeah, that was a really good ad. He put a lot of work into that one. It was better than High Tops. And it was a product that was cool as well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, that really, like that really made I me want to go for a, the product. Uh, I watched a recent video from Kraut where it was advertising, it was like, a, uh, Japanese, um like cooking utensils where they had incredibly sharp blades that were specifically like tailor-made for certain cutting of like vegetables and meats and that looks really cool mm. um there's a lot of cool products out there and i mean of course ads in general that's the way for people to find out about what ads exist um there's definitely not all ads come the same right the guy yeah. who advertises audible is certainly not the same as the, as like advertising um, I mean, you know, I don't like Raid Candid? Shadow Legends. I don't like Raid. Um, yeah, no, Raid is terrible. As a product, I don't like Raid, so I don't like Raid ads, but I don't mind Audible ads or Skillshare ads or, um, or Japanese cooking knives ads, you know? I, I mean, I'm, I, I, I do want to start actually pursuing companies that I really like for ads as well. That seems like something yeah. worth doing. Yeah, power to you. Um, because I was just thinking, Candid, like, that's one of the earlier, earlier Twitter alternatives, right? Because, like, they've been just going forever, Twitter alternatives. They just keep popping up. Um, Getter is sure the cool new they... one now. But, I mean, how long is it going to be before that one dies? I'm sure it's going to get one. strangled by different things. It'll be known as a right-wing well, place, and then it'll be... Well, and I feel like that's the standard issue, right, with all alternative things is, like generally people use youtube and you're probably going to have a specific reason why you're going to go to a different platform um and it seems like in our day and age it is much more likely to be political stuff rather than anything to do with necessarily the service itself well, it's like i think and daily I guess... motion allows like daily motion allows way more like is way looser on copyrighted material and like nudity and political stuff is daily and... motion still going daily motion so. is still going yeah Nice. Um, and it's looser on something else. Well, uh, it'll come to me. It works. Sexually, butthole. It does seem like it's actually that way. That way, I think like the the like you can get like just post nudity to Daily Motion if you want. I guess it's the thing of just like when it's a big platform, more eyes are on you. There's more pressure to make sure that you know you're like, uh, curating the content. <laughs> well, it's like if I ever wanted to make like. Um, a video roasting like porn games or something which like seems like it would be really fun yeah uh, um because i'll tell you i've got curious i've clicked those buttons and i've found oh some my. incredibly cursed shit <laughs> um and my brain always goes to this would be a great youtube video wait there's tits everywhere oh, um so daily like, motion is the answer huh if i wanted to start doing like a series on that i might do it on like daily motion or something it would be really fun <laughs> It would be fun to, like, to take, like, really shitty, like, furry porn comics and analyze the plots and be like, this character shit because they do this, this character shit. That you that can't, really can't show that. Well, like, plot review, like, what, like, <laughs> objective plot critiques of pornos. I think that was Brad Jones' we, thing, wasn't it? He was, like, almost famous for it. He would review bad porno movies for their plots and stuff. That's great. I, I, I didn't we, watch I it, but I, I think that's what he used to do. You do it for people's characters. They're they're insane bullshit OCs that they come up with, and just review them and all their stats and all and their histories and backstories. I'll do I'll do a quick Google now. Oh, all right. Google took too long. You fool! On to the first porn game website. I'm gonna find the most cursed looking thing. Okay, there's something called, called cum maze. <laughs> I've opened it. I'm easily amused. You're in a you're in a maze and it's slowly filling with cum and you've got a cat. Oh. Well let's see. Cum maze. <laughs> You, that, that sounds easy to make that not not safe for work. You just make it goo. Well, like yeah, I think this goo is probably maze. pretty easy to make. Like just say that it's a goo maze, and like no one is gonna be like, hmm, that's cum. Clearly, I can tell. It's by the maze of lotion. May may a maze. <laughs> nice. Nice. May a maze. 
Alrighty, uh, biggest People problem. People recommending porn games in the chat. <laughs> I don't want good <laughs> ones. I want bad <laughs> ones. I don't care about good ones. Wow, review at least one good one. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. Oh, um, biggest problem with Arcane is plot armor, but outside of that, it's the best show of 2021. Ooh. Plot armor ain't the worst problem you can have, so. I do, I do really hope that that show is good. I do really hope that uh, that show yeah, is good. I'm nice looking to have forward a good show to, to watch. Hmm. Well, because we, we haven't talked about it, but, um, Mola, what do you think of season two of Kingdom? It was okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's... Season two is odd. Um, and, uh, I like season one even. more. And I'm not sure... I, I guess it was even in a certain sense. And season really two like... wasn't, and I'm not sure that I want to watch season three. I really liked up to season two, episode, like, one. Uh, I was yeah, enjoying it right up to... Did... They started making some Something narrative happened. choices that were really like, eh... It feels like we rushed a lot of, uh, like, season two could have been two seasons or even three seasons. Let's extend it out. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's keep the drama developing. We, we, like, blew through a lot of significant plot things in, uh, season. Season one definitely felt like it was taking its time more so. I, yeah. I definitely get that impression. Feels like it took a long time to get to the zombies. We saw the drama in terms of the, uh, you know, the royalty and, and all of the different factions unfolding. But in like this season, we just got characters dying so quick. We just killed. I think tons we just we missed out on loads of really cool payoffs. Uh, we absolutely did. Um, but when they had like the main or... villain being scooted around by our team for a while while he's ill, it's like that is. Do you know the dialogue you can have right now? That's the whole season. You yeah. Know, of drama, not not exclusively on that, but I mean of him being incapacitated and dealing with our heroes. But um. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It feels like we lost focus. Um, and it feels like the story that we were trying to tell kind of, uh, you can see hints of that in like the ending that they went with, but it feels like we could have, we could have done more with that premise and the whole arc of our main character in terms of like what it means to be like a true king and everything. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do not want to play Clum Maze, I'm sorry. Oh, I asked Metal. Huh? We're talking about Kingdom. I just want to know. I just want to know quickly. Natalie, you playing Cummies? No, I'm not playing Cummies. <laughs> That's a shame. I'm trying to talk about Kingdom. Yeah, I'm sorry. You get back to your Kingdom discussion. Well, now that it's done, oh, actually, the show. Yeah. I mean, with us watching it, because we could carry on. Technically, there's a movie for us to see, but I'm not too interested anymore. I'm not anymore. super interested anymore. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy to just move on to Arcane. Yes, yeah, Arcane is next on our list, so we'll be checking that out soon enough, and you'll finally be able to hear us say, nah, shit. Or, yeah, it was uh, neat. Or, well, well, it was great. But, but fingers crossed, I really would like to like that show. Oh, how many shows I've gone into saying that. Wow, well, yeah. But this uh, one's no exception. Yep. <laughs> um... Working. I've seen adults and kids in the same Spider-Man costume. No relation, by the way. It's odd to see both have the same reaction to the movie, lol. This thing, Spider-Man is just cross-generational. Everybody loves Spider-Man. He's like oh, Batman. No. Everybody loves Batman. Well, this is the thing. The Batman is going to let us know how viable Batman currently is. I'm pretty sure he is, and but, think, you know. I think yeah, he's, he's, he's got to be viable. Like, it's yeah. not like... That's not... But how viable? The well, it's not, it's not going to do... It's not going to do No Way Home numbers, is it? No, but I don't, I don't know so. that it ever had a chance to unless you had a Batman movie where you had Michael Keaton and you had... Even though, like, I, don't, I feel like I feel like that premise simply isn't as hype for Batman. Um, I think I agree because it feels like the idea of multiple Spider-Men interacting is something that we're much more familiar yeah. with and accustomed to than Batman's interacting well, also, with different universes. Let's just be honest here, like if someone sees Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, they're going fucking nuts. If they see Nolan, Christian Bale, Batman, they'll be like, there he is. All right. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think that there's um. But but hey, maybe maybe they wouldn't. Maybe they'd actually be incredibly hyped. The thing like, the thing that people should... would be incredibly hyped to see, which obviously isn't going to happen, would be the Heath Ledger Joker. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Yeah. But I guess that's you're right. That's like not. That's not. Oh, that's dude, not I don't happen. know about that. Like the idea. Let's say he was alive, and it's like we're going to get Mark Hamill dressed up to play the Joker as well. We're going to get Jack Nicholson out of retirement. 
We're gonna have let's just say you know the perfect scenario. Get all the famous jokers Into together. The Joker verse. Um. Yeah, it feels like that. Whatever. Joaquin Phoenix. Whatever you get I, to I make them arrive and interact, I'd be like, oh, I don't know. About I think that. that's the thing is that there's almost an element of like happy-go-lucky goofiness to to yeah. Spider-Man that we can accept more so than Batman. Like yeah. With Batman, we kind of expect something a little more serious, and so it, it kind of feels like we it's not as uh it's like, open. It would happy. work in the Batman v Robin verse. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh imagine god, all yeah. of the nobody, most nobody famous fucking, jokers. No. Imagine all the most famous jokers get pulled into the Batman v Robin verse by Arnold That'd be awesome. Trees. I want to see that. I want to see that now. And I think Schwarzenegger would reprise his role. I th it, 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 <laughs> like, oh yeah. He knew I like that no, people just want to see you as a cameo or at least like as a role we just do it. <laughs> Yeah, even if it's just you in one scene making some ice for your whiskey and just using your little gun it's such to, a make, to make that. It's such a weird up. world we live in as well because like, they would have been making puns back then because they legitimately thought this will be fun. And then they will be <laughs> making them these days being like, they were cringe, but now they will be fun. Now they're not cringe. <laughs> they transcend cringe. Yeah. So we got awkward Scotty Money. Transcendent. Drawing over already. You got an awkward Kiadi Mundi drawing. What's he doing? It's in Discord, you just need to look at it. I'm playing Miri, oh boy. I have I to actually, I can't quite make it out, I need, oh, I need more contrast. Ever see a shaved Oh no. I have oh, towel no. balls. <laughs> oh no. I have two balls. Potato Union Den is in. Hang on, hang on. Chat's right. Did I call that film Batman v Robin? <laughs> yeah, I didn't Batman even pick v. that up. I'm getting sleepy too. Uh, you can say whatever you well, want. Well, you know, that film does have Batman and Robin fight a bit. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Batman v Robin. Dawn is Robin 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 Robin. This fucking place. Your Robin's like, you know what? Poison Ivy loves me, and you're being mean. And then Batman's like, "She doesn't love you. You're a fool." And then, and then he goes to try and kiss her, but he wears the fake lips. And Uma Thurman's like, "The fuck? Wait, why did the? Oh, this is the end. That's why." Sorry, for a second there, I thought I'd been duped. <laughs> Sixth place. Yeah, why aren't they happy? Oh, look at Luigi's face. I feel crying? so bad for him. Yeah, he he doesn't uh, look uh... happy. So sad. Mamma mia. Um, not all the other EFAPs that created as big of a controversy that shit is finally gonna do you in, lol. Also, hi Rex. Hello. <laughs> shit. Uh, hi Jay, hi Mola, Ringy. Hello. What up? Hello. Look up Ned. That's my question. Look up Ned in the spider suit in Homecoming, wholesome IMO. Why? Oh, yeah, yeah, when he's wearing the helmet. Uh, not the helmet, the mask. I saw someone um, in the comments for, I think it was Real BBC saying, like, stop referring to Boba's helmet as a helmet. And they didn't say what I was supposed to refer to it as. And I was like, people don't call that a mask, do they? That's a helmet. I thought it was I a helmet. I would have it a hat. <laughs> That's a helmet, right? Help me out, chat. Yeah. Do we call it a helmet oh God, or do we call it something else? Mind. Helmet versus mask. What is a helmet? The bucket. <laughs> I, okay, well, I see a motorcycle helmet and that covers your whole face. A helmet is a hard or padded protective hat, various types of which are worn by soldiers, police officers, motorcyclists, sports players, and others. It's a helmet. Most people seem to be saying it's a, it's helmet. a helmet. It's protective gear worn to. Pro it's a form of protective gear. Why? Why did they say why they wanted to stop calling it a helmet? No, and that's what I was like. Oh, if you had included that, it'd have been great. But they said it in a way that was like, stop getting the the name of it wrong. You know. But a helmet complements the skull in protecting the human brain. I don't see how this is not a helmet by that definition. I'm well. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's a helmet. I called it a helmet. I'm, I'm happy to just say it, it is def definitely a helmet. Maybe there's like a Star yeah. Wars word for it. Like a... Like a... Um, yeah. Or a skeech. What, what was the word? <laughs> Sketch. 
No, it can't be sketch because that's uh, a normal person word. But no, it was uh, Setch. Wait, no. Spetch. 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 <laughs> was it? Spetch. Okay, yeah, no, maybe right, it's it a spetch. spetch. It was Spetch. Yeah, yeah, it was Spetch. It was Spetch. Spee spa Spetch. Um. Australia has things named the Great Sandy Desert and the Gimpy Gimpy Plant. They would absolutely have named something the Dry Dry Desert. Hi, Rags. And why didn't they? Hello. Well, I mean, they haven't named everything that they would name yet, have they? They've named all the deserts. Name, yeah, but maybe they didn't have enough. Name one thing that doesn't have a name. I can't. That's an oxymoron, and you know it. Don't call him a moron, Rags. Don't take yeah, that personally. Yeah, I call him a moron. I said that's an I'm, oxymoron. I don't. I know that's just how he is. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I think something. That's how he gets. If something doesn't have a name, that's when you name it. That's right. I, all I say is, look who remembered their accent. It's really yeah. easy to name something that doesn't have a name. <laughs> Flump and Schleen. It is interesting that there are different because you think it's just one desert, but it's not. It's actually a lot of deserts in there in that big area. Because you got the Great Victoria Desert, which is not in Victoria. You have the Great Sandy Desert, and then you have the Tanami Desert, and then you have the Simpson Desert, and then the Gibson Desert, and then the Little Sandy Desert. So you got the Great Sandy Desert and the Little Sandy Desert. That's a great and desert then, list, Fringy. What's that? Sorry, that was a great desert list. It, that guy's right though when he said that a lot of things here are, have great because the the uh, the mountain range we have here is called the Great Dividing Range. I remember I had a conversation like it's not that great. There's a lot of log ones that out. <laughs> like, it's, uh, wow. Feels like the Andes would be the Great Dividing Range, you know. But then again, the Andes is a really cool name for a for a mountain chain compared to just. I guess it's the, I range. guess it's pretty easy to not be patriotic for a country that doesn't exist. <laughs> I think there's a lot of cool things about what we got here in terms of naming conventions and little landmarks and everything. We got lots of little desert landmarks that are No, 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 no. You I don't have don't lots. Think... You have heaps. Lots. Lots. I know that people... I know... Yeah, lots or heaps. What does it no, matter? No, you, the Australia... They, they gotta, the, NASA said you've got to say heaps. But I've got to say heaps. Yeah. We got heaps of cool little desert things mm -hmm. out there. We got Uluru and... The Twelve Apostles, of which I think three of them have fallen down now, so it's oh. more like nine. Wow, they got eroded, you know? Oh. Just little Can't we put some rocks. glue on it, or...? But that, that wouldn't be... You gotta let nature run its course. We don't do that for loads of things. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, but we do for this. <laughs> speaking of Air glue... Rock anymore, it's called Uluru. Oh, speaking of glue, have you ever been through the desert on a horse with no name? No, oh. I've been on a horse in a desert, but it did have a name. I don't remember the name, but it did have a name. I and think. we didn't go through the desert. Isn't that the song we that the uh, Walt is humming when he's about to die in Breaking Bad? Is it? It's when he's in the shower. I think it's that song. Oh. And then Mike is like doing a phone call and saves his bacon. Maybe someone in chat can confirm. I don't know. Um, there's a spider transformer in IDW comics that can tell the future with her webs. Her name is Black Arachnia. This is before EFAP started, by the way. Bullshit. The copy does. Oh, I was right. The whole time. Were you? Or were you just trying to claim yeah. something to be yours when it isn't? Everything is mine. I don't have everything. Be so festive. I do have everything. What are you gonna do about it? This one says, "Oh, talk about skill-based matchmaking." I man, it always feels like that's a contentious topic. I've never quite fully understood why. Is it? I think it is. I think I think you get into a lot of uh, debates about the different types of skill-based matchmaking and um, the problems that can arise from those systems. Because they're not all built the same. Also, Ghost of Tsushima sold 8 million copies. That's really cool. Can we get some other numbers to sort of understand if the, how good that is, or...? Uh, it's certainly the best-selling game that Sucker Punch has made. Alright. Um, sure. which... Because I, I, I do really like Infamous, but uh, Infamous was always not as popular as... I, I think it is a thing of, like... 
uh, Sucker Punch has now sort of risen higher up in terms of pedigree, PlayStation Studios. And um, now that Naughty Dog doesn't have such a great reputation anymore, it is kind of interesting to think about what's going to become like the the ones everybody thinks about. Santa Monica's kind of come back because of God of War. Gorilla's got a good rep now because of the Horizon games. And uh, Sucker Punch, people are like, oh yeah, Sucker Punch, they make really cool games. Um, I'll be very excited to see what they do next. I think that studio is downright underrated. Mm. Um, I don't like Second Son, though. <laughs> not a fan of that game but even then i say i'm not a fan it's like suck second son is is fun it's a fun game it's mechanically was there enjoyable. a third son no but and also not to be mistaken for infamous 2 it is the third infamous game hmm so not at all confusing um i uh, quite sad it ended with second one i wanted more delson ah see that's why Delson's fine, but I mean, it feels like Infamous 2 had a really conclusive ending. Um, it had a really conclusive ending that just tied everything up, and it feels like no matter whether it was a good ending or the bad ending, it was a neat little bow. And then 3 comes along like, nah, this is more stuff that keeps happening. Um, I'm not talking about the movie Sucker Punch, I'm talking about the, the studio, the developers. Incredible film. Infamous and Sly Cooper. Um, this was as, will there be a public addressing of the Twitter drama? So, the funny thing is with the, the Jane Nicholson one was like, you you first want to say, I, I will uh, definitely not sexist. And also, sexism is bad. Like, we shouldn't be sexist. This one's like, Just in case I needed restating. definitely don't hate shirts with Spider-Man on it or people wearing them. But also, I don't know that, I don't really care if people hate that or not. Like, whatever. Like I said, if, if, if I maybe went on holiday with Rags and I got out my Spider-Man shirt and he was like, that's sad, I'd be like, that's not. We'd have to get a, <laughs> we'd have to get a divorce. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just, just I Rags just, walks uh, away. Just... I didn't understand the clip. I don't understand where it like, came from. When well, I watched so, it, I was like, eh, that was weird. It was anyway. weird for me because I was just thinking uh, on my own thoughts about Brown Table being Spider-Man. Um... I'm assuming, if someone asked me, like, do you think Rags hates anybody who wears Spider-Man shirts? I'd be like, I don't think so. <laughs> that seems a little un uh, unusual for Rags. But, um, I assumed it was just Brown Table as a package, you know? Yeah. I don't think you should be mean about Brown Table's package. Well, if he's presenting well, his package... Ah, oh, motherfucker! Ew. Now, got, what is the story there, in. Jay? What just happened? <laughs> I my I got close enough to my mic that my chin rested on it, and I got a massive electric shock from it. Ooh. Oh my electric goodness! Shock. Shock. Electric I shock from your died. microphone? Yeah. Electric. I don't think that's supposed to happen. That's, that's not typically normal. Well, it's, it's I like the idea that it does like, happen. No, it wasn't. It wasn't like static. static. It was a static one. It's like no, it wasn't. And then you just static like, one. Oh, I'm hallucinating right now. It's a not. Yeah, has anybody a put a lizard one. into your nose recently? <laughs> Um, you need to go get the not sacred. That I remember. Dick. Thought the lizard was part of the dream. Oh my god! I do too bad at the accent at that time. I could have done better, but like, okay. Just wait, practice, Jace, practice say practice. um, say I'm just a simple man making my way through the universe. I'm just a simple man making my way through <laughs> well, the universe. Well, it's like you're not even trying anymore. <laughs> god, no, I was trying to be Scottish. School I'm just a simple man oh, saying, to make my way through Morris the universe. Had, uh, did you forget your really accent, cool voice. too? Hmm? What's happening? I was just saying that Tomorrow Morrison has a really cool voice. and does have a really cool voice. I think he's, he's even that. playing on it a little bit because he knows how cool it is. I, well, I mean, he is he's playing on it, but I, I appreciate it. It's um, It sounds really cool. It sounds... Yeah, I like it. Well, yeah, it with the, the filter of this, the, uh, the helmet as well, it just makes him sound badass as fuck. Yeah, it's... Mm -hmm. uh, I really do like him as Boba Fett. I really do. I just wish that he had more material to work I with. I wish his show wasn't shit. Well, but again, it feels like we're in a better place than Mando. Feels like... I think so? I guess I guess the problem is that, because I was about to say, I see both shows could be better shows than they are. Um, but it feels like Mando is totally not what I think it should be, whereas Book of Boba Fett is like kind of not what I think it should be. Um... But, but maybe that is just like, maybe as we progress and we get the full package, we'll just be like, oh, nope, uh, you know, I spoke too soon. 
I think there's more we need to see before we can make some judgments here. I'm very curious if they're really going to be stuffing every damn episode with a flashback. Like, holy shit. Mm -hmm. I hope that they die down real quick and we start to yeah, get more Yeah, the less of I the... see this <coughs> most of the Raider this plot, episode. the better. Most of episode two was a flashback. It really feels like we're spending like, oh, here's oh, 10 yeah. minutes of the A story and then 40 minutes of the B story. Like, what? Yeah, they should just what flash forward. Um, Gasp. Oh my god, Muller, play Hitman games. All of them. Hi, Rags. Hello. Yeah, maybe at some point. Cool series. Um, oh, that sounds really, uh, really fun. Mm. Well, Hitman Blood Money is really cool. Um, I know that Hitman Absolution is the more contentious one. I had fun with that one, but it's certainly not as open-ended as Blood Money. Um. That was back when we got stealth games. Just like, full-blown stealth games. This fella game. ain't Boba. Think yeah. about all the stealth games that no, we yeah, haven't yeah. found yet. Yeah. What's that, sir? Shut up, Brags. I said, oh, think about all the, the stealth, stealth games, games we that we haven't found, found yet. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, w I was actually, um, I was, I was uh, playing Battlefield Five with some friends last night, and. You can buy, you earn in-game currency to buy, you know, some skins for this, that, and the other thing, and uh, to level up the weapons or to, you know, things like that. And one of the bundles that you can buy gives you little uh, ghillie-style suits for uh, Americans and Germans. And I was saying, I think I'm going to save up all my points to buy this bundle, because that seems like it might actually be kind of a, a good thing to have. But I don't... But I don't know how effective it is. I don't know if it's worth spending all the little, little points on this bundle with the ghillie suit stuff. Because I only remember the ones that I saw. I, I don't know all the times I didn't see someone wearing that outfit. So I, I don't know how effective it is. It's you hard know? to tell how effective it is, perhaps because it is so effective. But who knows? Or maybe, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe a lot of people just don't know to get it, or they don't buy it because it's expensive, or maybe. I just don't know. So I, I I don't know. I guess I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. You never know. You can do it, Rags. I believe in you. You can do it. Uh, gasp. Oh, wait, that was the Hitman one. Uh, yeah, so they said this fella ain't Boba Fett. I, I know a lot of people have been feeling the same Boba Fett. Um... So, yeah, we'll have to see how the story unfurls, unflowmals. Yeah. I will say, looking back, when we, you know when Slave 1 got renamed, like some gay bullshit? And it, it used to be called Slave 1. That was That's the name of the ship. And then they renamed it to something else. Like, I could totally believe that um, with them trying to make Boba Fett an amazing good guy who's just great and wonderful... Why they would they? It's just like that was just the beginning of them trying to redo everything. I think it was temporarily. <laughs> it was temporarily renamed to Boba Fett's starship, and now it's called the Vessel, I believe. The Vessel. Yeah. Man, no, it, it had like Slave a. Slave One is cooler. Slave One's uh, cooler. They, uh, let's. See. Uh, fire spray. Oh, that. Um, Not bad. That's that's like another one that it was supposed to. Be. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't like fire spray that much. I think I don't. That's I, don't a think, really cringe I don't think it suits it at all. But uh, you're right. That, nope. That's a, that's it's another dumb. one that came up. Yeah. Um, I can't remember who told me it was the vessel, but apparently that's that's the newest information. I got that like a couple days ago. Indentured servant one. That was a fun noise. That was a fun noise. How did that sound to you guys? It sounded like a maniacal laugh. It sounded, nah, it was it sounded like a witch. It sounded like the cackle of a witch. Mm. <laughs> How was that? Now you're trying. I no, like the same. cackle of a witch. Is like... <laughs> I, was, I wasn't really laughing that time. Yeah. I was just I was just trying to make a noise. And I could admit that. That was a noise. Um. Jay, thoughts on Az's take that you have to earn his respect before he will respect someone's pronouns. Oh, that's cringe. I don't know if he's referring to neo pronouns or, or not. Um, as in, like, you'll go with she or he, depending on whatever preference, but uh, stuff like Zer and Zem, I think he, he won't use them unless 
it's on very good terms with them. I think that's the idea. I think people just have to come around on that. People like really attached to a um, an idea of language, and I've always been sort of a, like uh, of like of, of keeping language as it is. And I've always been sort of an extremist of like, there's no reason that you can't like. What do you about literally? I want to use language. Well, that's that's a, that's a, that changes the mean like like that degrades the meaning of an existing word. Like, well, I just I, I'm, I, I'm just, I was just curious. Well, like, um, I'm always like. I'm not. I'm not in favor of like literally making any change to any word you want. But like, if you have a qualitative argument of like, hey, I think that we should make this change for a. Uh, uh, I guess it would be like what's the social and, utility of keeping it the yeah. same way versus the social utility of just making the change. Right. That's always what the discussion was. Yeah, it, it's, it always comes down to social utility. Like people's arguments always is like, it's not a real word. I'm like, I guess that's, that's the idea. That's right? not an argument. Well, I guess would you say that's the difference in between because like literally there is a word that means it it's figuratively like figuratively and virtually yeah. mean what literally now also means like literal has a meaning that is also its antonym but that's how yeah, a lot I, of people I don't believe there is any you know, social totally utility to degrade to, to degrading the meaning of the word literally does something I have to have just... social utility to then be granted um, how do you mean, that's like, the whole point of language though, right? Like social Well, yeah, so, like, well if, it just, if someone, I don't know, I'm trying to think of, well, we've come, we've, we've talked about this before actually with, um, there are certain, if someone used certain pronouns, I'm assuming you would argue it's like the too much negative utility for the particular word they're using for that to be accepted. Well, yeah, so like the obvious example well, be would be like yeah. the n-word or like, yeah. if it's like five syllables long, I'm like, no. Okay, yeah, I, I follow. Like, um... But anything else? Like, I know there's gonna- I'm not reading chat right now, but I know there's gonna be a lot of people doing, like, the rechange bad thing. Probably. Well, you, you're gonna have fights in uh, chat after this one, for sure. Yeah, this yeah, is a yeah. contentious well, topic. Sure, but... Like, yeah. um, I don't care about, like, if you want to argue against this, then go ahead, but, like, please use arguments about social utility I rather guess, than- I guess the thing is, is that it, it always feels like the situation of what if your best friend, like, who you know very well, and you know that this is, you know, like, that this is something that they're going through, and then they are like, yeah, no, this specific one that isn't he, him, she, her, like, and then they wanted to use that one. Like, what, how would that change your perspective on it? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I mean, because that's, that's what, like, that's what did it, language. like, that's one of the things that did it for me as well, is, like, right. people, I, like, just that I know, and they're, like, they're cool and chill. Mm-hmm. I guess the thing though is this is like exceptionally rare, right? Usually it's always going to be he, him, she, her. Or I guess another one that's becoming more common is they, them. Yeah. I still find yeah. that one a bit hard to grasp, honestly, though, just because of the the thing with plural versus singular. But it's I don't know. It's not, it's not that big a deal, really. Yeah, and it's it's yeah. It's I just feel like, like that's the way, the way that I just arrive at. It. It's like it's not doesn't really affect. I me. know. I feel like. Um, it's probably just the way we're going anyway, and I feel like that's that's oh, pr that's probably I mean, for the best. Yeah. So there's no real point in discoursing about it too hard. Mm -hmm. I think there are there are just cases where people are shouting and saying like you should be stopped for not referring to me as, and then word that is well, bizarre. I, I like so I feel like it is a situation of let's you know that, like there are a lot of people who if you talked about these things they just have no idea what this conversation is about and it's like it's not their fault that they're not aware of this whole like conversation well, yeah. you know? so it like takes time um people need to be aware that they exist in a world where this is new um yeah exactly that doesn't make the thing is that um i'm just not familiar with it it makes that's it like and i feel like that's something important to you is like that's how you want to live your life and you just want to live your life going about that way it can make it like probably pretty frustrating for you um where like i don't know like every time you meet a new person there's a chance that you're gonna have to explain like something that's that that's, that you want to just be like normal and you just want to be like seen as someone living your life and mm -hmm. uh but you have to explain like you know like you would have to explain i guess being gay like a certain number of decades ago in the same way uh, mm -hmm. and you never know whether or not someone's going to be chill with it My favorite comment from chat. Yeah, I called is, it in chat. Jay, because zero point four percent of the population has mental problems, we are not changing for them. K. 
It's, it's, so, I, it's, like, it's an ongoing thing. It's it's a hot button topic. I don't know that anything's going to be solved here and now. Well, people people saying that never have citations, so. I fucking don't. Um, the comment I liked from chat was Waluigi has a cool cart. He has a very cool cart. Look at like, that little boy. I remember that was one of my favorite ones in Double Dash. It was real slick. Yeah. Waluigi's a good dude. I mean, Waluigi's try. I feel like you could make a really great movie that's just called Waluigi that would be, you know, just him trying to make his way through life, like a bit of an anti-hero movie about Maybe Waluigi, you know, like... His brother Wario him. gets him in trouble. It's more so him. Oh, I just I just think we do it where it's like, you know, we, we see, like, Mushroom City or something, and he lives in a dingy little apartment. The alarm goes off, he slams it, he wakes up, it's just like, oh. Wow, Luigi! All right, time to go. And then we just have Wall Luigi living his life and trying to make money to make rent. We're doing like a very grounded Wall Luigi film, where we just learn about the uh, the because we always see you know the Mushroom Kingdom from the perspective of like the kings and queens and princesses and the princesses, you know, royal escort. We never see the stories about the regular people of the Mushroom Kingdom who have to dig the ditches and like you know do the sewage and build the roads and just maintain the society. You reckon Waluigi would be doing a lot of that? I think I think we could just see Waluigi having a normal life and we just like, you know, we're always sit there like, so why are and Waluigi, why they got problems with Mario and stuff? And it's like, maybe we learned the history, right? Waluigi's struggling. He had hopes and dreams. And Mushroom Kingdom taxes, maybe. Those. Yeah, just, you know, he's got problems he has to deal with, and we just need to learn about, you know, what's... Yeah, someone mentioned he's an actual plumber. Yeah, maybe he is a plumber, and he's running a business that's not going so well because of changes to regulations and things that just make it harder for him to maintain his business. And then we it's have, like... you know, Wario comes back. What's that? Yes, that. How can you to go to go my business, you piece of shit? <laughs> hey, this is for kids. They can't say the shit word. You could still tell the oh, story even if it was a kid's movie, you know? Like, it's not... I don't think it precludes from telling a story about the life of an, uh, just a working man in the Mushroom Kingdom trying to trying to make his way through the world. I'm confused to YouTube. Hang on my VPN. Make his way through the world, preferably from left to right. Yeah. Sometimes from right to left, that's the hard levels. Someone shout, just shouting, move on, like, welcome, welcome to you guys. <laughs> and you're not interested in my Wall of Ouija movie pitch. Damn, dude. It's fucked up. Oh, that's okay, I'll keep working on it. I'll, uh, I'll make some tweaks and, and fix it up and make it the best um, thing it can be. Make it down. Every day we pretend Tatooine is the greatest place in the galaxy is another day we stray farther from God. Also, high ranks. Hi. I just, I'd like to see more of this galaxy. Yeah, I'd like to see neat. nice places. We you know, instead of just, place? yeah, let's go there. Let's just it's go someplace that isn't some dusty, dirty, sandy shithole. Easy to film. Maybe Ahsoka will be going on adventures to nicer places. Oh yeah, she probably will. Um, she probably will go to nicer places, yeah. Hello all. Have you all heard about what happened to Superman, the latest issue? He's been graped by soldiers. Ringy, take deep breaths and calm down. I think as mentioned this to me that uh that got raped by Kryptonite or something. The new Superman that's just really not good. Um and baffling as yeah. a choice. I don't understand but I, who I don't that know. would be for. Like what the fuck? Who is that? I don't for? know. Asking <laughs> for that arc. If if it is what I've been told, I don't get it. I just do not understand. I think it, it's a flashback to a thing that happened. Nevertheless. My How points, could you write Superman? Don't understand. Why? Well, well Kryptonite. Kryptonite Tildo. No, I just wanted oh, I to suppose. clarify what it was, I guess. Because apparently, I don't know, it was like some enemy and they made like Kryptonite sonic waves. And he, so he, th that made Superman like constantly weak for some reason. Right. Okay. Yeah, oh, he was George trapped Reeves together with... Today. Uh, I think that in costumes, I don't know how that works, but uh, yeah, sounded really weird. Yeah, just one of those things like, why, why do this? Why? Yeah. It was the, it was the creator's vision. Wow. Well, it wasn't you. I mean, the, question, the question still remains, why? 
I don't think it was the original creator's vision of that issue I back doubt in the it. day. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, I feel like it's just a little bit close. Um, uh, Star Wars Theory stands mad that the new Star Wars show is trash, so they're taking it out on you. Cope harder, go cry at jangling keys again. I have not seen much of any defenses for uh, Boba Fett. Um, I don't see much discourse on Boba Fett at all, to be honest. It feels like it's yeah. kind of come and gone without much fanfare. Like I said, I was so surprised that we we had the scene of him breaking out of the Sarlacc, and like, n I didn't see anyone <laughs> yeah. say anything about it. We opened with yeah, it. Yeah, it's sort it's, of done. That happened. Well, and it feels like it's, isn't it the same, like, Hawkeye's numbers weren't as good as Loki's? It's like, hmm. It's, Are it's, Hawkeye's the worst out of the shows, or? I think in terms... Uh, I think if we're borrowing what if, I don't I don't know about what if, but I think Hawkeye had the lowest viewership of all of the Disney Plus shows in like its first few weeks. Um, Almost as if they're reaching the threshold. Well, I don't know because it's it because superhero fatigue feels like it doesn't apply when when you know Spider Man makes so much money. It's like so there is no, I think it's, in superhero IPs. <clears throat> I think it's like single um, IP fatigue, like Star Wars fatigue and like MCU fatigue more so. I don't know. Um, um, I wonder if it is just fatigue with content, like the content fatigue. I, I, just... I, there's always. Sorry, you, you finish your thought. Oh well, I, I, I'm. This is now kind of a thought that was developing from that. I guess one isn't good enough, right? Like it's not one isn't indicative of a trend. So it'd be interesting to see what the response will be to like Moon Knight or She Hulk or whatever's coming up next uh obi-wan show like how much interest there is in that i figure Andor's is not going to have a huge amount of interest but obi-wan will be the big one and uh maybe at that point we'll see um someone in chat said it's disney fatigue i'm not sure that i i don't know actual I, I, audiences sure. don't i, I don't I think you're going to be like feeling that, that kind of thing of, yeah you know, i don't so think, I don't think, I don't think any general audience person. is going into a movie like oh this is another one owned by that conglomerate yeah, um, I don't know that the average the person reverse. fully understands the idea that Disney owns Marvel. Like, I think, I don't know that the average person is that aware of, of the dynamics mm. of play there. Or like that Warner Brothers owns DC or things like that. Star Wars, I think we all know just because that's that was just talked about a lot and it's called yeah. Disney Star Wars. Um, yeah, like, no, um, I think if my parents were asked... I don't think asked, casual viewers, yeah. Yeah, I'm not even sure they'd know that. They'd just be like, Star like, Wars is Star Wars, Maybe right? not, right, yeah. Do we, I don't know, do we feel that... Um, there's almost a decentralization of um, content, as in like the beginning of the MCU uh, and the like start of the Disney Star Wars reboot was all very focused, um, and there were occasional projects, but it was all like the, you know there, there was a central arc and everything was a very had a, had some kind of relation to that clear arc. You know, if you, if, well, if, if, if a if a, if a character think... got a solo movie, you would assume they were going to show up in the Avengers soon, right? Well, Whereas now I mean, it just sort of feels like random stuff is being thrown out and all kind of everywhere just so because. I think if we were being super good faith, it would seem as though what Marvel is now trying to do is dip multiple arcs at the same time. So there's like our multiverse arc and then Captain Marvel is probably going to be part of like the cosmic arc, the outer space one. And then I'm not sure about like Thor, that might be its own thing. And so maybe they're building multiple arcs towards yeah. different big events and i'm not sure that that's necessarily going to make people lose interest i think i i i mean i wonder if it is as simple as people don't like these uh no, it projects. might be it the might be that like, that's a, that's that's what's made me lose interest right is that um <gasps> it's oh, who did we lose we uh, anybody, metal's we? internet is being oh, floopy. internet's been the floop Certainly what's made me lose interest more so than anything, I think, is just, like, a complete seeming lack of focus from both the MCU and Star Wars now. Well, Star Wars is rudderless. It's just doing things without any... Yeah. Star Wars is like, oh, what if we, like, show stuff that happened in here for a while? And you're like, okay, I guess. That's fine. You can do that. Yeah. Um, I feel that way. And the MCU is, like, just all over the place in terms of, I have no idea, like, what the through line... Like, I don't know what what characters are going to show up in the next avengers well, i don't know like, what's gonna I, mean, I guess the thing is maybe it is too soon because you know black widow had like a really weird release in terms of things that might have affected the numbers that it should have made and then you have like shang chi and eternals which are both new they're like totally new um and so there might not be as much interest for that but then next year it's like okay thor doctor strange like we know what the previous films did in terms of performance 
So it's like a benchmark, right? Like if Thor doesn't make something like 700 million, it's like, oh, that's that's less than uh, what it should have made. I think I think or, the uh, thing is that things like Thor are going to keep making money because they just they're coasting on the good faith of the old ones. But well, but I mean that's the MCU, right? And maybe maybe that's what it needs. Is well, more, as in, I don't um, think the new characters seem completely defocused from the main narrative. That it's becoming harder for I would the MCU to get people interested I, in the new guys. I think I would agree on Eternals that that is kind of like off in its own corner, but I think Shang-Chi, they want to try and tie that more into the magical elements, so that might tie more into, uh... I guess I, I guess I get what you mean, right? It's like, they hang out with Wong. I don't know what that means necessarily. Does that mean that they're going to be in Doctor Strange? Does that mean they're going to be dealing with magical things? But they talk to Captain Marvel, so does that mean they're going to be dealing with space stuff? I get, what, I get what you mean, right? Whereas in, so, in like, Avengers, everything everything in Phase 1 was leading to <clears throat> there's going to be some clash of all of these things coming together. Yeah. And then Phase 2 was a lot more confused in it's terms just, of where it was heading. Now, phase so, 3 was very directed towards Thanos. What we had is we had Endgame, and now it feels that we've, we're just... Because what we wanted after Endgame was essentially a hard... Not hard reset in terms of reboot, but narrative structure a hard reset so that we're back to, this could be a jumping one yeah. yeah we're back to okay we're establishing stuff we're building up we're building towards something right uh and i, I don't I'm... feel that that's what we've gone towards well um you know because... almost to argue in marvel's favor might that have been because COVID has totally screwed up the schedule because i don't know maybe in the wrong order you know it's like, like... Um, Shang-Chi came out before it was uh, before Eternals, when I think Eternals was meant to come out before that. Black Widow was meant to come out. And then Falcon and Winter Soldier, it's like, were those two a little connected? Was WandaVision was meant to lead directly into Doctor Strange? But meanwhile, it absolutely isn't. It's like divorced by a year. And how's that going to influence like, what they did in terms of shooting? You know? What what we're getting at the moment feel both like... They, they feel both like epilogues um, right. and prologues to like the next thing. Epilogues to what, like to, to the Infinity Saga and Prologue, they don't feel like their own things. They just feel like... <coughs> I would agree with that. Yeah, um, it's, sludgy. it's super sludgy, that's for sure. This has been a big old sludge era. It's like, it's like hey, remember that old thing? Anyway, coming soon. That's, I'd like... Hey, remember Hawkeye? Hey, here's a new character with Hawkeye. She's gonna be important. <laughs> Not in this show, but eventually. Here's Eventually. Hawkeye to let, to let you know that she's, she's hey, connected Yelena to the MCU. Hey, Yelena also is in Hawkeye, and she's cool. Yeah. She pegs Oh, is she actually in Hawkeye already? Cool. I thought yeah. she was Hawkeye, getting like yeah. a, an, an, her own show or something. She probably will get her own show eventually. Called Yelena. Old movie. I don't know, maybe they're, uh, maybe they're gonna calm down on the shows. Is the Hawkeye show done so for now? Or it's is done, show... yeah. It's done. Did, did they already clear up? the whole end credits scene from Black Widow in that one? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Oh, right, you guys haven't watched it as well, right? Okay. <laughs> no, it's just based on what I've heard. If they've, if they've fought by now, then yeah, it's probably been cleared up. Um, all I know is that even people who liked Hawkeye did not like what happened with Kingpin in it. Yeah, everybody seems unhappy with that, so that's a great sign, isn't it? It seems obvious to me oh. from what everyone's told me. It's like, so Kingpin's in it, huh? And isn't, he's not dying, obviously, because we want to establish him. Um, presumably. Uh, then you're gonna want to make him intimidating, right? Especially if he's only just arrived. They didn't do that. Nah. They, did, they did other things. Uh. Um, Rag stole my five gum. He then laughed and spat in my face before hitting on my wife, even though she clearly wasn't into doggos. He's a monster. Deserving. Well, deserving. That that's what it's like to chew five gum. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we got those ads in Britain, so it was always like an odd meme for us. No. Like, huh. Those were weird. No, we did. We I did. guess I guess through the memes you've seen what the commercials yeah. are. They were weird. They're not familiar to me, but you got them, Jay. You live in the Britain, so I have to trust yeah. you. You shouldn't. I never How got five gum based five off gum. the commercials. Yeah. Uh. Five gum, know. stimulate your senses. Uh, Is this selling five gum? Like I feel like I haven't expenses. seen that in the stores anymore. You see it here every once in a while. I just never bought it based on the ads because the ads just like that was the that's just a lie. <laughs> <laughs> 
I bought it for a while, and it was like it was it's good chewing gum, but uh, it was no like a gum brand for a while. But no I don't gum will of the ads. ever measure up to the greatest bubble gum of all time, which is LeBron's Lightning Lemonade. Ooh. <laughs> what? LeBron's like... Lightning Lemonade was the best fucking gum ever. I don't even know if they still make it. But gee, oh, my mouth is like legitimately kind of like tingling and watering a little bit just thinking about it. Wow, I'm I'm legitimately salivating. Oh my goodness, that was so good. Oh um, my gosh, I don't know if you eBay guys for a hundred bucks. So I'm guessing they don't sell it normally anymore. No big league chew. No, no, no. That stuff's good. Big league chew is good, but uh, delicious. LeBron's, LeBron's lightning, lightning lemonade. lemonade. <laughs> LeBron's lightning lemonade is just it's. It's just too top tier. Uh, Mola, I think you need to seriously rethink your life choices for making fun of a video essay voice. Some people are constantly on the verge of tears. <laughs> yes. And that should be taken very seriously. At all times. Um, I think I said they were like wounded animals slash on the verge of tears. It's, uh, it's a good format. It makes you sound very sympathetic. I can't believe you've struck I think that um, the video essay voice should be the um, and the nature narrator voice. That should be the new like the nature documentary narrator voice should be the new go to uh, video essay voice. And we see here Loki in his natural habitat, attempting the to alter reality. Bastard. Yeah, I would the watch. I would watch the shit out of that for has like been ten minutes. Abandoned, and I'm going home. This show is shit. Don't watch it. Isn't that um, soothing, chat? Isn't that real soothing? Doesn't that feel nice on your ears? Chat say no, it's a trick. It's a trick. <laughs> Don't fall into Jay's. Look, I'm playing this Deech and Paisy, Plazy and Fleech. I, I'm a... This is diversity now. <laughs> what? <laughs> I play as the Wabbids. I, I, I don't usually oh. play as the Wabbids, even though I play as Toadette a whole bunch. Um, Mario Kart Theory crying at Mario killing Koopas. Well, you could make that really dark. Um, Mario killing Koopas. I think they have done that. There's like animations of that shit. I can't remember <laughs> if they're super old or new, but um, just like Mario where things are to get too real. About how maybe things. Oh are yeah, weird. there was a there was like a, a mini series on YouTube. If video games were real, I don't know who made it though. It's well, do you remember the one where I think Mario falls that down like a much, pit, right? and he ends up in like a pit filled with Mario corpses, and he's like screaming. <laughs> yeah, he's just—it's like, oh jeez. Uh, are you gonna replay God of War for when Ragnarok comes out? I think so. I don't see why I wouldn't. It depends on the timeline, I guess, but I'd like to. Uh, the Sandman origin scene in Spider-Man 3 is awesome. I miss old bad movies. They at least had a few good scenes and great memes. Now we just get sludge. I agree. Yeah. Old Remember when, like, yes, movies were bad could... in, like, different interesting ways? Yeah, like, we got the Van Helsings and the Leagues of Extraordinary Gentlemen and stuff like that. Even Sucker Punch was just like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of like... <laughs> Um, what do you call a guy with no arms and no legs in a snowstorm? Barry. Ooh. Harry? Barry. Oh, Barry. In a snowstorm. I don't get it. Barry? I don't get that one. I don't get it. <laughs> Is it a reference to the Barry. show Barry? Do I need to see that to understand? I don't think so. Barry. Barry. Like he's... Is it like Barry? Maybe a bear? Uh, like the animal, <laughs> a bear. People are saying uh, do it's they, like do they getting, hang out in snowstorms. Like, like you get buried. buried by the snow, presumably. Bury, bury, buried. Mm. Is that the joke? Maybe. I think, uh, I think someone is calling attention to how bury the name sounds like bury the act. Like you bury someone. Oh, bury. Oh, I, yeah, I see now. Yes. All right. What do you call a guy with no arms and no legs and a pile of leaves? Hmm, let's see. Drake? I, I, I would, hmm. Ray, uh, 
I don't know. Do y'all give up? I, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> Some people in chat go, it's Russell. It's still Bob. Oh! Russell. Uh, okay. Russell. okay. <laughs> that makes some level of sense. Uh, been out of high school for 12 years, started university last fall, and I made the Dean's List. Oh, oh, what kind of list? Um, Sex offenders registered. Like a bad list? <laughs> oh, no. Like, I've, oh, you're on my list, oh, Mahoney. God. I think it's a good list, hopefully. I don't know. The Congratulations if it's good news, or sorry that happened. If it's <laughs> bad news. <laughs> um... A complaint is that Rags dismisses Star Wars series experience with cancer by calling his crying to Luke and Mando pathetic. Oh, that's the first part of this, so... Um. Oh, that's that's definitely what I did, I dismissed his experience. I remember when I did that. Yeah, it's just, um, it, it's not a, like, it, it's obviously going to upset someone to hear the, the system, but it's just like, I've talked to Jay uh, about this as well, like, how you how we draw lines about what, because, like, it seems the whole world agreed that Eric Butts can be made fun of, but then... How much yeah. can we go? How far? How much further can you go? Agreed with that, but like Wah. it did seem like people seem to be clear. Well, I was saying, I see, I saw people like commenting like, Mola brings up this argument, but I'm not okay with that. So what about me, huh? Well, I think that's fine. Um, I think if you want to draw a standard, you can't even laugh at Eric Butts. It's like that's fine, but uh, I think you can. Um, I think people could laugh at me if I cry at like fucking, I don't know if I get some pajamas bought for my nephew and they have something on it and I start crying because I really like that content. I'd be like, man, you need to yeah, control your shit. Um, no, I don't think it's meant to be that uh, offensive, but yeah, it's just like, where does everyone draw the line on that one? And I think that uh, the veneer of Luke is like a trick, much like a trailer can be a trick. We had a long discussion about this one. We did, and I thought it was interesting. I find all of it very interesting. I don't, um... I'm not looking to be like, who's evil, and then crucify. I'm also like, where does that... Because there are clearly people who think that you can laugh at basically... There, there are people who think you should never laugh at anything to do with media. Oh, uh, sorry, cry. Um, but I actually, I, if people have that stance with like laughing, it's like, why are you laughing? This didn't really happen, you <laughs> fool. That would be funny, and I would laugh. Um, but yeah, I just I, I've known Rags for a while. Don't think he would ever want to dismiss anyone's experience with cancer. That's not quite the idea. Yeah, um, I, I don't see how I even how I dismissed someone's experience with cancer. Like, I don't even. Yeah, I, that's bizarre to me. Uh, also get Actual Justice Warrior on and Duma back. Yeah, we'll probably have Duma back and AJW. Yeah, let's get Duma back. Talk to him about... Some people are saying we should get them on to talk about um, Arcane when we finally see it. Uh, so that's a big maybe. Uh, okay, yeah. If we do the Django stream whenever that happens, we definitely need to get Duma on. Was there, was there plans for a it. Django stream? I don't remember this. Oh, no, just I was just saying if there ever were a Django stream, like if we ever did a Tarantino oh, stream. Oh, yeah. Well, dude, if, if we did a good EFAP movies arc for Tarantino, we'd, ha we'd have him on for them, I think. Yeah. I would like to have him on. Just it would be interesting to talk to him about Django and the other Tarantino movies, too. Django. <laughs> He's in ah. chat, fight me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Doomer, is there nothing else on YouTube? Watch me play Mario Kart? Jeez. Yeah. I say that as if there's not another like 800 people here, like, what the fuck? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear Do you. Rango? I like Rango. That's a cool movie. I'd like to I like that. Rango cool. too. Is Rango too good? I don't know. No, it's just the right too. amount of good. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Maybe I haven't heard of Rango too then. <laughs> that was a roller coaster of a conversation. Yes, mm -hmm. it was. I'm still reeling from it. Mm hmm. Still Mola, what reeling is... from it. Mola, what does Spetch look like for law purposes? I feel like I'm not the one that gets to decide what Spetch looks like. No, we already got one drawing. The drive. community decides what Spetch looks like. And like, the, the, the image of Spetch will slowly form into, like, <laughs> consistent 
traits over time. All in good time. All in like, good time. Like how Maula started just be a skeleton wearing white gloves. That was never planned. Uh, watch Oz, you cabbages. Whoa. Damn. One day, maybe. Which maybe. Oz? <laughs> watch your fucking language, cunt. Whoa. Yeah, dick splash. Sorry, I, I, I thought you were going to say the actual C word. <laughs> what's what C word? Don't please. Biscuit. Oh, oh, Jesus, it's just closer. Biscuit, yeah. <laughs> biscuit, oh, biscuit. Oh, no, I would never say that, the biscuit word. <laughs> the... I can see people are already leaving because they think you might say it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's weak. They just heard you k and then X mm -hmm. the fucking <laughs> window. Uh, you know, they do that whenever they hear a word beginning with C, they just don't want to yeah, risk it's like, it. Yeah, oh no, mm -hmm. uh, I'm out. Unsubscribe. You know, like saying Book of Boba Fett, the book. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's like, no, no, it's just book. Wario Land 4 still be excellent. Great OST. Wow. I haven't played that one. I, say, I haven't played it. And if me and Fringy haven't, it feels like nobody's probably done that. Yeah. We're the only people who play yeah. games. Who played yeah. any games, and all of them. Single one. True, I'm just glad Game. you guys invented games for the mm -hmm. rest of us. Yeah. You're welcome. No problem. Uh, Arcane Progress also started Succession. It's good. I um, do want to watch that show too, but we haven't started Arcane. We just finished Kingdom, so hey, maybe today if you got time. But... Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, sure, mics kind of seem like status symbols to me. What do? Hmm. Well, but if they're good. So what know? was the thing that seems like a status symbol to this There's person? The mics that we're talking about. The, the ones sure that are... mics. A lot of people have them. But like they, they, they sound better. As far as I'm aware, they, they sound better. Audio Technica? Oh, you mean like sound better in terms of quality? Not it's hard name. to say if. if... <laughs> Free, how, is that, how is that your go to? Like, assumption of what I've had. I'm sorry, that's funny. I don't know. If we're talking about pedigree, I didn't know that that would apply to the actual quality of the, uh, of the. of the, um. the mics. I mean, are the. Are the I mean, are, are, I mean there, there are microphone status symbols, then I guess that's fair, but like. Mm -hmm. I know, I. I my microphone I bought just for this, the audio. Well, yeah, as as you would hope that people do. Like Beats headphones, which you buy mm. because they have a little B on them. Yeah. Uh, Rags, I have an extra ticket for you aboard the ass train. <laughs> so it's funny because of the word ass. I yeah, thought I thought that was the keyword that made you laugh. Got another drawing from the sea. Destin I wonder where the ass train's going. Oh, where the destination of this this ass, ass train. Um Some athletic basket guy in America who was six five plus was asked by a random guy, How's the weather up there? He spat on the guy and told him it's raining. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mm. Holy crap. I feel like that's, that's an overstep. <laughs> Wait, sorry, what's the drawing? Oh. Uh look have a look at the drawing. It's the it's the <laughs> it's the far jars. No one uh. will know about half it, right? No. This is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens when there's just a little too much EFAP, you know? This is uh... <laughs> <laughs> Man, when he so gets all stressed wrong. out, the cup does too. Yeah. I guess so he's about to just smash the it. Cup is stressed out. Uh, this is wrong. <laughs> Um, I've been asking for a while with no answer, so money time. Uh, why do you never hold items behind you to defend against red shells? I totally do. Uh, sometimes I'll trade them out though. Like, I consider a shell better than a banana. So if I have a banana and it's an item box coming up, I might toss it to see what I can get. But I, I do, I do, t I do hang on to them, I do. My rags and mola plushies finally showed up. Uh, when do we get one of Metal Commander and the Green Bird from Tasmania? 
Tasmania is made up. But um, I don't uh, know. But some, you know, someday. Hopefully. Who knows what the future will hold? I'm glad you got your uh, your first two. Did you get the the drinker one? Who knows? Um. So. Why did Rags say Brown Table was sad if it wasn't because of the Spider-Man shit? I do think Twitter is overreacting, but I wanted to clarify this. Hi, Rags. Love you. Hi. I I don't even know. <laughs> like I'm just like this is all so fucking bizarre that I just don't even know. Is that it? Or is it like I don't know yeah, that, that's it. I just I I don't even know. With like the the question, the whole scenario, I just haven't given it any thought whatsoever. Well, cause which is how one I of the things um, someone was mad about. I remember uh, mentioning in the Discord was like, oh, one of the things Rag said was, of course he's making an anime, and it's like it's not wrong to make an anime or something like that. And I was like, I don't think Rags actually thinks it's wrong to make an anime. <laughs> like a wrong, I, I, morally pretty, wrong. Pretty sure Rags likes anime. Like this, the, it's the meme. I thought, I guess, because like if you do, if you don't have any context for the, let's call it characters of EFAP, uh, maybe you don't know that Rags likes to make some anime jokes. I don't know. And um, out of context, I think they can come across as a lot more spiteful when they're actually just an attempt at making us laugh. Which I'm pretty sure they did make me and uh, Fringy laugh. Um, even though me and Fringy both like anime and don't mind wearing Spider-Man shirts ourselves. Indeed. I believe that it's morally wrong to make anme. Thank you, Jay. Careful, You're Jay. welcome, Rex. You could get clips. Voice of reason <laughs> is always. One Punch Man is really cool, though. I definitely want One Punch Man is one of the best shows ever Punch made, Man. so... Yeah, legitimately. And I like Death Note. A decent amount. And I've been Game watching. Anime. Oh, that update! Update on. <gasps> I watched one more episode of Cowboy People. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice. Getting there. Yeah, the new one nice. or the the good uh, one? No, no, no. The, the the original. That show is fucking cool, man. That show's got yeah, a it's really good stuff. cool style. The music is awesome. I really mm -hmm. like that. Uh, that sort of like. I don't know. If, I think it'd be like the texture of like '90s anime. You know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I know really, exactly really what you mean. Really nice yeah. sort of. It's it's. I don't know if it's gritty or if it's it's just uh it, it feels really it's real. It's got this scratchy kind of almost yeah, um, there it is. yeah like That's old correct. cartoons. Yeah. Um Cowboy Bebop is is cool. I uh I want to push through that a little bit quicker. I like all the characters. They're all charming and fun. Um which are three Wild Hunts menu slash title theme? Yeah, that's a great one. It's a really good one. I don't know it. I'm sure it is pretty good. Um, been going through weird stuff with my friends. These catch-ups are really nice to listen to and chill out to. I wish I had retarded friends like you guys to talk to about dumb stuff with. <laughs> Thanks, it's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. I say, I, I, I'm very happy that I have these uh, retarded people to talk to as well while, while joining them in such things. The, but um, yeah, you know, Hey, hang in there. Whatever's going on with those friends of yours. Yeah. Yeah. We're, uh, we're definitely... I, I think the Super Chat catch-ups are very cozy at this point. As a, yep. As a vibe. Especially with fucking Nintendo games in the background that are always... Their music is always chill. And especially the map you're on right now. That oh, is yeah. hyper chill. Like, <laughs> Nintendo makes super chill tropical. It's um the one in Odyssey. Oh, that's a really nice chill song. Um, I can't remember what exactly it's called. Um, it's the beach one. It's great. Yes, well, sir. in my subjective opinion, Jack and Daxter would make a great game to play during Super Chat Catch-Up. I'm you know sure what? it would. Probably. I Jack try to play Daxter stuff that I know, that though. How two dare you? Just cause, well, because if I, those are games that I'm like, I want to give them my attention, you know? Okay, Odyssey that's would fine. probably be a chill that's game to play, that. honestly. Like, just looking for, for moons. Probably is hyper chill. Odyssey is Switch, right? Yes. I don't think I can is, do Switch yet. What, do you not um, have a capture card? I have one for thing? um. Is it does it work the same for PS4 as it does for Switch? Yes, or? I have the one that was for PS3, I think, and uh, not PS3 for PS4, and it works on Switch. Hmm. You just need HDMI, yeah, connecting. Yeah, right, that might work. Uh, the thing about Jack and Daxter is like the story is basically non-existent. 
Um, in the first one, yeah. Yeah, in the first one. The second one, it's it's um it's interesting. Well, it, it's it is definitely of the era that it came out in terms of the first thing that Jack says is I'm gonna kill Praxis. <laughs> it's just so edgy. It is, like, but right it kind of, of it game. kind of like earns its edge on like some other things. I think it, like, I think it earns its edge, yeah. I mean, um, like my dude just been tortured for uh, like two years. He can he can, right. he can deal with it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but like um, <laughs> the, f like the first one is very much just like a. Hey, look at these cool, look like, really cool environments and enjoy the platforming, and that's it. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's very chill by comparison. Yeah. Um, Second one, you want to pay attention gaming? to. There's no way you could be doing Ace Attorney for EFAP Gaming. That's full story. What? You just paying attention the whole time. Oh, wait, for EFAP Gaming. Not for no. Uh, no, was in, no like, I... not for not for super chats and gaming. Oh, but for just, yeah. oh. Um, I I still wonder sometimes when you've got because you'd be reading the text all the time. There's no audio to listen to, so you'd be constantly reading. And if you're mm. constantly reading, how much can you engage with chat? True. Um. I'm not sure. Oh, by um, the way, this now it's just from go for it. Actually, you might have something that's related. Well, just to the claim that I uh, can you play less kitty games? I'd be like, this is probably the manliest game I'm ever gonna play. Absolutely. <laughs> All I was gonna say is, um, I remember I, I played this game because of the Matthew Matosis video on it, Ghost Trick, which was developed by the dude who made uh Phoenix Wright. That game is really great and super underrated. Ghost Trick is really cool. Um, super interesting. Uh, and fun gameplay premise. Really cool story. Uh, did you guys cry too? Star Wars Theory after beating The Last of Us 2. He might have. I know a lot of people were greatly moved by that game. Wait, wait, I fucking wasn't. Two. The second one. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm not sure what you'd be latching onto for that, personally, but, you know. To each their own. Well, it's the same thing as the last the Jedi. I think we mm -hmm. can we can talk about like oh well it's, it's the tragedy of the cycles of violence. It's the realization for Ellie that she is no less a perpetrator of Joel's suffering than Abby because I mean, she's continuing to blah blah. I know what they were going blah, for blah, in blah, that blah. game. Well, that's the thing. Someone could be like that got to me, and you're like yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it all depends on, like, personal motivations and reasons and backstory and all sorts for the reasons why certain like, things touch you in ways that others don't. Yeah. What's the what's the main extreme to which you're willing to take this, right? So it's like a, a character, um, you, you introduce to a character at the beginning of a show and they're like, oh, I've got, um, I've, I'm very private and secretive. And that, they just say that. And then you wait, you then, like, they're just around and nothing really happens to them. And then at the end of the season, they're like, I've actually decided to open up and, and share. And I think you, that's... And, you know, some audience member goes, wow, that's so meaningful how this character b decided to grow, like, they grew and and they and they learned a lesson and they decided to open up. It's like, yeah, I mean, those were objectively the events, but when, yeah. where are we going with this? Well, you're right. Um, I th this, I'm trying to think of what... I can't remember if that's like a Futurama joke or something, but it sounds like it just, uh... Like a character that's just got one described trait, and then the opposite of that is at the end, and they acknowledge it. It's like, that was my arc, but... I mean, I was doing... I was doing Flux. Oh! Doing... Well, but... That's not a joke, though. <laughs> like, no, it's not a joke. That's actually genuinely done. Uh, which one are you referencing in Flux, sorry? Uh, the Doctor in Flux, where like at the beginning, she's all like, she doesn't, she just doesn't share anything with Yaz, and then just nothing really <laughs> meaningful happens to her the whole time concerning it, and then at the end, she just goes, Yaz, I've decided to share everything with you. Like, okay. And you're like, cool, thanks, we did that's it. great. Oh, um, yeah, that kind of, uh... I suppose that could work on somebody. That has worked on people, right? There, there are people in the Doctor Who fandom that think that's meaningful. Oh, yeah, there are, there are people, there are loads of people who are like, yeah, this was a great arc for the Doctor. Yeah. And you're like, that's cool that you think. You're allowed to think that. That's fine. Well, hey, man. It's art, right? It's subjective. Yeah. It's beautiful. Uh, pick bad game from 002060620014 and 14 to now. 
That's 4 out of 10 or below. To forget, but you must play all again. So what? bad game from 2000 to 2006, 2006 <laughs> to 2012, is it? Or? 14, but yes. Okay. Um, and then the last one was to present. Like, yeah. I usually default to the Order 1886 as being like a pretty unpleasant experience as a game, uh, but that would be like post-2014. Uh, and I could tolerate replaying that again because it's only like five hours. Um, hmm. But before that, though, I'm wondering... Hmm. I'm not sure. This is going to take too much brain power for me right now. I was going to say the same for me because I'd have to go through them and then think about all yeah, of the ones I choose, I which one I'd be most willing to play again. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I, I don't know if I can. There's plenty of bad games from 2000 2006 that I just can't remember that I've played. Um, Shadow the Hedgehog? Oh, that's a choice. It would be funny. <laughs> I'm trying to think, if, if Hit and Run counts as a bad game to somebody, then I would pick that. Man, if that counts mm. as a bad game, though, jeez. It's a bit buggy. <laughs> yeah, true. But I guess then by that categorization, Sunshine might be considered a bad game. Um, thoughts on extra? <laughs> thoughts on extra or reverse tracks on Mario Kart? Um, Wait, what I don't really care for mirror mode personally, but I don't know what extra- if you just mean more tracks, that's cool. I yeah. like more stuff. Yeah, mirror... I'm like, let's do it, it's slightly different, but like I don't- if it weren't there I'd be like, oh well. Yeah, yeah whereas 200cc is a lot more meaningful as I uh... Yeah, I would way prefer 200cc. That should be a mode that someone should add, they probably have as like a mod for uh, Double Wait, Dash. Doesn't... Cut, Mario Kart 8 has 200cc, but yeah, I, I think say, the old games... Because there are some YouTube channels that do like Mario Kart Wii races, and uh, they've managed to get 200cc into that game, and it looks really oh, fun. Okay. We should all play a racing game. Yeah, a race point. game? Damn. A race game. No, racing like Stellaris, what lets you commit racially motivated genocide. No! Wait, no. <laughs> Let me, I need to start playing that. Ah. It's really fun. <laughs> Solaris is a really fun game in terms of just like exploring the galaxy and creating your peaceful little empire and going to new places. Uh, and yes, peaceful. Fun. Right, peaceful. Uh, and that was the goal that I went for in our playthrough. Well, unless you're me and you try to do a normal one without <laughs> you, you war and you still get you wrecked. Got <laughs> you got surrounded by all of the bad people and then they tried to destroy your empire. Yeah, that was great. And um, I also bought for chat. I don't think chat knows this. Um, I wanted I wanted to play with my favorite DLCs, so I gifted some of my favorite DLCs to both Metal and Fringy for our uh, playthrough. Mm -hmm. And then about three streams into our playthrough, I discovered that actually Stellaris lets um, any players play with the DLCs that the host <laughs> has. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I still appreciate it, you know. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The thought, it's the thought that counts. Someone checked us the road. I did not know this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. A little dark, but how much money did the clones make after scalping Hyarimundi? Oh. Huh. So mean. Poor Hyarimundi. He's yeah. got an endangered scalp, too. Yeah. <sighs> That's probably Force. more valuable. Assuming he didn't fuck his species back into success. Oh, I bet he did. Yeah, I feel yeah. like Hyarimundi. I mean, look at him. He Look had, at him. He had the mojo. Breeder, after all. Uh, Force is stored in the balls. That's a quote from <laughs> Force P. Diddling. Wait, really? Oh, oh no, wait. Oh, no. Maybe, oh, really? <laughs> so, no. What I meant by really, I didn't really think that there was a Force P. Diddling. Yeah, the, the I real thought that someone Force had P. made an account called Force P. Diddling within this, this time right, and right. super chatted that. I, I prefer to read it the other way because it's funnier. Really? Feed, <laughs> force peen diddling said that? <laughs> Holy shit. Classic, Thanks. classic diddling.
Okay, so y'all didn't like prehistoric animal of the day. That's what that stood for, prehistoric animal of the day. I see. Wait, prehistoric what? animal. Because this one was the Metro something something. I forget what it was called. Um. Oh, I did. Oh, I thought it he, was POD. Metrosexual. But he said, "How about the Gastonis?" Let's have a look. Let's yeah. Let's let's search that. Up. Oh, I remember this thing because it was in. Was it in Walking with Dinosaurs? Well, we should watch, we should watch Walking with Dinosaurs. It was Walking with Beasts. I remember this thing. Yeah, it's cool. Gastonis. Everyone should check it out. Oh. Um, wow. Also, hi rags, Mola, Fringy, Metal, and Jay. Hello. Hey. Sup. Um, Daddy Raggy, stretch my spetch. Nice. <laughs> I'll stretch your spetch. And. That's hot. Tongue my you better wombo. be ready though. They want you to tongue their wombo as well. Hi rags. Ooh. Tongue their wombo and stretch their spatch. You wombo, wombo. I think this really is a drama pod. Yeah, this is really a dramatic, like um, like a romance podcast. Oh, if our right. podcast was on a channel, it would be on the Hallmark Channel with all this spetch stretching. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I may be wombo, but you can have everyone can have their own wombo, you know. To be spatched or whatever. Wow. I just wanted to make sure everyone knew that they rights. I'll be here right back. On the omnipresent subject, y'all should watch the 2021 movie Flashback. Uh, I've never heard of it. I haven't heard of that either. Um, what is everyone's favorite Transformer? Mine is Astro Train. Soundwave. Soundwave sounds cool. With his voice. I vote for Soundwave. I have no clue. Sorry, I've never watched Transformers. I was too busy having sex. Wow. What were you bringing? I was too busy transforming my penis into a big penis. You've never heard of Transformers? Oh, wait, sorry. I thought it was something else. No, I've heard of Transformers. <laughs> I was going to say, wait a minute. I've definitely heard of Transformers. Who's your favorite Transformer? Um, uh, I like I like Megatron. Feels like a boring choice. Don't worry, I would never say you're boring. I don't know. I like um, I like uh, uh, Gear Blade. It's not real, is it? No, it's not. I want him to be real, Gear Blade. Um, Far Cry 6 ads with Giancarlo Esposito are amazing. They are very good. They're very good ads. Hmm. Uh, that was where the meme I was acting or was I came from. It's a good, versatile meme. Yeah, I don't think I've seen them. Uh, is it weird that Green Goblin is my favorite MCU villain since he's not technically from the MCU? I don't think it's weird at all. No, it's totally fair. It's very fair. Fair He's, choice. He blasts so many good, of them it? immediately out of the water with how good that portrayal is, yeah. Uh, Jay, is your name supposed to be spelled with a soft G? Yes. Jay? Yes, it is. Jay. Insert nostalgia Jay. critic pause for laughter. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Such a bizarre format choice. I don't get it. Uh, hi, Fab. Hi, Rags. Hello. Hmm. Just wanted to say, after listening to you guys for years and learning so much about writing, I've decided to start writing my own novel. Love all your advice oh, and breakdowns. Oh. Good luck, man. Yeah. You get in there. You write about your characters and your places. And, put uh, hot babes in it. Put a hot, at least one hot babe. Yeah. I'm thinking even like a dog and maybe a horse. Put a hot dog in it. Then again, oh, what if I'll, it's like... I'm there. What if it's like super sci-fi where there's just no horses and dogs for some reason? I guess you could just have cyber horses and dogs. You'll be fine. You'll find nice. a way. Robot horses. Uh, have you guys seen The Man from Snowy River? If yes, what are your thoughts? If no, get on it. It's very good. Also, high rags. Hmm, no, I have not seen it. And hello. 
can't say I have either. Yeah, I, I don't even recognize it, so I can help you there. The man from Snowy River. Man from Uncle Snowy River. The word great is ancient Sorry. Australian for the word fake. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yo, Fringy, what up? Listen to Pistol Grip. I haven't heard that, but uh, maybe I'll check it out. I think that's the Liquid Richard thing. Oh, um, yeah, maybe I'll check it out. There you go. Who the fuck is Liquid Richard? I need this to explain to me. <laughs> Sorry, there is. I think there's a whole lot of explanation and not enough time. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm just enjoying the name Liquid Richard, to I be think honest. It's just an account that uploads Wings of Redemption clip, clips, and he's called Liquid Richard, and I think someone's, oh. they sometimes call Wings of Redemption Liquid Richard. I think that's it. That's that's fine. Um. One burst. <laughs> Hello, General Peen Diddling. <laughs> Hello. That was General Peen Diddling. Is that all he has to say? He's a he general has a lot for Christ's sake. But um, he uh, he keeps it inside. He's, he waits for the right moment to speak. He's very reserved. Who now? General Peen Diddling. Yeah, that's how he raced through the ranks. Yeah. Uh, so, any idea what the hell is up with Southpaw now? Uh, I've I have no idea. Not um, really. I guess he's on a. I guess he's having a moment or two. I guess he he's just become addicted handle it. to flames. Oh my. Some people just aren't built. Isn't for it, Fleam? No, Fleam is the uh, is the the Fleam juice that they use. Remember for the the um the plumbers. Yeah, that's what he's addicted to. <laughs> what is the, What are the effects? Wait, but, of... but no, but you don't get addicted to the Fleam. The Fleam is the living creature. The Fleam juice is the is the addictive substance. Uh, Fringy, you have a lot to learn. Lot to learn about Fleams. I guess maybe I do. I'm just not. I'm not familiar with with flames. I'm surprised you're more aggressive. I'm not used to the corpses of flames. Well, I I could be, but I mean, I'm not. I'm not like that attached to. Well, but you know, Jay is putting out false information flame about flames. I feel well, like. Well, but the problem is, I'm not. I'm not well equipped enough to debate on the the attributes of flame or like whether it's the flames that people like or the juice. I just yeah, I don't know. Some people like the juice, but um, the real hard stuff is just eating the flame itself. Duma yeah. says, don't tell me I can't get addicted to the flames. It's like, I guess you can get addicted to the flames. I'm just not sure what that looks like, as opposed to being addicted to flame well, juice. You're, you're lucky that you don't know what it looks like. Like, we know that sight. plumbuses are, like, widespread. Oh, I didn't know pretty. flames were being eaten regularly. Like, flame yeah, juice. Yeah, like, I, I didn't know that. But I mean, unless you eat the flames and basically just get the flame juice by, you know, by proxy. Or do you get addicted to the like, flames through the flame juice? Is that the idea? Well, because the flame juice will be in the flames. That's where the juice comes Yeah, like comes most from. flame addicts, they start on flame juice, but it's like flame juice But then is it, it becomes... Right, like compared yeah, to flame, like, that's, that's like the hyper... Like, honestly, okay. It, it, you need to right. build up your tolerance. Like, I think if you had a flame without ever having tried flame juice, you'd probably like be hospitalized. Sometimes yeah, I, I wonder if I'm well. actually doing a podcast or if I just took LSD. <laughs> this is, this is, Why? Are you, is, are you just baffled by the concept of flame and flame juice? There's nothing that confusing know. about it. I was going to say, it's easy to follow. And flame juice is the substance they uh, excre excrete. You just took enjoyed, me a while to realize if that was the right word. <laughs> you just enjoyed a show wonderfully where a man put a lizard up into his brain and hallucinated grabbing tree tentacles. Like, I don't see why this is so... To celebrate beating the gun train. Those are yes. just called branches. No, they were they were they turned into tentacles. Remember? Oh, like where they like where they grabbed him. Where they went all flashy and spooky, and he was like, ah. That might have been part of the hallucination. Can you be sure, Rack? Can you be sure? Can't be sure, of anything, sure exactly. Anywhere. Can you be sure? And if you can't Star be sure, then days. why you got to mm. be like this? Gleam <clears throat> juice. Out now. 
Uh, quit fueling a tired topic, Super Chatter. Speaking of tired topics, when, uh, not if, you do an EFAP on Arcane, invite Duma and Theo. Also play DDLC. Oh. Um, we jumped ahead on that one. Well, unfortunately... Really mm -hmm. on that. Wait, did you want to say more about Fleems? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I think we've covered everything. Someone in chat said this is less entertaining than we think it is. I vehemently disagree. I find this to be a very so, enthralling and interesting conversation. Yeah, I think that what you're missing here is that Fringy and I are both very entertained by this conversation. And if you're <laughs> exactly, all, and that's all that matters ultimately. If you're not, that's fine. You're, you're that's allowed totally to be fine. wrong. But I just find it interesting to learn more about the properties of fleam and fle uh, fleams and fleam juice. I am that's entertained by fleams. I am. It's not like I was gonna hate my streams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. But yeah, um, it, unfortunately, we have no idea if Duma has even seen Arcane or would ever be interested in even coming back to EFAP. No way to know that at all. So, never well, mind, I suppose. Theo is, uh, Theo is a big fan of Arcane, right? Yeah, and Theo would love to come on, I'm sure. So, we know that, yeah. but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Duma, like. <laughs> I haven't spoken to Duma in forever. I haven't seen him anywhere. So. <laughs> he, I, yeah, no, it feels like it's been so long. Mm hmm. He's out there. Doing this and that in the background. Someone has offered to trade me the secrets of Flim with the secrets of the Goo. Nice try, alright? <laughs> nice try. Nice try, Satan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, formula against the MCU is not cinema crowd. Oh wait, sorry, this is- so formula against the MCU is not cinema crowd, that's the crowd. Okay, this is confusing to read. <laughs> Ironically assert all non-superhero movies are not escapism in the same way that all Marvel is not cinema and that Taxi Driver is not escapism because it's too mundane. Escape? Isn't, wait, isn't sorry, I the, don't understand. The quality the of being subjective, of, um, of being escapism, wouldn't that be a subjective quality anyway? I feel like so it has to be entirely subjective. They're saying to defeat the MCU is not cinema crowd, you have to just say that... Um, all non superhero movies are not escapism because they're too mundane. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> Nor oh, would it be an argument we'd want to make. So. Yeah, that's not. I, yeah, I don't get that. I don't know. Is Escape from Alcatraz objectively escapism? I, I, these are not questions I can answer. It's up to Jay. Clean. There you go. <laughs> nice one. Thank you. Why does Rags hate cosplay? I heard this from an extremely reputable, truth-seeking source. Yeah, that's it. I hate I hate cosplay. You heard it right. That's exactly that. And all Bebop's OSTs are dope. Fringy, I listen to them weekly. Yeah, it's uh, it's got a really cool soundtrack. I tell you what, another anime that had a really cool soundtrack that I know nothing about, Lupin the Third. Lupin uh, the that, Third. It has a really cool theme song. Um, yeah. They made a third a, Looper they, movie? Damn. No, Looper. they made- I know that they made a, a first Looper- I think it's called Lupin the Third the First. <laughs> yeah, I wanna sure watch that. Movie. I actually have it on my computer. I kinda I wanna, wanna watch, watch that. Yet. It looks really watch fun, this, the, the animation. The style is cool. Yeah, the yeah. style is really cool. It's like you've got an anime style, but in a 3D. I, uh, I often find that, like, man, I didn't watch a lot of, uh, Steins Gate, but Steins Gate has a really cool theme as well. Death Note had a really cool theme. One Punch Man. I don't know what it is, but like animes have really cool theme songs. One Punch Man is like a legendary theme song. I've seen people be like, Dude, please clarify, you mean season one? It's like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm not talking about oh, season, I, 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 season I, I, two. I always right. forget that season two exists. To me, the ending is him beating an enemy in one punch and have damn you, it. Have, yeah. have either of you seen season two? Mm, I nope, saw the first I'm episode. Never going to. I'm never going to watch it. What's, um, what is the, why is, what is the verdict on why not? Apparently it's just not good. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, he, he clarified in saying it's supposed to be as dumb a thing to say as the MCU is not cinema. It, it, it's not going to do oh, anything though. It like optically yeah. saying the MCU isn't cinema catches on. Saying that everything else isn't cinema does it wouldn't catch on ever. <coughs> As sneezed. The, the the arguments that work optically they just sort of naturally form and then as soon as they found they like they just spread like wildfire. Yeah. Um. And like the MCU is not cinema is one that like 
you will be like, well, to be fair, that is true. And you're like, how is that I just true? Like it's the Taika Waititi quote, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's cinema. Fair, you want that I admire cinema. did say it. I don't know, just Taika Waititi feels like the after response. It's cinema. You watch it at the cinema. It's called the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It refers to more artistic works, okay? Right, it's like Shut the up, difference James between Gunn. art and literature, right? <laughs> Yeah. Artistic. More like fart shit shit stick. Oh. Fart shit stick? Fart shit stick. Fart fart shit season one of One Punch Man is a solid 6.5 out of 10. More like at least an 8. Wow. You're gonna be banned from chat for wrong <sighs> opinion having. Whoa. I'm not tired, you're tired. You have to listen to- Man, all these recommendations for things to listen to. I'll get around to them eventually. I I do want to finish off Cowboy Bebop soonish though. You know what I'm- uh, Sorry. No, that's basically it. You know what has a great soundtrack is uh, the Sheen's remake. Oh wow, I I'm still lost on everything to do with the Sheen, so I don't I don't <laughs> know if what I'm meant to do with that. I still don't know if it's a Dark Souls mod or not. Dark Souls mod. I'm 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 sorry. I'm just I'm still. Oh, I love that. It's a... I feel like Mel's fucking Stop. with you about it or something. <laughs> 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 You need the Dark Souls Sheen mod, please. Um... Mola, it seems like on these catch-up streams you have a really fun time, hang out with friends and interact with people that like you. What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, man. It's oh, both man. funny and sad. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's real fun. Sad. It's a nice environment. But hopefully everybody here can share in the laughs. Yeah, that's the idea, especially with, uh... You know, like, like, people asking questions about stuff, and then it leads us to start questioning those answers about stuff. You know, everybody gets a little something out of something all over the place. And mm -hmm. I get to play Mario Kart. So, really, just peak life, I would say. Um, Mubla, stop playing kitty games. Real gamers play Baby Park on repeat. That's true. <laughs> They did add that to Mario Kart 8 as well. Um, uh. Baby Park is... It feels like... Um, I remember it's one of the things that 7 added that 8 expanded on, which was like the one lap. It's just one really big lap that would be broken up into three segments. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, that was a really good idea, because like you think about Mount Wario. Ooh, Mount Wario is a good track. I, don't I didn't know there really was a thing. I was gonna say, what about that on New Year's? Is that, that was, like DK we Mountain? So uh, DK Mountain was that, or is it DK Pass? No, DK Pass was in the DS, and that one was three laps. Um, I don't think I've ever I'm played sure the Wario seven. one. That sounds. Cool. I think. Uh, I think. Oh yeah, Mount Wario is in Mario Kart Eight. It's basically uh, you start at the top of a mountain. And it's got like three sections. You're riding down the top of the mountain. You go into a little cave across a dam. Then you cut through a forest filled with a bunch of nice little trees. And then you go down like the slopes of a ski resort to, to come to the end where there's like a big crowd cheering you on. It's uh, it's it's just a really cool way to do it. Um, Marek, because that's what they did with Big Blue. Big Blue is just one massive course. Um, and it's just cool in terms of the amount of variety that you can squeeze in. But... Feels unfair to compare anything to Big Blue. Big Blue is uh is like god tier Mario Kart map. The music. And it's not just because I'm biased in favor of saxophone, alright? The music is really great, regardless of the fact that the saxophone is I'm superb. starting to know it's a bias. It's really good. I don't know what you want me to say. You listen to it. Boot up the Mario Kart 8 soundtrack for Big Blue. It's like one of the best songs in any video game ever. Um, oh, it keeps lagging. Go ahead. No, There's another half to this message. I'm trying to find it. Um, it uh, oh, it's so laggy. I can see one that says, Jay, go on a drinker stream. I have to go on a drinker I think you would have to ask will... Drinker to invite him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I'm <laughs> going to do that again at some point in my life. There you go. Um, also, hi, Rags. Happy birthday, Moodle. Hey. Kick J oh, and Fringy, you're wrong. Oh, nice. Yeah, Fringy, get told. Um, thoughts on motivational speaker LTG? 
Elt? Uh, I have not heard of. Low tier god? I know the memes. Is I don't know anything about him. <laughs> I don't know uh, anything about him, though. Is. I just know he's a <laughs> meme. Apparently, it's Learning Technologies Group, a company that's listed on the British index. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Metal Smoodle's birthday again? Sure. <laughs> Motivate. Maybe. Wait, I need to look up motivational. Happy Motivation no, Day, Mel. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. It's gonna be awkward because in a month it's my oh, actual birthday. This looks... Yeah, well, well, it's not gonna be awkward. It's gonna line up perfectly, and then it'll no, become they'll... awkward for eleven months of the year. They'll say he's <laughs> crying wolf. They'll be like, "Nah, I don't believe you this nah, time." Bullshit! <laughs> you don't have birth, birth and Heimers. Oh. What? I was gonna do something really cool with the grills, and then I fucked it up. DK threw his banana at me, and I grabbed there it. There are no grills it... on the internet, Mola. The sooner you learn that, the sooner you can grow up. <laughs> the sooner you can stop, you can abandon these hope hopeless <laughs> dreams. <laughs> you tell me grills aren't real, but monkeys are. The the giant gorilla man throwing bananas at me. He's real. Yeah, he's real. Okay. Donkey Kong is very real. You know what? You're It's like lot. in South Park. They said, you know, they might be more real than we are. These imaginary characters. Uh, today's Bible fact. Also, sorry, today's Bible fact also Padme slept with all Jedi. Dang, what is a Is that slut. the Bible fact? <laughs> That's a great Bible fact. Padme slept with fucking everybody. Was that like, was that like one by one or all at the same time? Um, I'm gonna assume orgy. It was oh, like a I, force. Do you, like, do you sleep with ev like I don't think it counts as every sleeping with everyone if you just attend an orgy at which they are present. Um, what if what if she did get up and busy with everyone there? Then that counts. But it was also Does an it? orgy, you know. What if it's what if it's only vaginal? That's fine. She's allowed to do that. So this is a oh. tangent, but I'm just looking at the screen. It's like, so Birdo is a player. Oh, how dare you derail this conversation for you? And there's a Birdo. Nice. I'm going to just keep going. There's a Birdo cart. God. Imagine how scary it would be to just see you, but a cart. Like, it's just you, Me, but a, but cart? a cart? Maybe Birdo well, yeah, is really but... ego sort of driven and just sees well, that. Imagine, like, yeah. well, just imagine about if you it, rags or... went outside and you saw, like, a cart that is just a sheep. A cart? Like a cart, yeah. But there's a Birdo cart me, here, but Birdo is a person. Like it just well, looks at me, yeah. or it like it, <laughs> well, it looks like me, or it's it styled like, like me. You, yeah. Well, look, just how hard is it to understand? There's a cart. There's Birdo. Well, I wanted character. to make sure because we're in the realm of like magic and things, so I, I mean, just wanted to make sure really? it wasn't I like, feel like. I feel like Mario in, was in the Mario more so than magic. I. I don't know, based on what I've seen, I'm not ready to conclude that. A lot. Of, th there's some pretty magical shit happening. There's some pretty um, science fiction -y shit happening, though. Yeah, Fight. sure, but there's also magic. Um, so maybe it's science it... fantasy then, more more apps. But continue. Maybe, but you can have magic. Um, and science. With, <laughs> um, but I thought you meant, like, were you referring to maybe a cart that was also, like, me, actually me, so, as a dog, but so, also, like, I was transformed into a cart or something like that. Well, so the idea would be, let's say you just go to the little track, you raggers go into the little track, and then you see a cart that is just you. It's a sheep, but it's shaped like a cart. Mm -hmm. It's got a blank stare at the front, you know? I'm just saying that'd, that'd be, be odd. Little, It'd like, certainly be odd. odd. I know if exactly. I walked outside and saw that, I would be very perturbed. Yeah, it'd be like if there was a Mario Kart that was just shaped like Mario, just be like, huh. But, but mostly not necessarily because of the thing itself. It's that somebody created this. Right. You know? Which maybe in this format is more suitable, you know, the Mario Kart thing. Yeah, you know, if you, were a, um, if you were a popular kart racer, I feel like it would be more explicable. Yes. You're like, oh. Makes sense that someone who is a fan of me would also be a fan of carts. Mm-hmm. Uh... Like if someone, like if, like if you were just a random person, and someone made a one-hour YouTube video about you, you'd be going, "Huh, that's odd." Or maybe if you, even if you're like just a cart racer, someone made a an, like a five-hour, a five-hour, a one-hour YouTube video about you, you'd be going, "Oh, that's odd." But as a YouTube riff, if someone uh, made an hour video about you, you'd be like, "Hmm, I, I see how that could have happened." That's so true. Very wise. 
Do you prefer mm -hmm. to either use loopy belief or lazy propagation when you perform inherence inference in your Bayesian network? Yeah. Gives me what? <laughs> I do not know. I've got nothing for that. I'm gonna go with loopy belief because it sounds funnier. <laughs> that sounds fun. Uh, Jay, Liquid Richard is an actual music producer that's made four full-length albums of Funny Wings clips. <laughs> Everyone here needs to hear Liquid Richard. Four full-length albums. <laughs> full-length. You just gotta add that in. Look, they're full-length, all right? This ain't no ain't fucking... singles. Yeah. Uh, Southpaw is like Clap Track. Uh, sorry, Clap Trap. He's annoying. Uh, yes, but it's on purpose, so it's still annoying. He trolled himself into becoming actually annoying. It's annoying on purpose, but it's, so it's still annoying. I like Claptrap. Do people hate Claptrap? Are they gonna hate I him? I don't when hate him. Jack Black going? Because I'm pretty sure Jack Black is playing Claptrap. But God, that is really? that is a hard sentence to say. I'm pretty sure that Jack, Jack Black, Black, Black is Claptrap. Uh, clap trap in I'm the pretty sure that Jack Black, Black is playing Claptrap. Clap clap that is hard. It, it is Black really hard. Shit, Black you're right. Black I never Black noticed. I played hundreds pretty... of hours of Borderlands, and I never. No, noticed. no, no. He's not. He's not. Um. He's not claptrap in the games. I think he's. They're making a movie, right? Isn't uh. That's that's happening, and he's going to be playing claptrap. They got a stacked cast for that movie. I think Kate Blanchett is in it, like playing Lilith. Um. Cool. They, they got a lot of people in that movie. I think. Oh. Okay. The Borderlands movie. I guess I'm a little bit out of loop yes. on that. I think there is just a flat-out Borderlands film. I think the problem is I know that there are more people in it than that who we will have all heard of, um, but I, I can't think of them right now. Uh, and I, I remember that the person who's directing it has like directed some cool stuff before. I think. Can someone help me out in chat? Hmm. I mean, it seems like we've definitely entered into the era of video game movies are totally cool now. Oh yeah. Um, with Mortal Kombat and Sonic the Hedgehog and um I mean there's more than that that I'm totally blanking on. Um the the, the Well people guess, loved the Bob Hoskins Mario movie. So they I'm sure they yeah that they paved did. the way. That walked so that the MCU could run. I like this comment, Black Damn it, Jack Black is playing Claptrap. I didn't stutter once typing that. <laughs> yeah, good, <for> me. good job. <laughs> That's a good meme, my dude. <laughs> Um, Kevin Hart is Roland, right? And you make playing, Kevin uh, Hart is Andrew Roland. Jack. Yeah, I don't. S well, I feel like there have been too many instances of I don't see it, and then it works out really well for me to dismiss anything. Maybe. All right, and it's being directed by Eli Roth, right? Yeah. Who's that? Oh yay! He was in Inglorious Bastards. Um. He was the baseball bat guy. That doesn't help me. Because you haven't seen that film? Yeah. <laughs> He's been in a bunch of other things too, but I'm blanking at the moment. But he directed but, Cabin what, what Fever. What has he directed, I guess, is the question. I, that, you know what? I will accept that he is a dude. <laughs> he is a person who exists, and I would hope I think he directed Hostel. I don't know if you've seen that. I think oh. he's directed a few things. At this point. Mm-hmm. Good for him. I'm sure he's doing great. Uh, you lot make my nights entertaining, and these catch-up streams always put a smile on my face. Hello, Rags. You're the best at Hello. Stargo. Never forget it. Thank you. I won't forget thanks, it. Man. Yeah, thanks very much. I'm glad it puts a smile on your face. That's mm. the, the rewarding part of all this. Bigs up, Liquid Richard. Hell yeah. Big ups, Liquid Richards. You, you kind of... You kind of... No. Alright, fine. I acknowledge it. <laughs> um, uh, Fringy's Goo is under investigation by the AFP for inhumane testing and being connected with no, several missing persons reports. No, it's not. That's not true. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Fringy, it's at a certain true. point, the costs outweigh the results. Oh, and high rags. Hello! There, there is no cost too great for science. It, w is that what you're going with? No. Oh. I'm not going with anything. I'm just saying that's <laughs> all lies and slander. What if it? What if? if what if like the cost was like a lot? Like like a you lot. can't wear socks anymore. Yeah. Oh, that's uh. I don't know if I could give up socks for science. 
I can. I, I actually, I, I don't know that I could, honestly. I, I really I like, do like socks. like chewing on them here and there, but... I got, I mean, I just like, they're cozy. I got socks on right now. They're just nice and cozy. It's like, oh, I get to carry, like, it's like having a pillow on your, on your feet. No. And so ends the debate. This ends with Owen High Rags. Oh, hello. Uh, hate purity crowds, also watch Free Guy. No thanks. Yeah, no thanks. Not interested at all in Free Guy. Wow. I don't I'm not like these losers. I would America watch it. Field. I'm probably going to watch it for Metal Forge at some point. Oh, here to, to plug your podcast that I'm going on tomorrow, if you want to Ooh, what out. are you guys talking about? <laughs> We're doing Chronicle. Yeah. You guys have watched Chronicle? Is that, the, is that the bunny rabbit movie? I don't think so. No. I, I'm just throwing oh. them off. Oh, that's oh. Bionicle. Well, you got me. Yeah, I got you. Mm, nailed it. Bionicle is just like... Like, Bionicle is shameless diversity forcing <laughs> of... Oh, no. Stray Tonicle. <laughs> Stray Tonicle. Yeah, it's I can't. So I can't stupid. keep having you here if you're gonna keep on being so anti woke. Okay. Just wanted to say straight onical. <laughs> <laughs> straight onical. What's next? Gay onical. I'm, I'm gonna suck your straight onical. Ew. Squeeze or whatever the word was. <laughs> squeeze. <laughs> squeeze. Oh, I'm gonna have a squeeze for dinner. Oh. Oh no. Um. <clears throat> uh, use atomic clock to finish at 4 a.m. All right. No. Also, find a streamer who lives in Brazil to stream with, since this time zone between you and Rags, M P B U H. We already hit all three corners. We don't need more. We've already got significant, <laughs> yeah, diversity in terms of time zones. You know what? It's not even great to have that diversity of time zones. It doesn't help. It actually it is much, detrimental. <laughs> well, it is the big thing of like, so much of my stuff is skewed towards the mornings because of it. The mine is skewed towards the nights. Chill out in the afternoon. Yeah. Just perfect for rags, though, ain't it? Yeah. And I'm the one who needs it the least, but it just worked out best for me. Mm. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, I've got the most malleable schedule here for the most part, so if it ever needs to be adjusted, give me a holler, let me know. I'm more than willing to change. If that's necessary. I'm one at me to say, come on, Nicole. Nice. nice. <laughs> that was worth an at. That was based. Yeah. <laughs> hey, folks. I saw Lupin the Third the first recently. It was alright. I wouldn't call it a must-see, like Castle in the Sky. I've not heard of Castle in the Sky, but I, I just I haven't seen either, so I can't say. Yeah. I have to pee. Fine. Uh, I'll allow it. Go do that. Can you read the month super chats? I didn't hear it. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know about reading the whole month super chat. I, 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 mm. oh, come on, don't be like this. I'm sorry. Just read them at like times two speed. Okay. <laughs> Meowla impresses me with your ability to hold your tongue when all of your fellow streamers give away awful takes on Spider-Man films and adaptationisms. Hi, Jay. <laughs> was that was that directed at me? Perhaps. Well, I don't know. The funny thing to me is that that could be about real BBC, or it could be about you guys here. But the thing is, I agree with the people here, so it's my bad takes too. <laughs> if, if that's better. what it meant. If that's you what it meant. Better. Um. The, you can find bad Spider-Man takes everywhere. Spundo Man mm -hmm. is the name, very much. Um. Oh, you mean the chats that come from being a member? I uh, they usually get sorted into this same thing that I'm reading. But if I've missed them, I'm not sure how you get them back because they don't show up in the super chat uh, collecting thing. Uh, they only show up in the viewer activity section, so if I don't catch them as they come in, I don't entirely sure how I get them back. Um, unfortunately, because YouTube's weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they do that like this. Uh, turn down game volume. Hard to hear others speak. Really? Wait, sorry, say that again. 
I, I haven't seen anyone else saying that the game was too loud, but uh... Nice. Not just for you. No, I, I... I checked in between, I, it was... sounds fine. Sounded fine. Brago, if you like One Punch Man, I suggest reading the manga. It keeps the feeling of Season 1 while not looking like Season 2, but expands on side characters. I have got the first part of the manga, but that's it. Um... Uh, I don't know. What are they? Volume? Is it? I've got like the first volume of One Punch Man. It's. I think. I don't well, have least, a lot of manga. At least a few years ago, it was still a web comic online where the guy yeah. released himself. So I, I don't know if that's still a thing, but that's where I found One Punch Man initially. I uh, I read the the manga that proceeded, and it was kind of interesting because it was yeah you you read the manga and it's like dude they just like pulled directly from it like there's this there's shots that are just like pulled from the manga yeah, which is really cool. pretty much one to one yeah um but I mean I'd uh, I might just continue reading that at some stage who knows I ain't got a lot of manga <laughs> Gorman mm. Weeb. Do, do, Mootle, my church has a termite infestation, and we need your natural expertise to gas the pews. I did have some onions today, so I can probably gas uh, naturally as well today. Mm -hmm. Just fart onions onto ants. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, I, oh no, our one weakness, time to run away. I appreciate that, Super Chat. Uh, <laughs> fuck, Mary, kill MJ, Gwen Stacy, and Michelle Jones. Ooh, kill Michelle. Uh, no, no, kill, sorry, kill, uh, kill Mary Jane. Kill Mary Jane. Kill Mary Jane. Probably, yeah. Um, Marry Gwen Stacy, probably. I think so. Yeah. Because Emma Stone is way closer to my age. Um, and I guess we're presuming that MJ is like legal, right? Not. How old is MJ? I don't know how old either of those characters are, so it's awkward. Right. I mean, like, we'll just assume that they're the same age as you, right? Presuming that they're. Yeah. Pr th yeah. Well, and like Zendaya, Zendaya is twenty five. Wow, well, she's like, so like yeah, sure, right. Like so, Emma Stone was like twenty five as well, probably. Yeah, Mary Emma Stone killed and MJ. Not to think was like thirty, because those are definitely high schoolers in Spider Man One. Mm. Yeah. Word. I'm so happy that my first super chat about Liquid Richard has led to the word of mouth support on EFAP. Seriously, this guy's amazing. Legit great. Sure. I, I should experiment more with some Liquid Richard uh, singles. Okay, are this there, is something I'm doing for now like... Wings quote of the day. Here it comes. Ban anyone who knows what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, the final one of today. DS3 boss race with Metal Wen. Hi, Rags. Hello. I, I don't know. That's probably more likely going to be a DS3 playthrough race, that, like, because I do not, I'm not equipped to race Dark Souls 3, I can only just go through it slowly, because I'm very unfamiliar with it. But uh, I'd be willing to do that, it'd be fun. Yeah. Um, but alright, that's Streamlabs and all of today's. So, <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah. Lots of progression. Uh, was there anything you guys wanted to say or talk about before we, we wind down and off? I guess not. I'm just tomorrow. really happy that everyone so. showed up and had a good time, and I'm glad we had important discussions. And Oh, yes. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. glad things worked out. Uh, I had a good time. I'm glad I showed up. I'm glad you showed up, Rex. Yeah. Good job, Rex. <laughs> Thanks. Lots of progress. Yeah, we we've <laughs> progressed far. Uh... EFAP 165, we're, we're chonking through you, buddy. <laughs> um, trying to catch up, nearly done with EFAP 81. Let's assume the average man has 1.999 scrotums, J, EFAP 81. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do remember saying that. <laughs> There's like no issue there, he's like, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's Absolutely. true. Mm-hmm. We should, we should definitely get, um, we should definitely play the game at some point where, um, Scrum people game. like just go through, yeah, the scrum game. Well, we can call it. We can call it the scrotum game. That's a fun name for it. Where people go through and like, like they just go. That's just and... every day if you're a guy, ladies. You don't understand. Every day is scrotum day. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Rags. So you're Scro welcome when someone thanks you. Yeah. Oh no, I was I was being quiet so you could continue with your thing. I was. That's very considerate. Um. Thank you. 
the game where we uh, where friends. we get people to like go through all defaps and dig up uh, quotes from them that we have said, and then uh, mix them in with fake ones, and we have to guess which the real quotes are, or we have to guess like who said which quote. Not a bad idea. I feel like it could be really fun. I I'm on board with that. Especially because there have been some quotes that they read back to us where I'm like, I don't understand what could possibly be the context for that. And that... Yeah, and there we go. Amazing. Oh, and yeah, then, of um, course. How if, we and then in the game, like, we get it with the timestamp, and, and like if it's a real quote, they then give us like the timestamp in the episode, like a, like a timestamp link to the episode, so we can just play it real quick. That could be real fun. Bonus yeah, I quote, like that. Bonus wings quote. Um, ban yeah. any form of spamming in, spamming in chat. If they say the word the two times in a row, ban them. I do remember that one. <laughs> I distinctly remember. Imagine having to explain that. If they say the twice in a row, that's a meme of some sort at my expense. <laughs> <laughs> it's a meme at uh, my expense. <laughs> how many people got banned for doing that immediately afterwards? Probably a decent amount. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thank you all for joining us. You'll see us returned Indeed. on Saturday. I will be back tomorrow on the open bar, I believe. What, when are you doing Metal's Forge? When's that happening? Tomorrow night, I think we said 8 p.m. my time, which is yeah. 7 p.m. Jane Bull's time. Which is two hours yeah. before open bar, so you might even be finished by then. Who knows? Yeah, you know, the, the yeah, if, we, if we're too short, if we're pathetically oh my short. God. Oh. I never that's said I never said such one. things. Uh, what else? But yeah, that's happening. I don't know if there's anything else. Anything? Any projects got coming up? Anybody wants to mention? Or just chipping away at some stuff. Mm. Yeah, that's right. that's pretty cave. much the same thing here. Yeah, In little cave. All right then. Thank you all Very for the donations, nice. for the messages, for the company. We shall see you next mm -hmm. time. Good night. Bye. Good <laughs> 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 <laughs>